Hey, hey, hey. Good morning slash evening to everybody. Welcome to the stream. Hope you guys are doing fantastic. Um, we are back and outward on this fine Thursday morning for me. Or Tuesday morning, actually. Oh, geez, I'm ahead of myself. Today, we have Rust and Vengeance. Uh, if you don't know what that is, that is the train dungeon area or quest over in the Antique Plateau and outward. So we are going to get into that. Um, this is the Lightning Bow character, for those of you that need a refresher. 
We've got the White Arcane Hood, the Ash Armor, and Master Desert Boots. All enchanted to do some more lightning damage. Um, except for the helmet. The helmet just gives us some extra mana cost. So there. We also have the Gold Bow enchanted with Twang for lightning damage. Um, we need more arrows. Our, our main problem right now is we, we need more arrows. We ran out last time, if you watched the end of the stream. So... This bow, this build has been fantastic for the base game. It has actually crushed the base game. The only problem I have had is a little bit in Caldera. So we're going to see how good it is against Rust and Vengeance. Um, and then we'll move into Caldera. Probably some more of the town building uh, when we get over there. Since I need to also work on uh, getting all that Greetings, done. Friend. I haven't been Caldera in Defend Division, so... Okay, now again, I don't remember where we were actually at in the quest. We're going to go ahead and just exit town and um, probably head towards the Mana Lake, I think. I think that's the best option. Because we have one gem key, and that's about it. Welcome to the stream, Hytro, uh, Zen, and Jonas. What's up, guys? Hope you're doing all right. Having a fine Tuesday. I really need some more iron, guys. You have to go, see ya. Hey, Shrek, how's it going? Hope you have a good day, man. Okay, ready? Let's, before we attack, let's make sure we pop our uh, boons. Get the most out of this damage here. And then we'll... Oh, yeah. Look at that. Problem comes when he comes after me, and I don't have a... Uh... Or, and I still have my backpack on. Uh -huh. There we go. But these guys right here have been a pain in the butt. I have to admit. I can really see how Speedster would be so good with this build for the insane cooldown on my skills, but uh, we don't have that, which is unfortunate. No iron. Darn. We'll have to move on. Hope we get some later. Ooh. Ooh, that is, that is a problem. That's a problem. Got the doggos. Let me snipe him here. Look at that damage, though. Oh my word. Get wrecked. This guy should have iron. Nope. No iron. Not getting very lucky with the iron this morning. Alright. My evasion shot was back. That would have been a good time to use it. And he's dead. Excellent. Uh, no iron. So, just wasting arrows. That's the wasting arrows. Let's see here. Um, we can decraft the these for palladium. What's up, Nexaron? Hey, you prefer to play it on mouse and keyboard? Is there a reason why? Um, I played on a controller the first few times I played Outward. I don't like having to hold down one of my buttons to use them. Uh, it just feels a little bit more accessible on PC. All I have to do is press one button. I know... I've played with other really good Outward players, though, and they prefer controller. Um, Liger is a good example. I did a stream with him. And he enjoyed the... the controller. That's all he ever played on. So, it really is your preference, but... Yeah, use skills. Sorry, I don't know what I said. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a bit easier to use skills, because I don't have to... Uh, I'm going to controller, you know, you have to hold down RT or LT, I believe it is. And then you can use the skill. So, that's why. I actually switched from keyboard to controller. Really, Jonas? Okay, Jonas, tell us why. That might help us figure this out. I, I don't know. I, I may need to do a stream where I use controller. It's just what I'm more familiar with. I used to play a lot of Destiny um, on Xbox. And since I switched to PC, I've been trying to get away from using controller. 
for shooter purposes. Um, but obviously I'm not playing a shooter, so. Physical bow build, I guess the full slayer set is in order. Oh, uh, it's not actually a physical, it is a lightning. We will be getting the slayer set, though. Now, the reason for that is because the lightning damage seemed to fall off in Caldera. Uh, so we're going to grab Slayer. If we don't use it regularly over there, we will use it as backup. So that is a good call there. Check out how many Tartines I have for Marshmallows. I don't know how these are still alive. I should have rotted by now, but... What's up, Evan? How's it going? Ace keyboard for all games playing on controller feels weird. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's not that it feels weird for me. It's just... I don't know. Because you you obviously get more skilled with whatever you use more often. Um, and since I feel like mouse and keyboard is generally better in a lot of cases, I'm trying to get better at mouse and keyboard. But yeah. I wanted to try the game again and have problems with getting used to using skills and controller. I will try keyboard later. I like keyboard. I really do. Um... Again, though, it will be weird. You definitely have to get used to the fact that it's not controller. <laughs> Come here. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. I, dude, I really need some iron. We're going to have to end up using spear half of this again, like I did last time. I feel like I'm missing iron nodes, maybe? No, I'm not missing any iron nodes. I know where they're at. Hmm. You know what it is. We need to get to the next area that has a lot of iron. Love the marshmallow and tartine. Level 5 stamina regent. Yeah, it's, it's insane. Uh, it's the only thing that I really enjoy. I like crawlberry jam as well. But, you know, you get corrupted using that. So, gotta be careful. Gotta be careful. Carissa, how's it going? I prefer... uh. K&M because of the inventory management. I like dragging items around. Oh, you, I'm assuming you're talking about mouse and keyboard. You, you did it backwards. Keyboard and mouse. That threw me off. Threw me off there. How long are you planning on streaming today? What's up, Evan? I am probably going to be streaming until, let's see, it's 9 my time. Uh, probably till around 4. Uh, it's about 7 hours. Play most of my games on controller apart from shooters. Gotcha. I switched uh, to controller, or no, I, I switched to PC for shooters, and I gotta say, I suck now. Like, I used to be really good at shooters, and now... <laughs> the, the controller aim is much different. I used to, Very much, you gotta get used to it. Alright, I already grabbed this. I've been through... I went through here last time. I am literally just... Re-entering because I think I need to get to... Which keys don't I have? I don't even know. I went to the mana transfer station. I mean, we can check in my inventory. I have the gemstone B is the only one I have. So we don't have the easy ones. Because the gemstone B is the... No, the rest of them are on bosses. Other than one, I think. We'll grab it. Smokey man, what's up? How's it going? Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. For anybody that's wondering uh, what I've been up to, I've been I recorded some Hellpoint gameplay last night for the Let's Play. I don't know if anybody was interested in that. The uh, we we missed it last week. We didn't get a chance to record it. Yeah, there should be no enemies in here. Yeah, and so. We were recording that last night, and it was a mess. This is going to be one of the the goofiest uh, Let's Plays videos that I've ever posted. Because it's... We were just having a good old time. <laughs> the game was working kind of meh. So we were just kind of goofing off. It's pretty funny. So those are, that's the two videos I'm working on. And then... Uh, and then I, I need to get another build video out, honestly. But, uh, but yeah, I've been playing a little bit of Hellpoint. Last couple of days. Hey, I was used to play with, uh, mouse and keyboard, but nowadays I'm playing with controller. Which skill trees do you use for this build? This build right here is the Cabal Hermit. Hex Mage. And... What was the last one? Uh, Hunter. 
Now, Hunter is only for the bleed shot. You don't even need it. But I, I wanted bleed shot. So, the Ball Hermit is for the extra lightning damage from the boons. And the... What's the last one? Hex Mage is for extra stamina and health and mana regen on kills, which is really nice. You, you don't realize how nice that is until you don't have it. But yeah. You get an A from a mini boss, I think. B, C, D are just lying on the ground. Used to be that you got... I think... I'm pretty sure they're all the same, but they just moved them um, from the outside to the inside. Because there used to be one or two on the outside of the train dungeon, and now they're all inside. Which I don't know why they changed that, but they did. Doesn't bother me. Small arena boss fight can be tough for Bo. Which one? The Rustlich? I feel like the Rustlich is going to be hard. If I'm being totally honest, I feel like the Rustlich is going to be hard with this build. Unless I just resort to hexes all of a sudden. Okay, we went to Research Laboratory Foundry. Did we do Foundry? I think this is the one we haven't done. No, we did Foundry. We need to go where the... Not the light... Because this is where the Lightning Golem is. Yeah, we need to go not here. Living Quarters, Research Laboratory. We went all those... That's uh, the uh, manufacturing facility. This is where we need to go. This is the next key. But yeah. Thanks, man. I'll try this build, too. It's a lot of fun. Uh, Day Barlocks. I hope I'm saying that right. It's a lot of fun. It's a very unique game style, and the weather tolerance is actually my favorite part of it. Now, the only issue is I think the lightning damage falls off a bit um, for Caldera enemies, but we're going to switch to... A astral bow later on to see if that one's any better. Well, I know that one's a lot better, but. And if anything, you have physical damage to back up, you know. If it's not working, just switch to physical damage. But so far, it's been a very safe playstyle. I mean, I haven't really had too much trouble. I mean, check out this damage against the Scourge guy. I mean, it just wrecks him. It's kind of unbelievable, actually. The problem with it is you don't have any extra things helping you out. So, for instance, if you use Astral Bow, you get, you know, fire damage and poison damage from the hexes. So, this is literally... This is probably your pure... Dam as pure a damage build as you can get in elemental form. Um, with anything, you have some weaknesses, though. So, you gotta be... You know, you gotta know what your strengths are. For sure. I have Speedster and Warrior Monk. What would be good for third breakthrough? Mm. Speedster and Warrior Monk. Oh, good thing he went with Warrior Monk. I'd go Cabal Hermit. Grab Wind Infuse. Depends on your playstyle, though. You gotta let me know what weapon you're using. If you're using daggers, I generally say don't go uh, Wind Infuse. Daggers do not require Wind Infuse. Okay. Also, if you get stunlocked by this guy, frickin' sucks. See, if I was using Astral, I would, uh, right about now have a time to where I could use Hexes, but... You guys like this pipe? Yeah, I don't like it either. Can't see crap! These are not giving me any... Iron. Come on. I need iron. Uh, the one that gives you A key where you pick his weapons and skills of sort. Oh, that day's crap's fire. Are having good hammer build with my girlfriend. She is fire tank with confusion and pain and flicking both blue chamber. So beefy. Dude, blue chamber can get really, really... Take blue chamber, go, uh, yeah, hunter. Just max out your health. It's crazy. I don't know your damage. I didn't... 
No, your damage fell off in Spiral of Light, if I remember. <laughs> no, my damage is non-existent in the Spiral of Light. Uh... Because they're lightning, so... They are lightning. That's the problem with going any element fully, is like... The opposite element, you're going to do no damage. So if you go decay, like full into decay, you can't harm the Jade Lich. You know. Huh. So... But I have a obsidian bow for backup. Can this build handle getting uh, ganked? I've had problems with my chakra build when handling two or three enemies at the same time. So Dusty, there's a difference um, between a bow build and really any other build. Bow builds generally don't have a problem with groups because you can run away. Now, you don't want to do that right there, but... Like... If, if both these guys were on me at the same time right now, it wouldn't be that big a deal because I can run around. Um, so getting grouped up on hasn't been a major issue for me. See, watch. I could just kind of run around. Hence why we took Hex, because it offers us more stamina. Overall. Check that out. I am so lucky that got out of range. There was like a 2% chance of me getting out of range there. And this should kill him. Yeah. It's free, so I thought I'll say how you're doing. What's up, Evan? Yeah, welcome. Uh, congrats on being a member for two months, by the way. Congrats. You are the first one in the stream to have that notification pop up. So, Or I guess that comment. What bow are you using? This is actually just a gold bow. So if you take a simple bow and legacy chest it, it turns gold. And then you can enchant it with twang for lightning damage. The problem with bows is most of them don't have a lot of elemental damage. For example, the obsidian bow, only five fire damage. So I enchanted a gold one to get some extra lightning damage out of it. Can you make a video about top bows? Uh, yes, I am actually working on that soon. The next one I have to make is... Someone asked for axes. So I need to make axes first. Oh, jeez. Isn't this guy, like, really, really tough to lighting damage? Oh, I missed. So that's... Actually, no. Okay. I had a feeling that wasn't going to get out of range. I mean, look at the damage, though. This is nice damage. Also, the thing that this bow does is it inflicts sapped, which basically means the enemy does less elemental damage. Not a really that good of a, a debuff, but it's okay. Shoot, I gotta stop using that in mid-battle. Oh, I got out of range. Get wrecked, son. Okay. He gonna die? No, he's gonna take one more hit. Again, that's a unique enemy. That should be pretty tough to take down, and I don't think I had any issue. What's up, Blue? Catch you later, man. Thanks for stopping by. Venom arrows, though. Nice. I will take venom arrows. That is a good thing to get. 15? A full set of them, too. Hate these guys, especially the Guardian of the Compass, Compass mini boss. Yeah, golems are pretty tough. I have to admit. They oh, I need to go back this way. Golems pose a challenge because they're fast and they knock down uh nearly instantly. So I I generally don't mess around with them. They're pretty tough. You take uh, warrior monk and a hunter, you have basically boosted stats, and then you can choose whatever good for beginners. Yeah, I actually say a decent beginner build. If you want to try out a lot of stuff in the game, take Warrior Monk, Hunter, and Rune, uh, Ma Rune Mage. Rune Mage gives you extra 40 mana, so you have an extra 40 in everything. And, um, you have a lot of skills to play with. I don't ever tell anyone to do that anymore, because that was more... I, I don't know, I never felt like that was that good. For me, at least. 
But, um... It's fun. I mean, it lets you try out a lot of this stuff. It's hard to find a build that doesn't use Warrior Monk or Rune Mage. Or at, le or at least one of those two and is still good. Some Hex Mage builds could uh, do that. Though. A lot of Mage-focused builds can get away with it. You don't necessarily need extra stamina. Nice to have, though. Sheen, do you farm for particles or are you using the puzzle? Or is there a better way without debug? So, there is actually no better way than the clock tower puzzle. Now, with the way I play the game and since I stream, I generally cover a lot of the game quickly and kill uh, elementals fast. So, I kill a lot of elementals and I just save them up. So, I don't always need to do the particle farm from the clock tower. Well, I'm already almost out of arrows. This is crazy. Um, so, generally, uh, but if I'm at the early game or something and I want some quick particles, yeah, the clock tower is the best way to go about it. Two iron. Jeez. How many do you think I can make? Yeah, that's not very many. But yeah, that's probably the best way to go about it. Another piece of iron. There's an up and a down. What's up here? I forget. Not much, if I remember correctly. Rune magic is also a nice bonus for utility. Now, rune magic... Here's the thing about rune magic that people don't realize. It is a... I think of it as a support skill tree, first and foremost. But that's because I don't specifically play Rune Mage. You know? If you don't specifically play Rune Mage, it's a very good support skill tree. Because of that extra defense you get. I mean, you get elemental defense if you do it correctly. And if you wear the Lightmender's Lexicon, you get some negative mana cost and decent bonuses. It's all around a good uh, supporting skill tree. Hit me. Okay, he's, he's gonna die. Yeah, that's what I thought. You gotta be confident and just assume you're gonna kill him. That guy had two chitin? Really? Hmm. Interesting. Just pick a lance and use probe on some mob, then go bow. Yeah, probe's actually really good. I think I grabbed probe. Because I know... Yeah, I did grab Probe. Probe's amazing with a longer weapon. I've been recently testing it with Spear. Jeez. It is nuts. Okay, so before we get any further, let me craft this so it's out of the way. Because I'm way... It's weighing me down a little bit. Um... Yeah, we'll move that to pocket. Okay. Now we're good. You hardly get hit. Yeah, well, again, this is not a very defensive build. So, like, if I go up against the MK and he just trashes me, I'll be in trouble. Big time. You know, I can't take a ton of hits, but I could run around for a long time. I can run around for a long time. Guess you can also get a lot of spiked alertness potions in late game, even with bow. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they're not too hard to make. You can also just buy a ton of them, too. So, Look at that. At three bow skills, he's half damage. I want to test with a Daemon Seambow and see how much better that actually is. I really need to because I want to see how much... How good I'm actually doing here. Alright, now we have to go to the spear. Because uh, I'm out of arrows. But that's another thing. This build is extremely powerful when it comes to versatility. Where is my sigil at? Yeah, here we go. Oh, did I loot him? More horror chitin. I cannot carry that. I, I can't get greedy. Use runes without the breakthrough point. You can use runic light and the runic protection. That's very true. And it's uh, very helpful, yeah. Runic Light's probably the most used if you're not going... Although, if, as long as you have Philosopher, you could use the uh, Runic Trap pretty well. 
That's pretty true. I, uh, I noticed you don't use Hex Mage. Couldn't you boost your damage with it? Or is it your mana pool relatively small? I do use Hex Mage. Like, I have it. I have the skill tree. I just don't use the skills much. That's because I don't have mana regen. And Hexes, over time, eat up a lot of your mana. So, currently... I've not been using it much. I was saving... Shoot, I keep doing that. I need to have spark on my hot bar. I had this setup going. I was using spark and sigil for when my bow didn't work. Because, you know, it does that. Which is a lot of damage. And then we come over here. I'm gonna have to block, right? Look, half half stability bar. Two hits. Nice. It's nice. Anyway, that's why I didn't use hex uh hex as much, is because I was using lightning sigil. I was switched over to hexes for a bit. Because I, I actually think hexes are really fun. So I was just messing with them. But they I just they eat up too much of my uh mana bar when I'm using Jinx. Iron, let's go. Very, very nice. Lance. Oh, yeah. No lances, the spears. They're pretty much the same thing. Not exactly, but... Okay, here is the gemstone key C. And I'm pretty sure no boss fight for this one. Actually, I am sure of that. There is no boss fight for this one. Did you get Meteoric Bow from the Legs Chest? It seems perfect for your build. I did not. I should have. Oh, you know what? That might be a better option. Because that does Holy Blaze. That might fix this build, guys. That's going to require us to, to swap. We're going to have to go from Obsidian Bow to... Meteoric. But that might actually fix this build. I, I don't know why I didn't think of that last uh, after last stream. Because I could very easily swap to that and get... What is it? Four? Or is it five lightning damage per second with the Holy Blaze? And it does fire damage? I think. Its spear was in the top five vid. It sure was then. This spear right here. Excellent spear. Definitely a top five spear. My personal favorite. A lot of people like the vampiric spear, actually. That uh, commented on that build. 24.5 physical, 24.5 fire with holy blaze. Seems pretty strong. I stayed away from it because it doesn't do lightning damage on initial hit. And I wanted to max that out. However, I'm now thinking... That once we get to Caldera, we may need to switch to that. Now, I don't have the ability to do that because I didn't legacy chest it. We we will try that out, though. Um, if anyone has an extra one and wants to pop in later during the stream, I may be able to get one. Or after this stream, I will legacy... I'll just uh, bring it from a different character. So we can test it out with the build. All right, come here, you doggos. Here we go, here we go. And stab. Oh, that hit me? Come on. Okay, these guys actually drop a significant amount of iron. Dang it. As soon as I say it, they don't drop iron. That's so frustrating. All right, I need to go where now? Uh, there's only three entrances, right? Let's go up and get iron, and then we'll head back to the area we need to go to. Okay. New to the game, so your vids have helped me learn more. Well, I'm glad. That's awesome, Zen. Yeah, the... Vids that were... Very exciting to start making. 
I was very excited to get into them. And then uh, when Definitive Edition came out, I was I was pumped because I was like, oh, more people gonna get in the game, you know. Seems like uh, that happened. These guys are getting destroyed. Let me help him out a little bit. Just a little bit. I don't want to help out too much. He's a tough young lad. He can do it. Oh no, he can't do it. He got wrecked. Boom. With this much lightning damage. Oh, I should have had the... These guys come and help. Darn it. I always forget to do that. Oh, you cannot. You can't turn those down. You can't turn those down. Check your Discord, Evan. I don't have it pulled up right now, Evan, or I would. Um, is... Is there iron in here, guys? Does anyone know? How much wood do I have? I need to make more arrows. This, this bush slash tree does not give me a, a wood. Alright, screw it. We're gonna go in here with no arrows. Ticked me off for the last time. Best looking spear, though? Yeah, no, I think it's the probably in the top five looking weapons in the game, actually. It looks amazing. Looks amazing. And I don't... I, I mean, if you watch the video, you know about... I mentioned the lore. The lore in this... Behind the spear is fantastic as well. Dude, you really think you're gonna bow me to death? I'm too skilled for that. Yeah, I can stab you through the the fence here. What are we what are we doing? Yeah, stupid. I'm gonna dodge around you. Dodge and weave, right? Oh, I'm not I'm not playing with you. Stupid elemental. Oh, I hate that attack sometimes. I'm pretty sure this is the one that has resistance to lightning, too. Doesn't matter. I still wrecked him. Taking too many hits here. What am I doing? Got hit like four times. What's wrong with me? Wait for his attack. Come on. I mean, that destroys humans. It's actually hilarious. Okay, these dismantle into iron, yes? Yeah. That's what I'm looking into. But yeah, Zen, I'm glad that you're uh, getting into the game now. That's pretty awesome. There was a lot of people that came back to the game um, and enjoyed Definitive Edition. Where they didn't like the original game. I thought that was interesting. I found it very interesting. Okay. I already checked that chest. What am I doing? Um, da, 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 da. Oh, here's the iron I was looking for, guys. Thick wheel. Is it not worth it to trade some weight for Light Mender's backpack for more lightning damage? It might be. I haven't done that quest. We started it. I cleared the dungeon with Six the last time. He was in the Discord. Or he was in the, uh, the live stream last time. Thankfully. Okay, this is Foliota. So I need to come back here for her. I didn't know if I saved her or not. Um, so it may be worth that. To get more lighting damage. I just don't know yet. Because the way the bow works is only going to add one damage. We'll have to see. Oh, I was going to eat that. I don't think I got deep enough into OG Outward to pinpoint if whatever caused me to leave was fixed in Definitive Edition. Truthfully, I think it was seeing content like yours that kept me in it. A little push. Oh, awesome, Newell. What's up, Jeremiah? Welcome to the stream. Glad to see you here. Um, 
That's awesome, Newell. Yeah, well, that I feel like that's uh that's pretty common for most games like this, like you know, smaller games. I'm playing Hellpoint right now. I've mentioned that a few times. I, I posted a couple on the channel. And I have to say, the lack of content for that game makes it so hard to do some of the stuff in it sometimes. That it's like, bro. Zen, welcome to Epic Hero. What's up? Welcome to the membership. Thank you for joining. Why can I not decraft a... Uh, Lance, did I not pick it up? Oh no, I didn't. What am I doing? What am I doing? There we go. So yeah, welcome to the, uh... Member... Welcome to the membership of the Sheen Shots channel. Thank you. Appreciate that. That's pretty cool of you. But yeah, that that's a big problem with a lot of these smaller games, is especially with Outward... I feel that whenever the game came out, there was this huge, you know, massive, oh, the game looks cool. Um, and so a lot of these bigger YouTubers pick it up. But bigger YouTubers don't have the time to, you know, sort through the small stuff in games. That's the honest truth. Like, people like, e like ESO is, does a lot of Skyrim stuff. But, like, he doesn't have time to go to a random game like Outward and just delve into it, you know? It wouldn't be beneficial for him. So sometimes these lesser games get passed up just because they take a bit more time to cover. And there's no one doing it. Uh, which is, again, why I started doing it. It was just a good opportunity. And I love the game. Be any co-op play today? I don't think we're doing co-op today. Co-ops are usually on Thursdays. Uh, they also give me a chance to test this build in solo and co-op. Um... So that's you that's usually what I try and do. I wonder if the corrupted tomb or caves came back yet. That way we get a bit of both too. So if you don't like the co-op, then you don't have to watch the co-op. And if you do, you can. Try to make it more balanced. That way everybody has something they like to see here. And for me, I like playing solo as well. I'm less Co-op is actually harder. Because of uh they have more damage, and in solo, I feel like I know what the enemy's doing more often. You know? But yeah. Okay, is this iron back? Should be. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Very nice, very nice. Now, there should be a, a couple iron nodes to my left. Yes. Oh, shoot. My friend, we're going to have to deal with that. Come here. Yeah, see, this is how I agree. <laughs> this is how I deal with groups of enemies. <laughs> with this build. I don't. I blast them away. Alright, two things of iron, right? Making a guide on this build. Yes, uh, Daniel. I will definitely be making a guide on this build. I don't know when it'll be. I have to try out the bow first. The Holy Blaze bow, which is the... What is it called? Uh, the Obsidian and the Meteoric. I have to try the Meteoric to see if it's better first. Before I really, like, know what to, uh, like, which, which one you should use. I legacy the, the gold bow, but I'm, th I'm thinking it's possible that it would have been better to go with the other one. We'll see, though. We'll see. Hey, Six, if you're still in the stream, I got your message, bud. I probably won't do co-op today because, again, what I already said. I, li I like to do a little bit of solo play, too. It's hard to know how good you are if you're only playing co-op. Oh, shoot. 
Shouldn't have stayed in that. Shouldn't have stayed in that. I didn't do too much damage, though. I have actually a couple uh, guide videos I need to make for builds. Like, the first build I ever made with Skuma. I still need to make that build into a guide. I haven't done it yet. I got, I got wrapped up with the top fives. <laughs> top fives I got wrapped up in, so I haven't had a chance to get into the builds. Build videos also take me longer, so I just sometimes put them on the back burner. You guys like this bow build? Isn't it awesome? I haven't even using a bow. Oof, barely got out of that. Okay, we should be able to charge him. Oh, it missed! Stupid spear. Only bad thing about the spo the the pokey spear is if it misses. All right, dodge into that. Thank you, sir. Now we have some iron. Shield is also an OP weapon. Shield's very good. I have another build that I've been. A creating on the side for a video that has... It uses the... What is it? Uh, the wolf shield, I think it's called. And if you don't know what that shield does, it makes the enemy slow... 50% uh, slower, but only lasts 10 seconds. Uh, but the shield itself actually does really, really good damage. And so I kind of liked, kind of liked that when I played around with it. I've never been a big fan of, uh, what is it, Dong Dong Strike or something like that. Uh, the ability is something Gong. The ability that smashes to an element on your shield and then you just blow up the area. I never liked that one, but Shield Infusion is nuts. It's nuts. Sword and shield builds. Yeah, I have one coming out soon. Hopefully. But they are very good. Gong Strike. That's what it is. Gong Strike. I like that, Jeremiah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I just never felt like... I feel like if I wanted a close range... It's the same thing with Conjure. So if you don't know what Conjure does inside a Wind Sigil, it is a bigger explosion than Spark. But it's so slow. It's so unbelievably slow to cast. So I've never really used it much. Someone told me you can use it without even being in the sigil. So I need to try that, I guess. Do I need to kill this guy? No, probably not. But I, I already accidentally came over here, so I have to whoop his butt. See how much damage I actually do with this spear with all my stuff pop. Sir, I need you to come here. What? The the old poking the poking dodge. It does indeed work. It does work. 240 light damage though. Or lightning damage. I know, but you know what I mean? Like the speed. The speed gets me. What I think, what I think is, it can be used if an enemy's running at you, but you have some distance. So when they get right next to you, they kind of just explode backwards. That's what I think, but I need to test this, and we need to go get that. Um, we will probably grab it after I beat the uh, Rust Lich. Because I don't think we've done a boss yet. We need to make sure we reset to 50 days. Or 60 days. You don't need to be in the sigil to trigger the explosion. Ah, see, that's kind of cool. It still happens in the sigil, though, right? Oh, I'm too far away. Alright. Dodge. Thank you. And I'll tell you this right now. When I first did the stream. My first stream for Outward. I still, at that point, hadn't known how stability worked that well. Like, I knew how it worked, but I wasn't that good at using it. 
once you like understand stability to the max this game becomes so much easier it's kind of crazy like stability is one of the most important things in the entire game i knew that but i didn't know exactly how it worked now that i do it's just like the timings are so much easier once you get the timing right it's not so bad okay besky okay all right that's a fair statement. I, I need to give it a chance before I say it's terrible. That's for sure. Need decoy or build made around cooldowns. Well, it's not that the skill, like, takes a long time to come back. It's just, I don't know. The cast time's low. Explosion happens in the sigil. Okay, thanks, Dusty. I, yeah, I'm assuming so. I already pretty much knew that, but I just wanted to make sure. Yeah, get out of here, Vieber. Weber. Care for a lesson on stability? Hit me with your knowledge of stability, Dusty. What do you what do you know? I really like how they develop the stability stat in this game. I think they did an excellent job. Now there are a few instances that I don't like. I don't like some of the Caldera enemies. For instance, gargoyles? Freaking suck. Oh, you giving the lesson? Okay. <laughs> I thought that might be what you meant, but I was like, just in case, what do you know? Like, gargoyles are such a pain in the butt to fight. And they're like, they're like a, a, a win or lose, you know? It's a 50-50. If they get that melee attack in on you, you're basically dead. You're, you're pretty much dead. If you avoid that, you can kill it pretty easily. They get that one attack on you, man. You're pretty much done for. Because they'll hit you seven or eight times. They'll just keep going. Just, they'll start a new combo attack. Me not like them? I don't like them either, Smokey Man. I don't like them either. My matures I'm okay with. You can counter my matures with decay damage. Stability cheat after like two knockdowns or something. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like the stability for... Gargoyles is just goofy. Like, you can knock them down, sort of, and then you can't. Oh, yeah, here's the wolf shield. Yeah. I'll play around with that later. I've never had this many bows in my chest, by the way, guys. I just want you to know that. Huh. All right, we'll put the venom arrows up. And the chitin. Oh, look at that. 25 iron. About to make us some arrows. As I don't need money. Right now, we will just be storing half of this stuff. Because I know I'll need it later. Hence my massive chest full of garbage that I haven't even used. And... We want to keep these, actually. And we may need more. Fire particle. Yeah, let's take one of these. Uh, I don't need mana. And or this hat. Why do I have a straw hat? Does someone want to explain that to me? Please explain to me right now why I have a straw hat. Baffle myself sometimes. Alright. Let's go down here and craft a... Holy cow, we can craft a lot of stuff. Health potion, I guess. You never have too many of those. There we go. Alright. I'm fine with that. Are arrow kits easier to find and buy in Definitive Edition? No. Nope. Arrow kits were unchanged. A, a very unfortunate overlook by the devs, in my opinion. They were not changed in the slightest. Look how many potions I have, guys. This is how you set up. 11 stamina, 11 health. Let's go. Alright, now I need to make some Predator de Bouillon. Pungent paste. Interesting. Now check this out. How many teas do I have? 
12? Oh my word. I'm a hoarder. I gotta stop hoarding things. No, the, uh... Hey, Sock, uh, Soxy, what's up? How are you now? I'm doing good. I'm doing pretty good. I'm enjoying the... The bows, they're a lot of fun. It's been playing some Outward, playing some Hellpoint lately, you know. Just kind of... Playing around with some different games. Having Won't fun. Buy something. Okay, do I need to repair? Probably not. And no, I needed to make the arrows. That's what I did. See, guys, I, I'm a, I'm a bow build and I can't make arrows. I don't know what my deal is. What's wrong with me? Clone Commander, hey Sheen, what is the best route to get housing in each city since hobo camps have been outlawed? So the best route to get every town, what you're gonna want to do is now. All of the houses unlock after you beat your faction quest. All of them. So whatever town that you start your faction quest in, you can buy that as soon as you want to. Except for her, the uh, Heroic Kingdom. That one you have to wait till Blood Under the Sun is done. Which is a parallel quest. So just wait. For that one, you just have... You need to know that you need to do the side quest. Um... You'll get a quest in the inn over in Berg. And then head to the burning tree, then head to the desert. Everything else can be done in the desert. How many of these can I make, do you think? Other than that, yeah, you just kind of got to wait till your faction quest is done. Which, again, is one of the reasons I think they... It's more focused on streamlining your faction quest now. They really want you to do that first. I don't even want to say they really want you to, but it, it's it's kind of better if you do. Explore less until your faction quest is done. Now, for most cases, the faction quest can be done quickly, other than Hollow Marsh. Hollow Marsh, uh, which is Holy Mission, takes forever. And the Holy Mission faction quest is the longest, in my opinion. Hardest, uh, Sorobor. But definitely Holy Mission is longest. I prioritize skill acquisition over faction quest. That's true. A lot of people like their skills first. And if you do it that way, what I recommend you do is earn enough money to get your skills, then do faction, then go explore. Now, that makes it hard to do since you kind of have to explore to get money-ish. Um, but you also don't. Because there's like a couple, you know, money farming spots that you really need to just... Those are the ones that are are done the most. Uh, again, like, you can go for your skills first, but definitely do... Definitely do factions before you explore caves and stuff. Or at least half your faction or something. I don't know. Enough to get two houses. Something like that. I don't know. Can you buy the player houses before completing the faction quest? You cannot, Reg. You cannot buy the faction houses before... The faction quest. You have the one in Sierzo that you can keep as long as you stop Vendival. And you have one in the town that you start the faction quest. Those are the only two you can get in the early game. Um, some people have complained about that. They're like, that's kind of dumb. And I, I agree with both sides because at one, at one point... Or on one side, you have, you know, the fact that you can't really collect anything at the beginning of the game. So let's say you go and you grab Warleg Spear, you grab a couple different unique weapons. You're at the beginning of the game, you didn't know those were in those caves, you were just kind of exploring. Well now you have four or five unique weapons that weigh a lot. Because most unique weapons weigh around five-ish pounds, I'd say that's average, four or five pounds. So now you have nothing. I forgot to grab water, guys. Doofus, what am I doing? Um... So now you're in trouble because unless you have Buffinos, you don't have the room for that. Even with Buffinos, I don't think there's room for that. So on that side of the coin, I think, yeah, it's kind of dumb that we can't buy the houses. On the flip side, it breaks the point of the faction a bit. Because the houses are... I don't know, it's hard to explain. Like, the houses are essential for various... Crafting and alchemy and stuff and near the beginning of the game. It's supposed to be hard to craft You know once you buy all the houses you can just go to any town and just craft whatever you want, you know 
Hey, Sheen. Wish you a wonderful stream. I will lurk for a bit. What's up, Mio? Thank you. Appreciate that. You should do blood pre blood price as soon as you can get it, because it gets blocked out later if you ignore it. Yes. Yes, you should. So, yeah, I, I agree that the... I think they should have... What they should have done is made the houses more expensive before the faction quest. So, if you want to buy the houses before you beat your faction quest, you have to pay a thousand silver instead of 500. That way, you can buy it early, but it's going to be, you know, it's going to be pricey. Good morning, Sheen and chat. I got work today, and so I wish you have a great stream today. Thank you, just live the dream. I know. Sucks you and have work, and you can't just hang out while playing outward all day. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by, man. Appreciate that. Rewatch stream later when I get off. Awesome. I appreciate that. Collecting is much more difficult. I've had to sell Whirlig and other rare items this first playthrough because I've waited on faction questing. Yeah, and again, that's the problem. Well, a lot of times people use the unique weapons as farms. You know, like, just sell it, you get 900 silver. That's what I usually do anyway. But if it's your first playthrough or something and you want to save those weapons for other builds, you're in trouble. You know. Okay, we need to go to test chambers. Dang it! I always get test chambers mixed up with the manufa- is it manufacturing? I don't know. You ever thought about doing a gold legacy weapon build stream? Pickaxe, harpoon, or pitchfork? I've thought about it. There's a couple different gimmick builds that I'd like to try out like that. The problem is... Is it loading docks? It's loading docks, guys. That's what it is. I have so many, like, good build ideas and, like, actually full build ideas that it's hard for me to do a build like that. Like, I've wanted to do Merton Run as well, where you just play as Merton the Skeleton. But then again, I want to do a Knuckle build or a full Corruption build, you know? So, it's like, hard to handicap myself when I haven't really played a knuckle build on stream or a corruption build. By the way, guys, I came up with a brilliant idea. You ready for this? Everybody in chat, you're the only ones that are going to know about this. Ready? The corrupt cowboy. It's a pistol build and you wear horror armor. I love it. Although I don't know about the helmet, but the, ar the armor and the boots are horror armor and you're the corrupt cowboy. I think it's hilarious. Crack me up. All right, we're saving our arrows for the boss, at least right now. Because we have to prove ourselves against him. What's up? You want some of this? I got more where that came from. Oh, I walked right into it, guys. What am I doing? Five iron? Let's go. How much wood do I have? Because I feel like I don't have that much. Fourteen. That's a decent amount. It's not enough, but where's the exit at? Is it on the right side or the left side? No, it's over here. Okay. I think it's going to come down to getting them on another character and giving them to my main collect them all. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of people have like a burner character too. You could just spawn them in. And then transfer all the weapons to that character. Stuff like that. That's another decent way to do it. Alright, now let's craft more arrows. We have 100 arrows. I think we're good. It's dependent on wood right now, though. 103. That's good. Chimera pistol would be good addition for your build. This build right here, it really would be. Chimera is... The reason I don't run Chimera is if you watch any legitimate, like, boss battle. Like, someone made a decent build and they fight a boss. They always use Chimera to start the fight. Because that's the ideal way to do things. But I don't always want to use a gun to start the battle, so... I don't always do it that way. Dude, would you calm down? 
I mean, look at this spear, dude. It gets me in and out of fights so easily. As soon as I say that, I, uh, get beaten the head by a claw. You can only have one wind altar active at a time, or is it single activation that's permanent? It is single activation, and it is permanent. So the idea behind wind sigils is it's a forgotten and lost magic. And you cannot use it until the wind altars are up and running again. So once they're up and running, then you can use it forever. No issues at that point. It's just at the initial beginning of the game, the Cabal of Winds has died. You know, if you don't know. They are they're long gone. They did lost to the Scourge, basically. Killed themselves off, really. And, uh... So if you want to use Wind Magic, you have to kind of rebuild their... You know, I don't know why these dogs... Like, it's the broken ones. They attack immediately after hitting them. For some reason, that throws me off a bit. So you don't have to activate Wind Altars every time you enter a region. That would actually be kind of frustrating and make Wind Magic very hard to use. Um, but the way it is now is very good. Activate them all. Good to go. And actually, for a lot of my build videos, I have to run around to each... Uh, if I use the Wind Sigils... I have to run around to each region and <laughs> turn them all on and then go test. So annoying. Welcome back, Zen. Hey, how's it going? Trying to decide what would be a good build to do with Cabal Hermit Tree because I've never done before. You've never done Cabal Hermit? Okay, Clone Commander, are you leaning towards Wind Sigil or Wind Infuse more? Because I can tell you based on which one. Because you're going to want to go different directions. Depending on which one you choose. How many healing items do I have? Probably not a lot, but I have the health potions. Healing over time is nice to have, too, though. Do I have a key for this? I'm assuming nope. Gotta go get it from that guy. Because there is some... Cabal Hermit is the best skill tree in the game, in my opinion. It's the most versatile. It's the most powerful. It is just under hex trees just under it like hex trees probably second best in terms of versatility but cabal hermit in the beginning was the best skill tree too what happened to froggy jeremiah i just haven't the truck gameplay is fun but it's a lot of just run poke the enemy run away you know which is fun but to me that's not like, if I was watching a live stream, I wouldn't want to watch that constantly. And playing it myself, I didn't want to play it constantly. So I just kind of... It's a lot of fun, but it's not something I want to go and grind Caldera with. If that makes sense. We may bring it up in the future. The, the Trog playthrough, just for some fun, but I'm not gonna just... I'm not gonna regularly stream it anymore. It's too, uh... It's too linear gameplay for me. I'm doing a Chakram Hex Mage Cabal Hermit build with Rainbow Hex. Pretty good. Those three are a very strong combination, actually. The problem with taking Philosopher is it's useless unless you're using Chakrams. You get the mana regen, but you miss out on a lot. So if you do go chakrams, then you gain like an insane amount of power. And the regen. So that really adds a lot to that build. Now, I never know if there actually is anything down here or if they just kind of punk you. Yeah, they just kind of punk you. Okay. Get greedy, you see that? Don't get greedy. Got a golem somewhere. I don't know where he's at. Remember how I had no iron? I have like a lot of iron now. <laughs> Rune magic and hex skill lines are very good for me. Uh, yeah, those pair really well together too, actually. Oh, shoot. Dang it. I can't see anything in here. Scared me half to death.
I don't do well with jump scares, guys. Help me. No iron. Killing me right now. Killing me. Because I'm using rune, magic, hex, philosopher this time around. I want a melee focus. Ball hermit to answer your question. Okay, so you want to go wind issues. Now, the fun thing about melee is you could actually use uh, wind sigil with a melee build and just kind of kite around your, your sigil. Well, let's say Wind Infuse, okay? To simplify things. The thing about Wind Infuse is it's all based on stability. So, you can go with whatever weapon you want. You're still going to do good knockback. I like a Marble Mace. I don't know if you saw my Pirate build, but that's probably my favorite way to use Wind Sigil. It's an instant knockdown in like two hits for anything. Two or three hits. Um, I would go with a mace, maybe? No, the problem with mace is you can't use mace its main skill, though. Go axe. Its main skill sucks, but with an axe, a one-handed axe and wind infuse, you can knock anything in the game down with your one skill combination. Go with an axe, go with wind infuse for Cabal Hermit. I'd go hex mage, uh, if you want to just kind of... Stable gameplay. Something that's going to be fun. And use... What would your third one? Probably Warrior Monk. Warrior Monk, Hex, Cabal Hermit. That's something I, I would I would play. And I have played. As just like a general fun build. I gotta say, I don't like these guys. They can attack you very quickly. Okay, I think I have one more on me. Maybe. There he is, the punk. Gotta get out of range of him. Oh my word. Yeah, see, look at that. We're just gonna eat the damage and then go take a health potion. Who cares? Thought about making any videos on some of the modded classes, like a Necromancer or a Knives Master mod, which allows you to put a dagger in your main hand. Uh, I've thought about doing mods. The thing about mods is they're going to be the last thing I do, probably. There are so many other things in the game that need to be done first. Uh, I will eventually get to them, but that'll be like when I'm kind of almost done with the game, you know? Not really almost done with the game, but, like, when I think I've done the main stuff, so I covered the main... at least one build for each weapon type. Um, when I've covered more of the unique weapons from Caldera, done a couple guides on Caldera, the top fives, I'll look into mods after that point. Alright, we want wood. We're going back in there, guys, but we want wood so we can make more arrows. But yeah, I, I want to touch mods eventually. And I've been sent multiple things about mods and people talking about them and stuff. But, uh... You know. There's so much to do in-game, too. So it's like, I need to make sure I get done what I want to get done before I touch mods. We're going to get a skill tree tier list? Probably, actually. I'd like to do a top five for everything. what I can, at least. There we go. Now we have arrows. See, game was trying to mess with me earlier. It wasn't giving me any. Let's just drop these. But yeah. The mods for Outward are really cool, so we'll look into them. We'll look into them. Worst enemy for me in Rust and Vengeance is probably Sublime Shell. I hate meleeing that thing so much. They do suck to melee. Uh, but the, the funny thing is, they're very easily staggered if you use the correct stuff. So while they're really hard, you can actually make them really easy by a stagger. They can be really tough. I remember the first time I came across those things, I was like, what the heck? 
Check out how many of these potions I ended up with. Seven purity potions. I mean, I had multiple on me, but... Dang. Intense. Someone needs to do a comprehensive caldera because... It is virtually uncovered. I know, that's... That's the big thing about this build, is I need to do caldera so I can get that... I need a character who has that done. Is that light mask? Interesting. Going through caldera at the moment in this build... Building the town thing is painful. Again, that's why I tell a lot of people don't even do it. Just avoid it. It's so tedious. You need to do it twice. I think if you do it twice, you can get almost all the buildings. And then never do it again. Okay, move this to bag. Move this to bag. And I can move this to pocket. Check this out. I have a lance that is weighing me down. Didn't realize that. Yeah, there we go. That should be enough arrows in my bag. Uh, we have the pain on us, but then it's not too big a deal, I don't think. Alright, let's do this. Take one of these. Some stamina here. Oh, look at how many gravels beetles I ended up with. I need some blood mushrooms for this. Uh, what does this give me? Just give me something, right? Yeah, attack up. Mana regen. We're not gonna be crazy strong. It does corruption damage and physical. That's some good buffs. Without getting too nutty. Oh, I can put stability up potion. Alright, let's do this. Let's see how hard this is with the bow build. Very? I don't know if that first shot registered. We gotta watch out for his long range attacks. Doing good damage, though. Missed. You don't want to miss. Common mistake when playing a game. Um, if you miss, it's not It's not good. Alright, let's kill the backpack first, I think. He's slow enough. Oh my word, guys. What? What? Stamina. Check out the stamina. Ooh, that's a problem. That's a problem. It, look, they can't even attack me. Uh, he usually does the more spray the area, but he's not doing it. Yeah, that's it. Okay, let's run around a bit. Grab our arrows. This guy's dead. The bleed. Bleed's actually doing a lot, too. Oh, my word. I'd say this is very good for Scourge. If you want an anti-Scourge bow build, this is the thing. This is the build for anti-Scourge. You want to kill him with Sniper Shot? Let's kill him with Sniper Shot. I don't even know what to say. He's mad because I'm good at killing his stuff. Yeah, I know. I feel like MK Gollum, this is going to fall hard. I, I'm i like 90% sure. That's a pretty good fight right there, though. That's a pretty good fight. I wonder how weak they are to lightning, though. That's some insane. They were taking a lot of damage from bleed, too. They were taking a lot of damage from Bleed. First mod you install should definitely be Combat Hood. I know, I need to install that. I was going to do it with the bow build, but I didn't want it to mess with uh, my opinion of the build at all. So I didn't, I didn't actually do it. So we need to go... Where do we need to go next? We have three of the gemstones. The last one we need is from the MK Golem. We should have the warehouse key. 
We do. Okay. Why did I not think I had the warehouse key? So there's, uh, there we go. Thought I'd never see someone streaming outward. What's up, Tomas? Or Thomas, however you say it. Welcome to the stream. I try and stream outward every Tuesday, Thursday. It is a blast. Um, do we need to kill the Wendigo? Do I have any raw meat? I don't have any raw meat or I do that. Oh, well, we'll go to the warehouse. Grab a bit more wood so we can make arrows when we need to. I don't know. Mathenos is so important for the arrows, at least near the beginning to early game. I feel like maybe later when you're regularly going back to Caldera or New Sirocco, it might be fine to switch to a different backpack. But the problem with Caldera, though, too, is you have those samples. So it's not like you have a lot of options for a bow build what you should use. That's my thing with gun builds, too. I like to have enough bullets to just know that I'm prepared. Although I think my next, if I ever make a gun build on a stream, I will do one that I don't use bullets for. I'll use probably purely a uh, cold shot or something. The gold bow with twain. Good choice. What's up, Hytro? It has been a good choice. I don't know. I was worried about it at first, but it's working out well. We need to try the meteoric bow. If anyone has a meteoric bow that I can borrow and is on PC, I will let you hop in. For a solid 10 seconds. Let me borrow it. Or keep it. To try it out in Caldera later. Problem is though. Holy Blaze doesn't work if the enemy can't burn. You know what I mean? Look at this. Get wrecked son. Okay I couldn't get the last shot off. What? What? Are you kidding me? It didn't kill? Okay. He has literally zero health. I bet you if you look at his health bar, he had like one health. Titanic Guardian choose Obsidian Scourge Repair Matrix. Which one does that do? Oh, probably makes him Scourge Repair Matrix. Okay. You're right, Hydro. Coming in. Coming in hot with the, uh, the advice there. Does bullet coating require reload? What do you mean bullet coating, Dusty? Do you mean minus lightning resistance? Interesting, Hytro. Interesting. See, I didn't know that. I don't know what all those do. Uh, coating, like, there are certain gun skills like blood infuse that don't cost you don't need to reload a bullet for if that's what you're asking the same goes for cold shot you don't need to reload look at the damage to an immaculate that's no boon on by the way dang it I always have trouble dodging after I shoot This guy's giving me the business, isn't he? I don't know why, but I missed up all my dodges there. Alright. We can take a couple of hits. We're okay. The skill like Frost Shot? No, Dusty. That does not require you to reload. Uh, the way it works is Iron Shot, Frost Shot, and Blood Infused do not require bullets. For Iron, you're just shoving Iron into the gun. So you don't, you know, need bullets. I think that's all that's over there. It's just a trap. For cold shot, you're shoving pure cold into the gun, so you don't need bullets. The only ability that you need bullets for is actually... Uh, what's it called? Lightning shot, which you just have to be in the sigil and have a bullet loaded. Does that go through walls? I feel like it shouldn't, but I think it did one time. Me off. 
Okay, I didn't get to use sniper shot on him. That's going to be annoying. Well, you have a ranged attack? Guess what, buddy? I'm all ranged attacks. Get wrecked. I feel like I use a lot of stamina for dodging on Immaculate. Mostly because I dodge incorrectly. And dodge, and dodge. Yep. I need that lightning boon on. I'm missing a lot of damage from that. And you're dead. Sit down, son. Holy cow. Immaculates, can we talk about the fact that they drop amazing stuff? Faction Holy Mission. This was Heroic Kingdom, actually. This Heroic Kingdom. Hey, Bayou City, what's up? Uh, I didn't see your message there. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. A ball's well, just saw your spear video. I only have the number five spear. Great vid, though. Yeah, the horror spear is a very, very good spear. People sleep on that spear. It's a solid choice. If you remember right, that was in my top five early game weapons when Definitive Edition came out for all the newbies. No better drop than a horror chitin. Prove me wrong. <laughs> hey, you're not wrong for money. Get that horror chitin. I don't think Immaculus can drop it though, which sucks. I think all the other horror can. Uh, Illuminator horrors can't though. They're too small. They don't have it. I guess Cold Shot does consume your Cool Boon. Yeah, it does consume the Cool Boon, but you get... This is... Iron, I think. From this cave. Yeah, there should just be Iron back here. Because Heroic just gave me more damage, so I just took that. Holy Mission would not have been bad. Because it would have given me extra lightning damage, but... At the same time... You get 15% from... Heroic versus 10 from Holy Mission. Also, Heroic. I hadn't done the Heroic Kingdom faction quest on stream yet, so I had I had to do it, you know. Just a week ago, me and my friend found out we were sitting on thousands of silver. Oh, yeah? From the Horror Chitons? Just had a bunch of them lying around. Oh, my word. How much iron is in here? It is a mine, so this makes sense, but still. Wow. You know what the problem is going to be, though? If I fight... When I fight the MK, because it's going to happen, this is the one enemy that gets me, okay? Because I will literally just... I get knocked down from him and just kind of lay there. I don't know why. And I also like how I popped all my boons 50 miles from any enemy. Ooh, that's going to be helpful. How do you get that lucky and get two resistance potions? Holy Mission also gives you weather defense. If I had taken Holy Mission with this setup right here, I would be impervious to all weather. Think about that. That would be insane. Here's where things get a little sketchy. You ready? We're good. We're good. Let's take some water for stamina because that's what I forgot to do last time. Okay, we gotta get the sniper shot off as soon as we can. That's what I'm talking about. Dodge! Ah, I knew it. That one would have hurt if I got hit by that. That's for sure. Run back down to Sigil, which we have for support. And... Bleed's doing some nice damage. Oh, shoot. These two guys will mess you up, bro. Because of that guy right there. Oh, is he healed by that? I think he heals by that. Oh, shoot! That got scary. I didn't realize that he could... Uh, I think he can heal by if he hits you with that. I don't know why I'm grabbing that stuff. I can't even use infusions. 
Although I may have, I don't know. The rest of the time I might have to switch to a spear. I don't know. I, it might be hard. Most horror weapons just fall under the group I call the Scarlet set. They look weird. Oh, because the Scarlet armor looks so trash. Now, horror weapons, I think, look terrible for the most part. There are a select few I enjoy, though. The spear is one of them. I think the spear is top-notch. Look-wise. I had like three times to these. Oh, they're tough. They're tough. I, may, I might make them look easy, but they are not. They are not. Okay, how much mana do I have? I have enough. Why are they hiding in the corner? Come get me. Hang it. With a decay boon, though? I have a lot of resist. Okay, really, dude? Track me like that? I don't appreciate it. Okay. I'm actually not going to waste arrows with this guy. It's pointless to bow them because they're very immune. Not immune. Uh, they're, like, very resistant to physical. I think. They just always are so grindy to kill. Okay, there's another immaculate up there. Dang it, where's the particles at right now? We're not getting any. We have so much crap right now. Oh, we have a lot of wood that's weighing us down. This is weighing us down. I mean, I say we have a ton of crap, and then I'm just carrying junk. But I don't want to put it down, so I'm not going to. Because that's how I roll. Or two-handed axe is pretty nice. Oh, it's not bad, yeah. I think uh, World Edge is better is the only problem. World Edge is hard to get, though. At least it can be. Marble weapons plus weightless enchant equals win. Any any marble weapon with a weightless enchant is instantly S tier. You're not wrong about that. Oh shoot, no arrows! I really hate elementals. Have I mentioned that? This guy is solidly dodging all of my attacks. And that's why I hate him. They don't even, like, really fight you. They just kind of ping away at you while you fight somebody else. And I feel like that's a really jerky move. Also, he just inflicted me with a debuff I don't like. Alright, he's just going to sit there. Let me destroy him. Taking forever for my skills to come back right now. That one right there is so hard to dodge. Do, 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 do. Okay, sit down. What does this actually do? Eight mana stones? Elemental damage? Negative 40? Oh my word! It's killing me right now. We cannot fight the golem with that on, that's for sure. Okay. And I'm pretty sure there's nothing up here but a lever. Yeah. We'll pull that. Met look-wise for two-handed horror. Yeah, no, I know what you mean, dude. The two-handed horror doesn't look too bad. Um, again, though, I feel like World Edge looks a little better. I was just comparing it to another axe. Uh, Damage-wise, definitely better, but... I don't know. There's something about the World Edge. The problem with it, though, is it is just green. I don't know why they didn't add some sort of unique thing to it, like a glow, maybe, but they just kind of made it solid green. How long does Sap last? That didn't last very long. What the heck? Uh, you can also go down there and get an ornate chest. Yeah, not doing that. I'm already overweight, and it's pointless. Archers have an insatiable hunger for arrows. We need iron. Our adventurer buddies always complain. <laughs> Why after every bandit fight, we decraft the bandit weapons? Sign your soul away. It's true, though. Ghostly Wendigo Armor Booster. The Obsidian 
repair matrix. I bet you it does fire damage though, right? The impact absorber. We'll choose that one. Outward teaches me that uh, doping yourself is the best way to achieve success. Hex tree. <laughs> or or uh, killing your... Killing... Uh, sucking the life out of your enemies. Yeah. What do we pick here? I feel like drilling sword might be better. We'll go drilling sword. I'm feeling it. Now, weather-wise, how much weather tolerance do we have? We may go hot weather. Let's go corruption. Let's just go corruption. Corruption is the best one because it doesn't affect you in any way. As long as you have a potion, you know? What's up, Sean? Thank you for the donation there. I appreciate that. Are you playing with mods? Because I don't see burnt stamina. Ah, yes. Tomas, my friend. Yes, the Hex Tree. And no, I'm not playing with nod, uh, mods. I, uh... Ah! Made a fatal mistake. I pushed the wrong freaking button. Button. Alright. Here we go. There's the fight. He looking, he looking mad scary. And I guarantee you he does fire damage. So we're gonna have to make sure we have a full water skin in our pocket. Move the bag. Move the pocket. I feel like we can take this guy. I feel like we can we can pretty well take this guy. In pocket and move one of these to bag, two of these to bag. There we go. Alright, let's take this. Yeah, how's it going, Sean? We're about to fight the MK. Kinda scared. I'm afraid. Really. Let's take our bouillon. Some health regen going. Um. And then we need to pop boons, right? Yeah. Lightning. Fire. Decay? I don't know if that affects corruption in any way. I don't think so, but. And lastly, we will equip. A couple health potions. And move... Okay. Move this to bag. And move these to pocket. Okay. Stamina is going to be our only problem, I think. We need to take a mana potion. Real quick. Where's it at? Come on. There they are. Alright, let's do this. No, no wind sigil. We're going pure arrows. Let's do this. Get hyped. Get ready. Okay. Watch him watch him hit me immediately as soon as I enter. That'd be my luck. Yeah. Okay. You can't use sniper shot. That was a given, but I wanted to make sure. Okay. You can't bleed, probably. Because he's a robot. Alright, he's not attacking me. I like. He's actually not that bad of a boss in solo. I was scared of him because when I fought him with Liger, like, I can't see any of his attacks. Now we use Sniper Shot. There we go. Like, he actually doesn't do much. Again, stamina. The only issue I have. He also does less elemental damage to me, which may be a factor here. Not sure. Let's get our stamina back up. Because I'm spam roll dodging. Shouldn't be doing that. Okay, I need arrows. Do, do, do. It's just kind of a slow whittle him down. Look at the long sword, though. What the heck? Sniper shot does insane damage. I bet with a build where you had a ton of stamina, bow would be so easy. Ooh, I barely dodged that. No compatible weapon. You can only use sniper shot when he does that. 
I don't, all I need is sniper shot, actually. Shoot, I did the wrong button. I was trying to take a health potion. Okay. He has such wide openings. I never realized that. With the sword. I think it's different with the halberd. Oh yeah, look at the stamina, guys. Major problem with stamina. Should have put a stamina potion on. Wonder if I can hit him here. Oh, he's almost dead. Come on. Probably don't even need to dodge, but I am just in case. That's what I'm saying, though. Like... Oh, wait a minute. Is that a glitch? No, that might be still be a bug. That might still be a bug. He just gave me the key. Yeah, there's two keys. That's, I'm pretty sure, is a bug. I think you should go for antique plate economy for stamina cost reduction. It might actually be better for the boots. I'm only getting 5% lighting damage from him. And negative 3 stamina cost. It might not be a bad idea. The problem is I lose movement speed. Might be a good trade-off, though. Dancer outfit with Aegis? <laughs> Dancer outfit, so funny. Uh, anyway. Uh, yeah, it would be a bad idea, though. Yeah, you get two stone key, uh, gemstone key A's. So... That's a bug. That's not supposed to happen. I'll be... I think if I had hot barred stamina potions, it would have been an easier fight. I don't think I need health as much. But stamina definitely is required. Now, here's the problem here. I know for a fact there is a stupid immaculate around this corner. So, use probe with a bow. Uh... No, you cannot use probe with a bow. I will show you guys. Da, 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 da. Where are you at? There you go. Probe cannot be uh, probe cannot be used while have a bow. That's because probe is a melee action skill. Specifically, like you literally can't use it with anything but melee weapons. Where's my thing at? Here it is. Watch this. I'm going to sneak up on this guy. He thinks he's going to sneak up on me, but I'm going to sneak on him. Take that. Ah, then I'll run away like a coward. Oh. I tried to lock onto him, and instead I just shot the air. What? It's gone. No. Really? Sniper. I think sniper shot's the best uh, bow skill in the game. It is the most fun one to use. Even if it's not the most practical at all the time, it is the most fun one to use. For sure. Don't think you need torment. I don't. Um, I have it for the obsidian bow, though. Uh, if you notice, I am big carrying it around. I haven't used it. I have it just in case I throw this on so that I can inflict the hex and then burn an enemy. It comes in handy for harder things that are bigger. I'll show you. There's another enemy up here, so... Oh, shoot. I need to stop. Oh, I'll put this in my bag, too. Uh, 30 arrows? Is that enough? Yeah. Takes like three shots, if I remember correctly. Sometimes four. Yeah, now he's burning. It just doesn't do as much damage because I'm not set up for lightning damage, but... It's still strong. I'll do it again on the uh, Immaculate. Isn't he around the corner? Look at him. Look at him right there. Just guarding it like a freaking boss. Is 
What a guy. Immaculates are the coolest. May oh, like reoccurring enemy you fight in the game. Have some flame, my friend. Dang it. I hate when you stop running and you're just don't pull the bow back. Sniper! Bow is all about timing your dodges. That's the only thing you have to get down. Which sounds stupid, because, like, all of a dodging is timing your dodges, but... See how many more arrows that took than if I used my other bow? Wow, that didn't even kill him. Ah, he just dies. <laughs> Smack a fool with my bow. <laughs> Yeah, use probe. You just kind of hit him with the end of the pool. This bow looks crazy. Look at this. Oh my word. This bow looks crazy. And then you have my other bow, which is just... Blip. This is a true hunter build. Like, this is as true of a... Bow look you could get, probably. Because I was told I had to have money ready for Caldera, I started grinding on at least three characters. Ended up with 63k gold. What? Yeah, you'll have plenty. You'll have plenty. You, I don't even think you need that much, but you're prepared at least. That's safe to say. Miss Chiff, what's up? Good morning. How's it going? Welcome, welcome to the stream, friend. Speaking of cool-looking weapons, Jude says, I have fallen in love with the Obsidian Claymore. Kind of looks like Soul's Edge from Soul Calibur. Actually, uh, what's his name? There's another Outward content creator. He made a video on some mods recently. It's like R RPG Gaming, RPG... Can't... I always forget the name of his actual channel. Um, he had... There's a mod where you can, uh... You can have a two-handed sword in one hand, and he used that sword in the video. And I have to admit, you're right. That sword looks really cool. That was like a very long-winded explanation of that, but yeah. Hey, Sheen, it's Dream. What's up, uh, Hafren? How's it going? That guy's still alive. I feel like he is. No, yes, he did. This is what we needed corruption potions for, in case you're wondering. We will 100% get corrupted. Looks like a peasant found a bow lying around and just decided to become a hunter. For real. Watch this lightning damage I'm about to throw down. I'm gonna kill the little ones first, actually. Dang it, I missed. Can he hit me from there? I want to say yes. Ah! Now's when we drop the bag. And run for our life. You know what I didn't do? Notice my stamina bar. <laughs> it ain't pretty. Dude, stop trying to kill me with that. It's not going to happen. Here's where we come over here. We just kind of pop this because we have no stamina. Let that follow us around for a bit. Circle him. And then kill him with the bow. Excellent. Now, let's try and remember to take our uh, stamina this time. This is a lot of lightning damage. <laughs> I'm forcing it to be a lot of lightning damage, even if it doesn't want it. Sanctifier potions... You know, last time I did this, I don't remember who I did it with. I did it... No, I did it with ZapQ in co-op. And let me tell you, we did not get any potions for corruption. I almost died because of it. We're doing okay on water. Not great, though. You need to watch out for that. Okay. Well, let's make more arrows, guys. That is a essential thing right now. But yeah... I mean, you do have 11 stamina potions. Yeah. You know what I need to do, though? I need to hot bar them. 
All right, that is all the arrows I have. I'm going to be honest right now. I don't think we have enough arrows to beat all these enemies and still use the arrows against the boss. In fact, I know we don't. Because there is actually a lot of enemies in between here and the end. Uh, that'll be helpful for later. Does anyone, like, notice it's actually really, really easy to do Rust and Vengeance now? You can get it done very quickly. I've done it, like, several times on stream now. I think four or five. And each time it's only taken us a few hours to complete the whole quest. This is a weird room. Is it a shrine to the horrors? What the heck? I do not remember seeing this room like this. Okay. Gonna run away from that. Here is a big bad right here. I don't like it too much. I like uh, it's like a maze down here. No, it really is. Once you get used to it, it's fine. I thought I could uh, knock him down before he did that, but they weren't even fighting. What were they doing? Hey, nerd, this way. Wow. So this guy I'd like to use bow for, but he's actually very easy with bow, so we're gonna go with... Oh, and we have one of the very few decay elementals in the game. There are less of them, I think. Come on, you big green guy. How did that hit me? You want to explain that to me? I think the sigil's going to run out. Convenient. We could take him. This guy is a challenge, though. We have a lot of lightning damage, though. Dang it. I was worried about the elemental. I wasn't even paying attention to that. Stupid elemental, dude. I really hate those things. Doo -doo -doo. Gotta get in a corner where he can't hit us. One more hit. Thank you. Go take care of this guy. Dang it! They're so hard to dodge, they track you. Alright, now we're good. And he didn't even give me a particle after all that. Hey, what's up, Say? There's the key that I need. Uh, we'll take the pure chitin too. That's hard to pass up on. Welcome to the chat, my friend. I'm going to go ahead and take one of these because we have plenty to spare and also don't want to be hurt like this for later. Does this guy have nothing? Awesome. Pop our boon again. And rage. Uh, that's why I did knock him back, I think. Just there to mess with me? Yeah. yeah. You're right, Jonah. So he really was there to just make me angry. Uh, the game, the game loves to do that. I don't know why. I'm not even gonna take my backpack off. You ready? I'm not even gonna do it. Now this golem always wins this fight. Always. Unless I help him. Because that guy has more stagger. Ooh, here we go. Dang it. Aha! I helped you. Why would you come attack me after I helped you? You're a jerk. You deserve that. How dare you insult me like that. Try to be nice, guys. This is what you get. You can't be a nice person in today's world. It's impossible. 
there's two decay elementals in this small area. That seems overly ridiculous to me. No double attack. And another one. Gotta watch that. I always used to get hit by that attack. I know now. Don't move in. Pizza Chakram is probably your favorite Chakram. Dude. Or weird item you're saying? Yeah, no. Pizza Chakram is the best weird item. I feel like grind is a... It's not... Grind isn't a weird item, but grind is... Very odd. I kind of like it. Again, you guys like the bow build? It's going great. <laughs> I just want to make sure I have enough arrows for the boss. I don't want to just, like... Not use the bow against the boss. I feel like that's kind of... Here we go, here we go. One more attack. Nice. I like that the cooking pot has its own unique enchantment. I've always loved the pizza chakram. Imagine, you know, cooking pot, helm, pizza chakram. What's a weird sword that you could pair with it? Or like weird one-handed weapon? Because you'd have to pair it with something, right? Keep attacking. We can stagger. Boom. Let's go. Enchanting shield. Oh, yeah. You can turn the enchanting table into a shield. Yeah. That's so... I don't know why. I really don't. It has zero purpose, but... You know what would be really funny? Is if you enchant an enchanting shield on an enchanting table. Just blew my mind. Hey, we're tired. This is actually helpful. Meme build. <laughs> Meme build stream. Oh, yeah. That would be interesting. Where's my stamina? But, I mean, look at the no burn stats, though. You, you got... You, it's so hard to not play with Hex. I gotta say that. It's... I, honestly, I don't even understand what they were, like, on when they made the Sword of Boreans DLC. Because it feels like everything they put in that DLC is just, like, the best. You got vampiric weapons. You have the two, arguably, two of the best skill trees in the game. Speedster is insane. Still no iron. It's really weird that I'm finding a lot of mechanical enemies and getting no iron. Like, I know these guys don't even drop it that often, but... Oh, by the way, I never figured this out. Um... Right here. Check this out. So if you didn't know about this... This is a pot, and you can interact with it? I have no clue what it does. I have absolutely no idea what this does. Zero clue. I can't find it on the wiki. I've asked people. I don't know. I have no idea. I have, I have no clue. Where's the secret door at? I've never... I don't know. I've never seen the secret door. How are you going to fight the boss? Because your arrows are in your backpack. Uh, that's going to be annoying to keep dropping it and get... Well, the thing is, I can I can put them in my pocket. Uh, every time I drop, it says zero because I don't have any in my pocket right now. I will switch them to my pocket for the fight. Uh, then it'll be okay. If we... I don't know. We might run out of arrows, though. We may have to pick the backpack back up. Um, I have 14 equipped. I just don't have any in my backpack. Opens a hidden door wall section down a level or two? Really? Okay. Where's it at? Hafrin, do you know where it's at? We're going to check this out. I, I didn't do it last time. I want to see what this is. 
This is not on the wiki, I don't think. Because I checked. I cannot see a thing. It's so dark. Tenji's probably going to have like 30 arrows. Yeah, I mean, I have... Yeah, I think it carries three or four of 15 arrows, maybe. I can't remember. It's got to be in here, right? Secret door in here. No? Vase opens a wall on the same floor. It's on the same floor? What? Took me a while to find it. Near you like the metal gate you passed. I could have sworn I checked the main floor. Is this like a tower, by the way? We were underground, but this has to be a tower, right? Okay, so I went through the portal. This is where I was. Oh, I'm getting more elemental damage from being tired, guys. I forgot about that. Gotta be right here, right? This looks like a secret door. Can I poke it? If this was Dark Souls, this would open. What the heck? There's a hole in the wall. Well, I think we found the secret door, ladies and gentlemen. What is this? What is this? What? Okay, let's read the books, guys. Guys, let's read the books, okay? We gotta read this. Those tall scourge creatures who wield weapons, the corruption seems to have done more than just mutate them from some animal. They're intelligent, powerful, unyielding in the face of death. They know no fear and feel no pain. These monsters appear to be almost designed to be perfect killing machines. They are, in a word, immaculate. Surprise. I cannot avoid the conclusion that they must have once been human. Winds forgive us and punish whoever did this to them. Inflicting them upon us all. Nothing could have been worth this. I have read that before, but I read it on the wiki. So that makes sense why I didn't find it. What is this chunk here? Attempt 1. Focal point mana stone. Failure. The attempt to create a mana lich was a complete botch. Their organs completely burned to a crisp. I am unsure if it was a failure of the ritual or if mana is too general a focal point to create a lich. They were trying to create a lich. And they, wow, they killed people to do it. That's some intense stuff, guys. That's intense. Wolf medic armor. Interesting. Actually, that's a pretty good ornate chest. It's not bad. We don't need anything from here, though, and I'm not going to pick it up. But this is cool. This is really cool. I wonder, like, we get more backstory. This is awesome. Hi, Sheen Shots. Your Hellpoint video made me interested in that particular game. Wonder if you're planning on making a review or beginner video for that. Uh, Pom Pom, I have a script already written out for a mechanics guide to Hellpoint. Basically, everything you need to know about the mechanics, I have a guide for it. I have not put it out yet. I need to get game footage. But yes, I am indeed planning to make a beginner's guide video for that. It's not necessarily a beginner's guide. It's literally just mechanics, but it will tie in to that. Uh, but I'm glad that it got you into the game. The game's cool. At least made you interested. The problem with it is it takes 10 times longer to make videos for that game than it does for Outward. So I have not, uh, not done a good job of uh, put, posting regular content for that game. Um, but I do have a... Let's play coming out tomorrow and Thursday for that game. If you're interested in checking a little bit more footage of it out. Uh, but yes, I will be making a video on that. That's an interesting a little lore spot there. Because the Forge Master had to be transferred to a mech body. Explains it. Yeah, I mean, he couldn't... Because uh, they wanted to create a mana lich, right? Because mana is like insanely powerful, right? But they couldn't. So in order to create their own lich, they had to transfer his, like, mind or his conscience, something, to the metal body, which is the rust lich. 
And then he could become the Lich. They killed like seven... If you read all the text, they killed lots of people in this process. Trying to make them become a Lich. And uh, the Forge Master was actually killing his subjects. Because he was trying to get this to work. Dang it. Oh no, I'm good. And so in order to... They, they got fed up, you know, like you would. And they said, no, we're going to make you the Lich. And then they did. Well, that did not work. Two of these guys at a time? Don't recommend. That was trouble. That's a, that's a little interesting lore spot there. Very cool, very cool. I had actually not known about that. I did not have a clue, so that is very interesting to me. Let's do this. Let's do this, mate. Do I have mist? I don't have mist boon, guys. What am I what am I doing in my life? How do I not have that? Phylactery is a successful one of those mana stones you found. The big one? Oh, that makes sense. How'd he hit me? With the alt are you kidding me right now? I should have knocked you down. Jerk. What are my feelings? Luckily, I have plenty of mana potions. I don't have mana regen, though. Like from health? Or, uh, from food? Look at how beautiful this used to be. Like, this is... Oh, wait a minute. This is the ley line. Oh! This is underneath our matin. This has to be underneath our Madden because this is the ley line. I never thought about that. And at the end, you exit out of here into the Harmattan Tower. So it makes sense, but I never thought of that. Oh, let's read this because I want you guys... If you don't know about this, this is cool. I don't know why I just crafted that. I needed to repair it. No, I did. Mm, now how do I put it on my backpack? It won't do it. There we go. Okay, so if you head back in this little crevice here... I'm trapped in here. That uh, bastard let the Scourge tunnel into the place and catch us off guard. We didn't realize our golems had turned on us until it was too late. It's only a matter of which kills me first, the golems or the Scourge. I can still hear them fighting each other in here. Even with the factory shut down, the golem continues... Golems continue to follow their last orders, and with all the exits sealed, there's no way out for me. All I can do is catalog the extensive list of horrible decisions that led to this mess, so we won't make the same mistakes again. And unfortunately, he wasn't able to finish that word. So we have to assume that he, you know, he got his butt handed to him. Alright. We're gonna pull a... We're gonna pull a dangerous move here. You ready? This goes through walls. If we can get these guys around the corner. Usually what I do is I drag them over here. We'll do that. They're pains in the butt. Beaver eggs give mana region. Just cook it first. Interesting. Videos helped me out a ton. Well, I'm, thank you, Thomas. I appreciate that. I'm glad I could help. Gotta kill him? Okay, now we gotta... Yeah, I'm glad I could help. There is a lot of fun stuff in this game, but it's so hard to find if you don't know where it already is. Low on stamina, no... There we go. Now it should be back. Alright, anybody still here? Can you hear me? Should be okay now. Looks like it's uh, green again. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess I will check back in 30 minutes. I'm back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Let me double check the quality real quick. It literally just dropped. Uh, I had no internet. Five. I have five megabytes per second for like 30 seconds. I don't know why. Still here? Okay. All right. We're back. We're good now. Sorry about that, guys. I have no control over the internet. I'm sorry. I wish it was better, but it is not. Uh, water? All good? What's up, Bayou? I know, you're already here, but welcome back. I I don't know. We're, we're good, though. It didn't shut off, so. See, this doesn't do anything for me, but... Because I already have stamina. Oh, you know what it is? There's a storm over here. I didn't realize it was going to rain today. That's why. So, we're okay. Alright. Uh, keep on moving here. I don't remember what I was talking about because I lost my train of thought when that happened. Completely. I have no idea what I was talking about, but... Well, here we are. Boss fight time. I think I don't have a tent, though. It would be nice to get some extra stamina region. How long do you think it would take to for me to cast Wind Sigil? Probably not too long. It'd probably take too long, though. No. Let's try with the bow first. To move this to pocket. This to pocket. I really need as many of these as I can. Uh, one more health potion. <laughs> I'm gonna drink two of these to get them out of the way. Wind Sigil would be worth it. Yeah, I think it would be. I need to remove this and put health. And I need to remove this but stamina because i don't need wait didn't i have oh no i said health but didn't have health okay i think that's okay we gotta watch for our stamina regen because we are tired gives us negative 15 we also get regen let's take one of these thought i saw a tent in your inventory oh i had the big boy okay I don't know why I thought I didn't have that. Yeah, there we go. We won't be tired anymore. Which is fine. Um, but we'll have that... We'll have way more stamina regen than we would. So. We're good. Load up on arrow. Yeah. I may be able to run and grab the backpack mid-fight. For extra arrows. Um, it depends, though. Okay. There's water. Let's take stamina potion. I do have the elemental resistance potion. That's going to be nice. Do I want to take a stealth? Let's take extra stealth, guys. We want to be really stealthy here. For this fight. You, you never know when you need to be stealthy. Okay? If I could give you any advice from this stream, it's always take stealth potions. Very important. Uh, they do fire damage too. And he does ethereal, but I don't have the mist boon, unfortunately. I'm gonna be honest, I think that's all we have. Make sure that I have a stamina buff up. And enough arrows. Yep, that's plenty. So Let's do this. Two-handed weapon, would you recommend based on primary skill? I'll come back to that question. Okay. Okay, that kills one. That's a one-shot kill. And that hurts. Okay. Okay. I don't know how much damage we're going to do to him. That's the only problem. 
We're gonna take a few hits to get Sigil down. That way we can take this guy out. And hopefully... Half health, nice. Do, 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 do. Yeah, bow's hard for this fight. You can do it though. Is track or no? Yeah, they kind of track. We're gonna do uh, bow damage to the list this time. Not that good. It's too slow. This is a very whittled down fight for a bow. Okay. Good thing we have that extra stamina. I'd be dead right now without it. Whip ammo. One down. They do have to stop for their attacks, though, which is kind of saving me here. Alright, there's a one-shot. He's not casting his regular attack. I think he's messed up. Does anyone notice this? He's, like, doing stuff, but I'm not getting the... usual... Purple explosion balls. I'll get rid of that in a second, guys. Are you kidding me? That wasn't enough. Darn it. Oh, this is a problem. Now he's doing them. Okay. That's a lot of damage. On, die. Not yet. I wish these guys bled. <laughs> Be so much easier. Okay, okay. He really isn't doing the lightning attacks as much as he usually does. Alright, here we go. Uh, can I cancel that shot? Yeah, I need to wait for my big attack. I'm gonna take a potion. Okay, my big attack is almost back. Should kill him. Ah! That's so close! I don't have enough mana to cast the sigil again either. This is a pure bow fight now. Ah, oh, come on! It's hard to attack one specifically until he's dead because I don't know when... Like, they're all in front of each other. I don't know how I'm not on fire, either. Ooh, I could use another health potion. Probably gonna take it now. Give me another stamina potion. Okay. These, light these mana lightning balls are the only things that are giving me trouble. And he's dead. Okay. That's a reasonably tough fight. I actually had to use uh, health potions. Let me get rid of the bot in the chat real quick. Okay. So. I mean, it's difficult, but they're, as long as you have the stamina, it's fine. 
Negative 23 stamina. Lightning Sigil, I could have two... No, I couldn't have two-shot him. I almost did, though. Doesn't do it often if you're ranged all the time. Oh, I see. I see. I thought he always did it. Did that just damage me? There we go. Probably the coolest uh, pictograph picture thing in the game right here. Check that out, though. This is the actual tower in Harmattan. This middle pic, this thing right here. It's huge. It's massive. That middle pole has to be the ley line, right? That connects everything? Gigantic. Interesting. Well, now I can barely walk because the stupid armor is so heavy. Um, da, da, da. Oh, my word, is 12? That's only one? I have to wear it for now, guys. Look at these boots, though. These boots wouldn't be a bad idea. Or not the boots, the helmet. Plus 25 lightning damage. The problem is... <laughs> negative 30 physical uh, damage bonus. Which sucks. Really, really bad. Alright, we're interact with the picture. Go back. I always do this now. I don't even need the SAR fists, but... Can we talk about the fact that we don't have a SAR dagger? And you do that much lightning damage. And you don't do that much lightning damage. Yeah, well, against this guy, you know... Or in general, not enough for the 25% bonus to be enough to counteract a physical. I have to have some physical damage bonus. Or at least some physical damage. There we go, though. Rust and Vengeance. We did it. Internet shut down once. But... It's because of a storm. Don't get angry, Sheen. People won't like you when you're angry. Uh, now we can get our particles. Oh, yeah. There is an ornate chest. I didn't even look. I didn't even pay attention. I don't have the room anyway. I should have checked for what it had. I didn't even think about it. Does give you a Chungus boost to your wind plus spark, though? Yeah, no. If you wanted a pure wind sigil build, you could freaking... I mean, you've already seen how much damage I've been doing with it. And this isn't even the max lightning damage you could get. Wind sigil ah, is you. nuts. I like how we just come up to him and we're like, Hey, we killed that lich, by the way. Of what was this in close. This hey, we killed that lich, by the way. Earned. No biggie. Alright. One of every particle. Okie dokie. Now I walk extremely slow. But there we go, we did it. I gotta say, at least for this half of the game, the lightning bow has done well. No complaints on my end. Just casually beating the biggest threat to the city. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just... Yeah. Hey, by the way... Uh... That lich... Yeah, I, I beat him. No, yeah, don't worry. Don't worry about it. A little reward would be nice. Hey. No. I do this stuff regularly, so... Like, on a daily basis, I'm fighting, you know... Wendigos. Liches. I mean, that's only the third lich I've killed. Whatever. It's not a big deal. New shortcut is nice. Yes. Yes, it is. Now, if I ever get to my house, that'd be nice. Sir, could you give me a ride? Sir. Nope, no ride. I like the look of the Rust Lich armor, I have to say. It's goo the helmet's goofy, but the armor itself looks awesome. And I don't even dislike the helmet. I just think it looks goofy. <laughs> you see, Dusty, you're saying the same thing. What's up, Evan? Hey, how's it going? 
You missed it. The uh, internet shut on, shut down on me for a little bit, a little bit. That's because I had a storm, though. So. What do you need? <gasps> okay. Uh, the Galvanic Chakram, not my favorite Chakram, and honestly, I don't know why it was added. I don't know if anyone has ever used this in a Chakram build. However, it does inflict pain, which would be okay for physical damage build, so maybe that's why. Sarfists, ah, not very usable. Even with Wind Infuse, I think Savage Knuckles are better. Porcelain Fists, excellent. Uh, probably the best fists in the game overall and then we got all the particles we got various um ravel beetles oh my word does she have any blood roots no she doesn't her blood mushroom kind of hard to fall face first with that helmet on yeah you fall over and you just kind of stick in the ground like a woodpecker you'd be okay what's up chat sheen hope you're all doing well what's up grilled ribeye How's it going? Alright, we can do some enchanting. If need be. I don't know what we would need to enchant, though. So. Uh, corruption potions. I will keep a few. Rust and Vengeance, though. Done. Done and done. I thought it would take us longer, honestly. Did not take long at all. Let's do... Let's do a unique arena boss. Casually. Casually doing. All my stuff is enchanted. Technically do Boozoo as well. I think that's all Boozoo requires, actually. How much thick oil do you need as a person, in general? Probably not as much as I have, huh? Uh, I haven't used traps in a long time. Don't know why I still have them. Okay, potion-wise, what do we want for unique arena bosses? Shift, click, will move stacks. Uh, I guess it does, doesn't it? I don't know, I got in the habit of just doing it that way. Move assassins. What does this give me? Speed, stealth, and coats your weapon of poison. We'll take one of those. Take three of these. Golem elixir is boon wise, so we don't need that. We don't really need to buff up that much, I gotta be honest. Three and three. Looks like this is a good time to bring up my question again. Oh, two-handed weapon recommendation based on the primary skill. Thank you, Dusty, for ringing that up again. Um, and again, if you guys, if I ever don't answer your question, just let me know again. I will try. So, two-handed weapon recommendation based on skill. I, I don't know. Two-handed weapons, two-handed axes is generally what I would uh, what I would go for for the skill. Um. Oh yeah, Assassin Elixir doesn't. Two-handed axes are said to have the best skill. Initially, like initial damage, I like it. Uh, but pole arms have the the best skill. Like if you're you're going off of initial damage, the axe skill is nice to have. Pole arms scales with enrage and discipline though. So if you want a high damage. Two-handed weapon, I would go with a SAR pole arm with wind and fuse. And it's probably the strongest thing in the game. Where is my golem elixir at? Right here. Okay. That'll be interesting. I want to see the interaction between that. I've never seen that. Okay, we need more iron. Which I have a ton of. Let's grab all the iron I have, actually. Now, what else did I need to do, guys? I needed alertness potions, just in case. How can I help you? Just in case I decide to fight the other guy while I'm over there. Now we have five tourmaline, iron, potions stacked. 
Let's go make some arrows. Check durability. Let's check... Uh, let's do that real quick. I don't know. Juggernaut's pretty hard hitter with hammers. Juggernaut is good, though. Juggernaut is good, though. Two-handed maces are better than people realize. It's hard to, to say which one's something? the best. All right. I think generally pole arms are considered right. to do the most damage though because of moon swipe. It, it just it, it just hits like a truck, you know what I mean? That's the best way to describe it, really. Which is not a very good way of describing it, but it really is the best. Uh, let's see, fully enchanted. This is interesting. We could do all the arena bosses over here if I can find them. See, Buzo's down by the Mana Lake. Scourge guy top right. Scourge guy is easy. I guarantee you I can trash him. Guarantee you. Let's do Immaculate's Bird first, though. No, because he's the easiest. We need the least amount of potions for him. We'll go do uh, whatever I feel like, Cal. I'll just check the map here in a second. Juggernaut with Pillar Hammer and 82 Knockback? Jeez. And Juggernaut's actually pretty nuts. So we have the... Up here, which we need to head to. We have right here, which we need to head to. And Mana Lake, which is right here. Which one's closer? We will go to... The furthest one away. Which is the right. No? Left. Dude, now I'm messing myself up. We need to go left, go up. Okay. I know where I'm at now. I'm like, what is going on right now? Almost an instant knockdown at most things. Yeah, I need to do a two-handed mace build. Pentagram made a really nice build with a two-handed mace. That one looked fun. And you also used candle plate armor with that. And I feel like candle plate is very underutilized. Like, it's so cool and useful. I didn't grab more water, did I? No, I did. All right. Double checking. There we go. There's our infinite stamina. Stamina potion, bed, and water. Probably the most fun heavy weapon to use, other than pull arms, because obviously, you know, there's that, is two-handed axes. Some people really seem to like the uh, attack combinations you can do with two-handed axes. Using black plate, that's been legacied, so you have the Orcolcum. Orcolcum is actually a good set. It has interesting enchantments, if I remember correctly. Juggernaut would be awesome with leg uh, sweep kick. Since it gets 100% confusion. Mm. You have that with the counter skill from... Uh, Two-handed swords as well. I don't remember what it's called. But it's, it's a counter skill. And it does instant confusion as well, I believe. Confusion is probably the best status buildup you can do on an enemy, I think. In general, that's not like, you know, fire or something like that. Almost strike. Is that what it's called? By the way, we've been running around the area a lot, and I have yet to see a single arcane elemental randomly spawn. Looks pretty good. Has a lot of enchantment based on having the wind totem in the area. Hmm. Interesting. I need to check that out. Alright. That's a pretty far run and just now running out of stamina. Let me check and make sure I have all five Torm line. That'd be really annoying if I walked up here without it. We got plenty of arrows. Let's make those for a little bit while we're walking. We're getting our stamina. Do a little bit of that. How 
How many arrows do I need for this guy? Probably... Probably less than 100, right? Probably less than 100. Because he's going to be weak to lightning. I think he has the buff decay damage. Cuts down the weight of the chest piece by 6 or 9. That's actually very useful. Who are you fighting? Hafford, I'm going to fight the... Sublime Shell. I think he's called. It's the big Scourge guy over here. I'm pretty sure it's called Sublime Shell. Now, if you notice, we saw a Rock Mantis up here. So I know he's hiding. Also, don't want to fight him, though. So. If I can, I'm just going to run past him. You know what I like about Outward, though? One of the my favorite things about this game is the unique enemy variety. Most of the time, you do not see these types of enemies in this game. Or in games like this. They're very, very unique. Alright, I have... Okay. Yeah, this guy... This guy will be... He is tough, but I don't think he'll be a problem for us. Uh, let's see. Start popping potions. We're gonna get enough potions, it'll, it'll be fine. If I need to, I'll pop Wind Sigil, you know. The the standard stuff. He's probably the hardest one. Boozu's not hard. I actually think they did a very bad job with this area in terms of making these guys hard. They are not hard at all. Take a mana potion. I think I already took stamina, but who cares? We have Discipline. Doesn't he do, like, all elements or something? I have Enrage. I have Discipline. Take another Mana Potion. And let's do this. Do I have Health Potions on my thing? Yes, I do. We have one more of these. Okay. Let's fight him. See what happens. Pistol Shrimp for one. Takes down Lich, runs for bugs. Hey, that's how it'd be, though. Outward is just like... Uh, you take down the uh, big bosses and then run from the stuff that's so annoying. Saw that coming. Okay, though. I mean, he doesn't take that much damage. Oh, look at the poison from the bow. I like that. That's cool. Golem Elixir. See if I can get him to do it again. There we go. Yeah, dude, that don't affect me. He's gonna run in a circle. This guy's actually not bad with a bow, because he doesn't... He, I don't know. He doesn't move towards you that much. Do another beam, bro, so I can blast you with this. Ooh, that skill dodges in mid air. Ooh, that has iframes. I like that. What did he just do? Insane mana regen from the melee, uh, mana belly. I think that's what it's called. Potion is nice. And he's dead. Uh, yeah, that was about as easy as I expected. I can't, uh, can't say much, much else. Yeah, no, the enemy design is amazing. They, they put a lot of thought into it. Also, check out this arena. This is one of my favorite arenas. I think this is supposed to be, like, a joke. Like, uh, like a hoarder type of joke. Because it's a vault. Or maybe not even a joke, but like a... I don't know. They just made a point of hoarding stuff? I, I don't know. Fun fight, though. Had to fight him with a close-range chakra build. 
Yeah, no, that would be harder. Chakrams are really good for knockback, though. Enchanted Mask and Metalized Bones. Check this out, though. I don't know if you noticed, but the Golem Elixir actually put poison on the bow. I don't know if you guys knew this. Someone mentioned it in chat, so they probably already know. These, this is actually a bug. This was not intended. And it was in the original game, I think. And they left it in because they thought it was cool. The devs were like, oh, that's awesome. We just left it in. What's up, Sectos? Welcome to the stream. It's really funny. I never knew about it till recently, actually. Golem Elixir applies poison. Yeah, Golem Elixir, I think that's what it's called. It's this one right here, Golem Elixir. Gives you the Possessed Boon and Discipline Boons. Weirdly enough, it applies poison to the bow. Don't know why. Just a bug, and they left it in there. Most of us are pretty fine with it, I think. <laughs> Assassin's Potion? Is it Assassin's? I always thought it was the Golem. I don't know. Someone can correct me if I'm wrong there. It's like it's either the Assassin's I thought it was Golem, honestly. It may be the Assassin's, though. One of them. Watch this. Assassins give you stealth and poison coating. Oh, so it is assassins. Okay. Then not golem, but the assassin. Did I only... I didn't think I had assassins, though. I thought I only had the golems. Well, now I thought I knew, and I don't know now. So now I'm feeling real weird about it. Because I was pretty sure I didn't have any assassins. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Golem Elixir. Who knows? We'll try... We'll know for sure when we get to the next fight. Because I'll put it on again. If it doesn't apply, it will know. Uh, we need to take that dot off our map, right? Yeah, this one's done. Immaculate Bird and Boozu next. Technically, Immaculate Bird would be faster to get to. Hey! What are you doing over here? Wonder if I can I wanna I wanna test something. Alright, yeah, it didn't work. Shh. Look at that though. It's poisoned. Two light particles. Remember how I you know how I just said like like five minutes ago that I haven't found one elemental randomly and I immediately found one. My luck, dude. Assa uh, you have one more in the stash. Test it, but it's Assassin Potion. Okay. I don't know why I thought it was Golem Elixir then. Increased weapon impact. I always thought... I don't know. Weird. I know that for the longest time, I never knew what it was, though. I knew it was either Assassins or Golems, and I can't ever remember. dead body over here is flying. It's one of those things in the game where you're just like, I can't remember. Grants mana regeneration, minor protection, and reduced mana cost for a short duration. Mana belly potion is fantastic. Top notch, really. We don't need to fight him. Need to run to the other enemy. Dude. Alright, fine. Interesting. Alright, he gave me more iron. Four iron. Nice. I need to mix golem points and rage into my hammer build. Get that 82 knockback iron. Uh, Evan, I believe if you cook a Pumpkin or Permkin. 
What is it? It's the, uh... They're the gigantic green... Plants that grow around here. If you eat one of them after cooking it, it gives you more impact as well. I don't know if you knew about that one. There's like some over there. I'm not going to walk back, but... It's a permkin, I think. Permkin. It gives you more impact as well. Yeah, pumpkin pie. Yeah, pumpkin pie is awesome. Or pumpkin pie. Oh, I have the key, too. You know who would be hard as a bow build? Calixa. Also, the liches. The liches would be so hard. Uh, I go right. Let's go left, go down to the boozoo. It's right here. The Golub wouldn't be too bad. I feel like you need elemental arrows before you can really say... One of the bosses is going to be really hard, though. Get over 100 knockback? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. There's stuff like that you can insta-knockback in... Usually one hit with lower enemies and two hits for harder enemies. That's kind of your boss build... Type of thing. Alright, how much does a lightning arrow do to a boozu? We need to test this before we actually go fight this guy. A lot. Ready? Ah, you have to do it early. I did it too late. Okay. We're testing. We're learning. Where are you going, buddy? Ah, oh, missed. Missed again. You know when you miss twice in a row and you're just you're filled with shame. Ah, gotcha. Bandits in Endgame be like, see that guy with the scarlet set over there? Yeah, let's rob him. Oh, it's a uh, Viva La Dirt League has a video that they they have a huge channel. If you don't know who they are, go look at their videos. It's hilarious. But they do RPG-like videos and make fun of stuff like that. They did a video where they pretended to be bandits. And they, you know, robbed a, a hero or whatever. It's hysterical. Watch their NPC Man series. Yeah, that's the best thing I ever did. I, my, my brother got me into their D&D &D series. They have a new channel where they play d and I'm not... I like D&D. &D. I'm not big into it. I played it a couple times, but... I'm not, like, obsessed with it or anything. I don't know much about it. But the their D&D &D is hilarious. It is hysterical. And they act it out and stuff, too. It's really fun to watch. Okay, there's three Boozoo. Can I get around him? I really don't want to fight him. I don't know if they'll come after me, though, if I start to buff up. Yeah, no, they're, they're, the video they did on the attack and the adventure here, he's like, let's mug him. This is hysterical. Okay. Let's put the Golem Elixir on. Yep, it's the Assassin's Elixir. You guys were right. I don't know why I always thought it was Golem. Weird. Do we have health regen? No. Do we need it? There are two of us and only one of him. Let's mug him. <laughs> it's exactly what they do. It's hilarious. This is the single funniest bit I've ever seen in my life. I think his name's Ben. He does the, the mugging thing. Oh, it's so funny. I think I already have both of these. I want to double check though. Yeah, I do. He actually does a ethereal, which unfortunately I don't have. And I probably don't need any of those, but whatever. I want to make sure I'm 100% for this fight. It's not going to be too difficult. But let's make a few more arrows. 
Okay, if you don't know, to get into this fight, there is a circle of flowers over near the mana lake. You stand inside it, and you have to have all of your armor and any uh, weapon, main weapon, enchanted in order to get in. So, And I beat this guy with a trog using his same mana power, so this shouldn't be too hard. I think he bleeds, which will be nice. I'm gonna hide in the flowers. Come here, you little boozer. I'm doing a lot of damage. Does he bleed, though? Yeah, you know, he bleeds. Don't want to get impacted by him. That'll kill me instantly. Bro, do something. He's coming fast now. No, 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 no. Okay, we're fine. I cannot get hit while doing that animation. That's the last thing I want to happen. Alright, come on. Stamina's been fine for this fight, oddly enough. It's not doing a lot of initial damage, but I think we're whittling him down. I'm getting nervous, you see that? I'm dodging randomly. I don't need to be. This guy looks gruff. Very gruff looking dude. I want to use sniper shot, but I'm, I don't know. I feel like I'm going to get hit if I do. Here we go. Here we go. Perfect timing. That's what I'm talking about. And dead. No hit. Boozu. Look at him. He looks cool. Can't get my arrow back. First time I catch a stream while I'm supposed to be awake. What's up, Dark Flame Master? <laughs> That's me watching YouTube all the time. Half the time I'm on YouTube, I'm supposed to be asleep. So. Alright, we got Flower and Corruption and Metalized Bones. We have two Metalized Bones now. That Those were the hardest uh, unique bosses in this area. The Immaculate's Bird is a piece of cake. If I die to him... uh, I don't know. It's gonna be bad. Be embarrassing. Didn't know that. Thanks for the info. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Bush poacher versus angry bull. Very angry bull. Yeah, the unfortunately you have to use five tourmaline in order to get to the sublime shell, but all the rest of them aren't too bad. I mean, you should try and have enchantments on your armor before you fight unique bosses anyway, you know. Have you died even once? No, Hafrin. I've come close twice, but I have not died on the bow build. This is the first live stream, actually, that I haven't died. This, so far. Obviously, Caldera is the real test, but on every other character, I died. Much earlier on. Which really does actually show the potential of this build, because... You know, I died. I really do think a meteoric bow would just... It would up this certain uh, certain areas. Is this still hardcore? Dark Flight Master, this is not hardcore. Um, I stopped doing hardcore after the first two characters died because I want to actually build Caldera. If I do hardcore and happen to mess up and die, I just lose the character. I have to start over. I probably, once I'm done... Like, trying to show off Caldera and stuff. I might do some hardcores just for some messing around. But I can't do them while I'm trying to, uh, you know, play with new stuff. Like, I never did a bow build, so I was like, I'm just going to mess around with the bow build, see how good it is. And I was so unhappy with the first two hardcores because I en ended up dying in super goofy locations and both times insta-deleted my character. I was so upset. 
I was really upset. But yeah, no, I, I haven't been doing them for the last couple live streams just because I want to. Uh, I want to have these builds to make videos on as well. Alright, one second. I will answer that in the chat. I just have to shoot this guy in the face. Need to go get Conjure. I don't even have all my skills, guys. I don't know if I uh, mentioned that. I do not have all my skills. I have most of them. But I do not have all of them. Saw the elemental one. Yeah, that one sucked. That's the worst death I've ever had on a live stream. That was so stupid. Died to a trog and an elemental. Oh, crap. The twins. Gotta watch out for the twins. I need more arrows. Can you imagine if I went into this fight? With like eight arrows? Bad idea. I have Copal Armor enchanted with Spirit of Berg on it. Can I enchant Copal Boots with Spirit of Berg? It doesn't look like it from the enchant scroll. Best key, the... Um... Copal Armor is the only piece that can be enchanted with that. There are several chess, beats, chess pieces in the game for each area. There's Spirit of Cherisonese, Spirit of Berg, or Spirit of Sierzo, sorry. Spirit of Berg and Spirit of Monsoon. All of those can only be enchanted on the chest plate. It would be a bit overpowered if you could do more. Hence why they don't. Okay, auto walk. Don't want to waste arrows. And die. Can't see a thing. Darn it. Come here, you. Alright, now that should give me a bunch of iron. The re another reason that I chose the gold bow, I don't know if I mentioned this before. The durability on the gold bow is insane compared to normal bows. A lot of bows have 200 durability slash 225 durability. It's really low. This has 400 durability. Really nice. The Spirit of Levon is the only one I don't know what it does. I know what the rest of them do. That's the only one I don't know. Hey, what's up, Yo2? Welcome to the stream. Watch me gather wood, guys. Yeah. Getting that wood. I don't know how much I need, so... Huh. Yeah, hey. There should be, like, a craft all button. That's what I thought. Thanks. Yeah, no problem. I was just hoping for more ethereal damage. What you should do is go with the antique plate boots if you want more ethereal damage. The antique plate boots have a small amount, but they can be enchanted with economy, and it's just, it'll make your build beautiful. I don't know if you already know about that. I've made two videos using economy on the, the boots. Two builds, I mean. But if you don't know about that yet, yeah, I highly recommend it. That's literally my Ghost of Enmerker build, is that that green copal chest plate, and then the antique plate boots. Tenebris Helm? Yeah, Tenebris Helm is not bad. I... I don't like the look of it. It's the only reason I never choose it, but... It's a good helmet. It's genuinely a good... It's a good helmet. 25 fire damage. Really, Evan? What, um... What chest plate does that go on, though? Is it a euphemism? <laughs> no, Afrim, I hope not. Yeah, it does look good. You know how I know it looks goofy? There's a quest for the uh, Blue Chamber faction quest where you have to go talk to the leader of the Montcalm Fort and he's wearing the Tenebris helm and it looks ridiculous on his face. Okay, this is the right place. I have the 
potions. I need to sleep, though, because stamina is essential for this build. Or for this fight. Because this dude is freaking fast. And antique plate boots. Most repaired item I have. Yes, the antique plate boots are the least durable boots in the game, I think. Other than maybe beginning stuff. The green couple armor gets Spirit of Burke? Yes. Both green copal and regular copal have the same enchant. They're basically the same armor set, just they look different and the green is better. So enchantment-wise, they're identical. Alright. We don't really need to buff up that much for this guy, but we will get some decent stuff on. I'm trying to think of... I definitely want impact. He's very resistant to impact. I know that much. Or wait, is he? I know he can be impacted, but... Let's harden up with our gravel beetle there. Mm. Now we'll boom. I think he does all... Yeah, he does all damage, I think. Do you guys think I could get Wind Sigil down? I could totally destroy this guy with Wind Sigil. It would be not even fair. Make sure I have these in my pocket. I do. Oh, I need the alertness. Darn it. I forgot. There we go. Equipment. Desert Tunic. Master Desert Tunic. And... Elite Desert Tunic and Chitin. Chitin Desert Tunic is really good, actually. Uh, impact resist. Very high. Is this guy actually not doing a lot of damage to? But, I mean, he's not hard. <laughs> He is hard for a Bowville, a little bit. Hard to attack him. Gonna have to get him to attack more, probably. Bleed's gonna do a lot of damage to this guy over time. Whoa. Get away from me, bro. Yeah, he's, he's very resistant to physical, it looks. And not weak to lightning in any way. One of the few bosses you can bleed, though. Jeez. That teleport ability. Why can't we have that in the game? I mean, I technically we do with the uh, perfect strike, but not really. Oh, look at that. Hit. Bro, just attack me. Yeah, this is a longer fight. I feel like Buzu was easier than this. And he's supposed to be easy. He also dodges a lot. Just kind of walk away, though. Oh, no. You can't hit me. Dude, dude, dude. <laughs> Let the bleed do the work. Oh, I have no arrows. Darn it. That would have been perfect time for a sniper shot. And he's dead. All right, guys. I got hit one time by the friendly... Or, uh, the Immaculate's Bird. I'm sorry. I, it's a shame. I know. It happens, okay? The bird is the word. Only way to know about that wind sigil. Only one way to know about that wind sigil. Gotcha. Most armors have a second look. It all depends on if you're playing a male or female character. That's true, too. I wouldn't say most armor... Like, a lot of the... It's technically true... 
Like, most of the armors have a different look, but it's very minimal at best. You know what I mean? Like, the advanced armors generally look pretty much the same. But they are slightly different, yeah. Have to do around 800 or 1,000 damage for physical to do 300 HP damage. Jeez. Dumbest looking armor in the game, 100%, is the uh, Scarlet set. The second dumbest, Caldera male. Third dumbest, Chalcedony male. All from Caldera. They did an awful job designing the outfits in Caldera. Absolutely horrible. I have zero sympathy for saying that. Terrible armor sets. They have good stats, but they look awful. <laughs> they look horrendous, bro. Like, I was trying... I don't know if you guys noticed, but in the top five... The recent top five I posted with Spears... I was wearing Caldera Mail. The chest and the boots look awesome. I refused to wear the helmet in the video, though, because it looks so awful. Mostly clothing, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I could see that, Jeremiah. True. It is probably more of the clothing. Ooh, iron. I need that. Glad I'm not alone in the Scarlet set. No, the Scarlet set is terrible. I... It's like, I don't know, understand what they were on. Because if you look at the base game, the armors look amazing. There's definitely exceptions, but overall, the base game armors look amazing. Sora Borean's DLC, the armors aren't fantastic. I think Wolf Medic chest plate looks awesome, but the helmet is meh. Uh, but it has a certain style to it. You know, if you want to look like a sort of Grim Reaper, more... What is it even called? I don't remember. But, like, a health-stealing person, it matches, you know. Wolf Mage helmet looks terrible. Mostly because of the way it fits on your head. The armor doesn't look bad, though. But then you have horror armor, which is amazing. It's made to look, you know, kind of ugly and monsteristic. But it does just that, you know. Let's go get the key from the Kazites, because I don't have that yet. And, uh... Nah, we don't need to do that, actually. Vampire? Yeah, it's like the... It's the vampiric helm look that I go with. It's not vamp. What's the word, though? There's like this old, uh... There's these helmets, and they used to use them in, at doctor's wood. They would put, like, good-smelling ingredients in the nose of them. They're, like, pointy. And so, whenever they went to treat people, they would have this good-smelling stuff in the front, because they thought it was... Smell was how you became sick, or whatever. I need to go kill them, actually. Plague Doctor. It's Plague Doctor. Thank you. I, I could not remember. I was literally... <laughs> I could not remember what it was. Yeah, it's a Plague Doctor type mask. Which we have a Plague Doctor in the game, but it's... You know what I mean. Also, another Arcane Elemental. What is happening right now? Yeah, a Plague mat. Thank you for... I don't know how I couldn't think of that. Should we do the clock tower puzzle, guys? I, we're halfway there, right? We're halfway there. It's almost, uh... It's waiting on a death. <laughs> ooh, ooh, that doesn't sound pretty. Need water. I'm not gonna use the bow, because again, I'm trying to save arrows right now. Yeah, come over here, Skippy. See what happens. I'll mess you up. That's what I thought. Come over here, bro. Come on. And that... Looks much better than the last time I fought them and died. Uh, actually, we could sell those. Do I have palladium? I don't think I do. 
I do. Now I have one more in the chest, I think. Hi, everyone. What's up, Agnes? How's it going? This spear is the single best-looking spear in the game. I love it. It's awesome. Incense in the beak part, Rodolfo says. Hey, Rodolfo, how's it going, by the way? I didn't get to say hi to you in the chat. How's it going? NPCs from Caldera choose chose to live next to three active volcanoes. They aren't exactly bright. So, yeah, the fashion sense sure makes the people from the region... Uh, I mean, Militia doesn't look that bad. At least the chest plate doesn't. No one's ever really wearing the helmet. But at least the chest plate doesn't look that bad. There's also a copy of the spear in Sierzo in the Maris house? Really? I had no idea. I need to check that out. I have to go back to Sierzo anyway. Agnes, uh, doing good. Doing good. Enjoying the bow build. I've taken out every boss in this region with the bow build, so it works. Take their swords, turn them into iron scraps. I guess I could, Wyatt, but, uh, I don't know. I'll probably just sell them. Probably just sell them. Um, let's... Yeah, we need to do the incense thing. I already, already said I was going to. Can I help you? Or not incense, uh... Particle. Tower puzzle thingy. Whatever you want to call it. Clock Nailed tower? something? Hey, look, a marble morning star. Nice. Nice. Good thing you're streaming. Well, thanks. I don't know if that is a comment about something else, but yeah, I yeah, know. I enjoy the I enjoy the streaming a lot actually. Well, what do you Get need? a lot out of it. Ooh. And it's really fun. This is one of those games that it's hard to play constantly, like every day and stuff. Without like a you know a little bit of a break, one you know and take a day or two break because uh, it's a lot of repetition in terms of the survival part until you get it down. So it can be hard to do that, but streaming makes it extremely easy. It's just like whatever I just do whatever I want on the stream. Okay, so we have these. I need one palladium though. I think I said that already. Uh, that will craft that. I am keeping purity potions in case these corrupt me. Two flowering corruption, two metalized bones, and two enchanted mat. We got two of everything. How? Literally how? I just put that back. Um, okay. Spikes, powder. Look at all the food I have. This is an absolutely insane. One water skin. Gabberries I haven't even used yet. Okay. Let's craft another... Wait, do I not have the materials for it? What did I need? What is this? A beast golem halberd? This thing might be decent. Crystal powder that I just put away. Dude, I'm so good at, at this game that I can put all the materials that I need back in the chest. There we go. Now we craft a golem reaper. Now we go over here. Nice, nice, nice. YouTube keeps setting quality to 144 on my 2K screen. <laughs> yeah, after I don't know why it does that. Mine does it too on my phone. I have a really nice, you know, phone, and it'll. Can I help you? Set my settings extremely low. It irritates the crap out of me. Okay, I'm going to take a five minute break here and use the restroom. And then I'll be right back and we'll get, we'll finish the clock tower puzzle just because like we're already here and you can never have too many particles. So why not? You know, that's how I feel about it. So, okay, we're set. We need more arrows, obviously. So I'm going to use the spear while we do the clock tower puzzle and, you know, get up some arrows. All right. So give me one second here. And I will, I have to use the restroom. I'll be right back.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back. Wasn't even quite five minutes. So I had to use a quick restroom break. Uh, welcome back, Shrek. How's it going? Go to YouTube playback settings and remove it from auto. Oh, really? I didn't know there was an auto setting. Okay. We should just need to head back out of town and we can see which direction to go. I believe. Uh, yo, too. How you been, man? I haven't talked to you in a while. Oh, man. Last, uh, last week's streams went pretty well. No loss in connection, and then today, the shut down one time because of the rain, but... Other than that, we're back up and running. It's been pretty fun. This boat build has been way better than I thought. Failed to appear in the last couple of streams. Yeah, I, you know, it happens. Can't catch them all. It ain't Pokemon, right? Can't catch them all. Any, is, do you guys think Pokemon's still relevant? I don't know. It felt bigger when I was a kid. I don't know, I don't know how it is now. Hi, Sheen. What's up, Pepsi Man? How's it going? Welcome to this stream. Glad you can make it. Let's check what this is. It is blue. That is the easy one. That is legitimately the easiest one to find. Some people, yes, Pokemon. It's relevant to lots, not all. To lots, not at all. I don't know. It just, like, when I was little, it felt really big. I don't know how little little is, but I don't know, like eight or nine. The last couple of years, I feel like most of the the Pokemon games haven't been as big. But again, I'm not a big Pokemon guy, so maybe I'm just out of the loop. Still use gold bow? Yes, Pepsi Man. I want to use a meteoric bow, but I don't I have to legacy chest it, so. I can't do that yet. I'll probably test that on Thursday. Because the Meteoric might be better long term. Although we still... It's kind of funny. I beat all of the bosses in this area. I don't have elemental arrows yet. That adds an extra 10 damage to the base damage I would be doing for lightning. Could get pretty crazy. Still can't beat the Lightmender with it though. You get out of my face, Bieber. I don't like you, man. Pokemon's still going? Yeah, I know it's still going. I just feel like it was... Like, whenever... Which was that game? It was like the phone game that came out for it. It was a Pokemon... Um, it was a big craze for that. That's like the last time I really heard anything about Pokemon. I don't know how we brought up Pokemon, by the way. But... This stuff happens. The new main Pokemon game coming, so it's in the spotlight. It's out of the spotlight for a while. I got you. Or will be on the spotlight. Bro, why are Vibras giving me trouble? Look at him. Backing up like that. Jerk. You little jerk. Where's my Pearl Bird pet? I need to go get my Blade Dancer, guys. Ugh, ridiculous. Okay. Wait. No, I wanted to use fireworks. What are you doing? Wee, Nice. Ha! Celebrating killing a Vibra. Alright, where is this elemental at? He could be really far to the left, so I gotta check this whole area first. Pokemon Go? Yeah, that's what I thought it was called, but I didn't want to sound ignorant. Okay. I don't see it. Sometimes it's on the left right here. Doesn't look like it. You'd think I'd see it from this distance. It was here. It's a Pokemon card game with cards that could go for hundreds of dollars. Always so. Yeah, I mean, it's all... Why'd the music just randomly pop up? Oh, that guy. 
It's always been a big deal. I just wondered if it was like waning or if it was still, you know, going strong. I don't think he shows up up there is the only thing. Pretty sure I just have to check this back hole and then I can move on. Let's see. Nope, nothing. Okay. Let's see. Get my stamina back up. I have plenty of tartines. Now, the other spot that this one shows up is near the statues over here. So we gotta go check that. They're better franchise to follow, in my opinion. Yeah, I'd... pretty cool. I've never uh, gotten big into any of their games, but they always seem pretty fun. I think my siblings always played their games on the DS and stuff. So, what's up, ZapQ? How you doing? Using Kazite Bow for the weaken effect on my rogue. It is actually way better than you might think. So is Sapped from the Gold Bow, of uh, being enchanted with Twang. I didn't think it was going to be that big of a deal, but it is. Negative 40% damage is a lot. Where is he at? Come on. Don't tell me he's not here. I don't know if they show up across this bridge. I'm 90% sure they don't. This is why I have never done the clock tower puzzle on stream. Since I had two of them done already, I thought might as well. Okay, 90% sure he's not over there now. So we just need to go check the top of... Top left, right? Or is it top right? I don't know. One of them. Um, I don't need mana regen right now. So we're good on that. But yeah. Is rogue build fun? I've never tried it. Rogue build is a blast, actually, Dusty. It is one of the more fun builds to play in the game. Just because daggers are so strong without anything additional. You know what I mean? You don't have to do much to make a dagger strong. Heck, you can use a shiv now with one enchantment and a shiv can be good. How weird, right? But it it is good. Rondel Dagger is always a decent choice with unsuspected strength. For an easy early game, good rogue build. Zap, can I join you with my bark? Uh, probably not today. I was going to do solo today. We may do some co-op on Thursday if you're available. Maybe some with six as well. I do want to get that bard build in here, though. That looks hilarious. I feel like that's what's missing from Outward, is a good bard build. Showcase. You guys think he's over there, or do you think he's over there? I don't want to waste too much time walking. Feels like a waste. Well, there's only two weapons in the game that can be enchanted with... Mana regen, I think. And it's the Shiv and Rondel Dagger. So... Yeah. Is a mod for dual wielding dagger, right? Yeah, I think. He can't be up here. There's no way. I bet you he's in that far left corner. This is why I hate this puzzle. Why did you why do they have to be hidden and all over the map? Why can't they just be near the lamps? You know what I mean? Checked up the hills. You mean to the left? I haven't. That's the one area I need to check. Wanted to make sure he wasn't here, because I know the light one showed up this direction. Yeah, not over here. It just feels like odd to have the lamps there, and then to have them just randomly spawn in that general area. Like, why not make them much closer to the lamp? Maybe coding restrictions? I don't know. Maybe to make it worth your time? 
or difficult. Ice elemental usually is in the way to the train station. Gotcha. Near the butterfly zone. I've never seen him there. I've always seen him right here fighting a Vieber, but I figured I'd have to head up here eventually. There we go. Spawns around the lamps area. Yeah, I know. It's just like, eh. It's, so, it's too big of an area. If you've ever checked the wiki and looked at where they actually spawn, it varies. It really does. Like, some of them are really, really far away. It could, well, where the spawn is. Ever found an elemental outside dungeons? Really? So you never done the clock tower puzzle then? It's a bit of a haul to do, but it's, you know, gives you a lot of articles. Two or three usual spots for each elemental. I know where the fire one shows up now. Uh, decay is actually pretty easy to find. Light particle I randomly found. Yeah, he's up here. Weird enough. What the heck? Are these all alive? No, they're all dead. I was like, wait a minute. We're about to be in some trouble if they're alive. I ate that attack. There's the ice. Good call, guys. Good call. That's three down. Two more to go. I think. Count the elements. We have mist and corruption. Nope, there are three. Mist, corruption, fire left. No, I already found fire. So mist and corruption. Yeah. Give me a moment. I'll send you a pic in Discord. I got you. Got you. Yes, Rodolfo, let me explain this quest for anyone who happens to watch this later, too. Um, so there is a quest called the Clock Tower Puzzle. It's not even really a quest. It's a hidden quest is what I like to call it. Because it doesn't give you a um, an actual active thing here. But it is actually part of the quest. So the Clock Tower right here, the Doom Downtown. I almost call it the Doom Town. Downtown Clock. If you head there, there's a little altar in front of it. And that altar will be a different color. It's like this flame of uh, flare-ish. Or magic flare. And uh, it'll be green, white, yellow, blue, red, or purple. And whatever color that is, you have to go and find that specific arcane elemental. Once you kill that elemental, he's guaranteed to have at least one particle. Which regular ones are not guaranteed to have particles. So, that's nice. And after you do that, you go and you reload. So, you go into a town, and then you head back out. Usually, Harmattan. This guy dead, too? Yeah. And then head back to that altar. It'll be a different color. And so, each time you do this, you'll slowly kill all five. I think there's five. And after killing all five of the arcane elementals, five elementals will show up at once at the plaza... A Duvernay Plaza, I think. It's the top left area of the game. I think it's Duvernay Plaza. And they'll all be there at once. Kill all of them. Each of them drop three particles. And that's the quest. They they just it's like a guaranteed particle farm. Because they can be hard to get sometimes. Just got here and which part of the quest is he? Nicolay, what's up? Uh I completed Rust and Vengeance. That's done. I did it. It's over. Uh, now I'm doing the particle farm. Just go. Oh, you know what? I'm going to show how many particles I get off. So I don't want to put those away yet. But in order to reset the bonfire, or magical bonfire that they have in front of the clock tower, you have to like enter town or sleep or something. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Didn't know about the five at the end. Yeah, well, I got lucky, actually, because the light... What is it? The light elemental is the hardest one to find sometimes. Because if he doesn't show up here... I did that. He can show up right here, right? But he can also show up here. Which means you have to walk all the way around to get across this bridge to find him. The only one I have left is Decay and Ether. So, can't be any of those. Send you the pick. Thanks, Zap. I'll check it. That was the rust lich with Bowsheen. 
Rodolfo wasn't bad, actually. The thing about that fight was the Rust Lich apparently doesn't send the purple lightning balls at you that much if you stay away from him. So that was more avo avoidable than usual. Then you have the Forge Golems, which are usually trouble. But since those ones back off a lot to actually shoot lightning balls and stuff at you, like they don't try to melee you as much, it's pretty easy to bow them. So I, it was a relatively easy fight for me. I got hit once or twice. I needed two health potions, so I wouldn't go in there with no potions, but... Not bad, overall. Okay, see, this is the thing about the quest that I don't like. I don't think... It should... It doesn't spawn, you know? It just doesn't show up. That's. I think that's stupid. Should have been fixed, but oh well. Oh well. Just sleep an hour and it'll fix it. Some side decay, uh, decay dies to mobs. They all have a chance to die to mobs, actually. The blue one I've seen die to mobs. The yellow one usually won't die because the mantis shrimp is the only thing that'll fight it. And mantis shrimp does lightning, so it doesn't usually kill it. The ethereal one never dies. I think there's a... I'd even guarded, bro. Are you kidding me? Whoa. Cool. I've never been attacked by this guy. Really, bro? Yeah, freaking get off my back, dude. This is a good way to get dark stones if you want them. Now I'm trying to sleep. I'll loot you when I wake up. Jeez. Wait, I can't sleep now. I gotta check the stupid thing. Ugh. So inconvenient. Mmm, this is probably decay, I'm guessing. It's nothing! Yay! I think you can see my expression of excitement. I think I might have to reload town. We'll try a couple more hours of sleep and then we'll do that. I thought I guarded enough. I really did. I don't know how I got uh, ambushed. It's a very long fight for you. It really depends on what kind of bow build you go for. Physical would be harder because they're way more immune to physical than they are anything else. Alright. Now, I will grab this because I know for a fact I'm not coming out here again. Did they dot? Their bodies despawned. That's annoying. I didn't even get to loot them. Not like they had anything important, but still. And it's empty. Yep. Got to reload town. Each elemental has its hours. Just jump three or four hours till it changes to the one you desire. Hmm. Like they have a... I didn't know about that. I always thought they just changed. I thought it was random. But again, I already reloaded Harbaton, so I shouldn't have to do this. That's why I don't like this quest. Do not. But it's kind of fun to see all the elementals together. Five elementals in a row by just camping outside over and over. Oh, really? Interesting. When I originally read the... thing on the wiki that describes how to do this, I always thought that they showed up at the clock tower. They don't. They show up at the, the plaza. Using meteoric bow was one-shotting the golems. I was having trouble attacking Lich. Ah, I see. The window's very brief. It is very brief. See, Rodolfo, what I did was I... The first time I attacked him, I popped Lightning Sigil and did half his health in one attack. Or two attacks. And then I couldn't do any more damage. Then I plinked away a few shots with the bow, and it did very little damage a second time. Um, So, yeah. I had the advantage of fighting him with the Sigil. To do damage to the lich. I didn't do any damage with it to the golems for the most part. One or two shots, I think. Uh, I would... I would... 
switch to a spear, honestly, if I had to fight him again for that fight. Bo is so good for the golems, but not for him. He just has such a brief window. Technically four. I found the light elemental by chance. Killed it and decided to try to do the quest. Oh, really? Yeah, no, if you ever kill the light particle, I recommend doing the quest because the light one's the hardest one to find. In my book. It's not that he's hard to find. He's just the most inconvenient to get to. Strictly using the only the bow. Yeah, I don't know. I wouldn't fight him specifically with a bow. Because you can only get two or three shots off. Sniper shot does do a lot of damage to him. If you time sniper shot correctly. Very nice. I'm, oh, I guessed it. I guessed it. I'm a champ. It is green. We gotta go kill the corruption guy. You know what would have been cool for this quest? Is if they had sort of a little icon here that showed you the color and it changed based on what uh which one you have left like it could be purple green or whatever they obviously couldn't do that because they don't have changing icons on the map but that would have been nice to have in my opinion Ooh, who's fighting up here the mana boys are destroying a golem that's what they're doing Hey, thanks, guys. You're a little chads. Appreciate it. You do good work. It's too convenient for outward. I know, right? <laughs> oh, man. What if we just change this? It would make... No. Too convenient. There's a bow run, Sheen, so only bow skill. <laughs> Next time, I'll probably will make some special arrows for him. Uh, Aether Bomb... I feel like Aether Bomb wouldn't even work, though, because the timer for it would uh, only activate whenever he's shielded, so. But you do more damage, yeah. Yeah, I know most of my builds, I'm like, I'm doing a, a this whatever build, and I'll do a mix of something else, you know. I had a creative take on the bow build, I think. I didn't want to just do pure physical damage or anything, so. This worked out well, I think. Should have a mechanic to travel between houses. Yeah, I mean, there is a mod that lets you travel to whatever town you want, but... Greetings, friend. Part of the charm is being frustrated by the fact that you can't go where you want to. <laughs> it's funny. Have you already decided how the build will be at the end, like armor weapons? Yes. This is kind of the setup we're going for. At the end, we may switch to a meteoric bow, but I'm not sure yet. I have to get one. I don't have one. I need a legacy out of a different character. Test it out. And we have extra damage from arrows when we get to Caldera, but we don't have that point yet. So that'll be the big shift for the build where we'll get a lot more power. That gets better anyway. Like, taking on gargoyles with anything bow-wise is terrible until you get Aether Bomb arrows. And then it... I went the wrong way. Wrong way. What a tard. Once you buy all the houses, it would be not... It really would be. Again, it's that too convenient thing. Can't do it. Can't do it. Have you considered using Murmur? I have. Uh, I don't have a Pearl Bird mask, so that's also out of the question. I have to run back to Sierzo to get my uh, Conjure skill, so maybe I will then. If I happen... Because I have the Ceremonial Bow. I grabbed it last time I played, but I don't have the Pearl Bird mask that I need. Traveling is half the game. Count yourself lucky with the upgrade shop that lets you travel to other cities. Yeah, no. The traveling to other cities is like, thank goodness we have that at least, you know. Because it didn't used to be that way. In the original game, it was walk. Everywhere. Just walk. Three or four of my stash. Need to give them away. Oh yeah, half you. I think you told me about that. You have a couple. Maybe for next stream, I'll, I'll have you hop into my world. 
uh, sometime this week and just give me one so I can test out the bow. Because, I mean, after this stream, there's no point in me playing a bow. So whenever I'm done with this series, it, there will be no more bow. We will move into other stuff. I, I want to do a full fire spear bow build, but I think I'm just going to make a build on it, not do it. A gun, a gun playthrough would be fun. Also, I mean, there's so many options. It's hard to pick what you want to do, you know? Okay, Decay Elemental could show up mm, here or inside there or out. So we just have to kind of walk through it. We'll find it. Yeah, and you can always use a bow as support. I may actually do that. I may use a bow as... I had an idea for a knuckle build that needs confusion to be, you know, really, really good. The war bow inflicts confusion, so maybe that'd be a good thing to switch to. I could hotbar a bow and knuckles and inflict confusion from far away and then switch to knuckles. Hate Vibras just because they disease you. Yeah, all like... Stekosaurus disease you, uh, hyenas. They're not hard enemies, but everyone hates them the most just because of that. Smoke spear, fire infusion, and blaze them all. Yeah, I wanted to try that too. That sounds fun. I don't know if I will though. Um, I think that's the wrong way. Oh, there's two of them. Okay. I have the spear skill, by the way. I just don't have it equipped. Hence why I run Mephinos, because otherwise I would not be able to pick up all this stuff. Let's see, no elemental there. He usually spawns down this hill. Get iron down there. Ah, darn it. We gotta go check the other direction first. For confusion, pistol seems better and cheaper. Yeah, it really does. It would just be neat. You get a good amount of damage off, too. Just because the cannon pistol is so darn good. Oh, no, you hit me with your chakram. I'm really scared. Get out of my face. Oh, no. How's it feel, dude? How's it feel to attack an absolute just S-tier adventurer and then get cut down immediately? You must feel really dumb right now. I meant to can be near the blood dungeon. That's why I want to check before I leave. Because if I go all the way down the hill, I will be very frustrated. Wonder what would happen if I infused this with a lightning rag and then pop my boon. Like, bro. 61 lightning damage is nothing to bad an eye at. Look at that. What am I bleeding with, by the way? Something's applying bleed. I have no idea what is applying bleed. Oh no, they just had that effect, I think. The only gripe with the cannon pistol is that it does four extra damage than the base flintlock. It's OP when you use sweep kick ability. I think that is the main, uh, the... No, I take that back. The main point of the cannon pistol is the impact. It has more impact than the regular pistol. So while it doesn't do a lot more damage, it does a lot more impact. Which, as I've stated before, is sometimes more important than damage. So yeah, I get your point there. I guess I could go do the blood, uh... I'd go kill these dudes over here, too. Dude. Thank you for sitting down. I'm gonna go in here now. Seems like the particle run. That RNG. <laughs> yeah. Shame we don't have a class that can summon those blood weapons. 
Yeah, imagine being a... Uh, what do they call it, though? It's a blood... Blood apprentice is what I think they're called. Yeah, like having two blood beasts or something. Yeah, it'd be interesting, but, the, you know, the whole point is that they're... Not good guys. <laughs> so we don't have that because of that, but... Sigils are the coolest looking thing to put down in the game. Changed my mind. Look at that lightning damage. That is absolutely insane. That's nuts. Bro, I'm coming through. Okay. Oh my word, I, I hit him. I killed a human I didn't mean to. The lightning is king. This guy have dark stone. He has a dark stone. He has a coral horn bow too. Dark stone, three dark stones in one go. Tell me that's not good. All right. Thank you for that. A good way to do his quest is to actually... A wolf chakram? It's an interesting drop. Yeah, a good way to do the bloody business quest is to just do the particle farm at the same time. And you can grab his stuff on the way. I have no need to do it, but I just figured I'd come in here and kill these guys. Because, you know... Why let, uh, why let the bandits live and stuff when they don't have to live? It's a weird looking bow. What's up, Lazy? Yeah, I, I knew somebody was going to say that eventually. I am using the spear on the easy stuff until I get to uh, the Caldera. I'm trying to save up arrows. Because I don't need... I'm just doing the particle farm right now, so... I figured the more arrows I save up, the better. But it, it, you know, it's a nice looking bow though, right? Looks pretty good. Look at that thing though. It looks so mean. Yeah, I know. I can make arrows. I'm trying to... I'm saving up iron though. For when I get over there. Uh, Because I ran out a minute ago. And also... Some of these elemental particle guys... Or what are they called? Elementals are a waste to bow because they take forever. They literally take a freaking year to shoot down sometimes. Hey, Tourmaline. There is just a bow without the string. Exactly, Rodolfo. Exactly. Oop. We got iron over here. Hit me up with some of this. Three scraps. Let's go. All right, all right. Hit me with your chakram, please. Thank you. All right, I'm gonna whack him in the face a couple times. Dude, how many dark stones did I get from this? Four dark stones. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. All right, we got one more elemental left. Honestly, it didn't take too long. We had a little bit of an issue finding... The, or getting the ice particle, but that's about it. All the rest have been pretty easy. Usually, Scourge guys running around here every once in a while. The big, uh... I don't know what you call them, the Scourge. The big tanky guy. What I call him, big tanky guy. Lots of spear makers are screaming in their tombs right now. Ah. Hello, thank you. Oh, no, there's one more in there. I almost forgot. 
Look at that damage. Oh my word. The dark stones are real. Okay, let's see. I think that's everything over on this side. I never got the trog key for the freeing the trog, but I don't really need to. Not now that I finished the quest. I wonder if the wolf chakra it does not dismantle. So we know that. We're also gonna drop it. Oh, it sells good. Drop those. Ah. Perfect. Do if I'm more iron. Poison arrows. Too good. It's too good. More iron. I've actually been getting a lot of thick oil. When I first played Outward, I never mined things as much as I do now. And I, I don't know. Getting thick oil is so unbelievably easy. The first time you ever play a gun build, you're like, dude, I never have any bullets. And they're so expensive. And then you realize, hey, you can make like a million of them. Very, very cheaply. Okay. Now, last time, I, I've never actually found the fire elemental right around here. I always find him behind the Kazite encampment. Every time. I've always found him there. Which is like two times. So I was kind of surprised when I saw him over here. I think style-wise, the World Egg just has... It has everything I like. Yeah, get wrecked, son. Give me my health back that you stole. Appreciate that. Okay, one last particle and we will have officially done... I guess we didn't do bloody business, but we've done almost everything we can do over in Antique Plateau. Unless you abuse magic bullets, you run out of bullets fast. True. Yeah. Especially if you're swapping guns. Four or five guns in your inventory and you're using them fast. Now, if you set up your cooldown correctly, however, you never need bullets. Which is pretty cool. How strong do you guys think Lightning Bullet would be with this build? How, how strong? Like, be honest. That might be a good idea to grab the Chimera Pistol for. What is white? Does that mean I did it? Mm-hmm. Is that good, then? I already got the light particle. You guys like to see that? Alright, we'll have to go get the Chimera Pistol and try it. I think that means I did it, right? Yeah. Okay. I was gonna say, I don't remember completing it. I guess I did the purple one a long time ago. Yeah, I did it last stream. And then I immediately quit doing the, the puzzle. <laughs> so I was like, I'm done. So if anyone has not seen this yet, you're about to see something really cool. Hey, what do you have? Iron? I'll take that. I will not leave you to rot. I will I will take it. Or rust, I guess. Iron doesn't rot. Look how many gravel beetles I have. These things are not dying. It's insane. This has been a pretty good run. I feel like we've gotten a lot of stuff. And we've utilized some pretty nice aspects of the game. Can you get the Chimera Pistol? Thought it was locked out if you don't do the side quest. I did do the side quest, Afrin. I did do the side quest. I also took Heroic Kingdom. So I can buy it from her immediately. Yeah, 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 Liger. You, you didn't know that? 
A spear is just a bow without a giant string. I mean, honestly, right now, if I wanted to make my bow, I could just tie a string to this. And I have my bow. Like. It's definitely worth it. I just need really, really big arrows. Or I could shoot like three arrows at a time. Can you imagine a skill that like, like we have the five shot skill, but that's not at once. You shoot them in succession. Imagine a skill where you shot three arrows at once. I missed that timed out when I traveled. Made me sad. Yeah, it does time out. Yeah, you gotta be careful. Oh, yeah. Th this is cool, I have to admit. Oh, you know what? I did it right, too. I did the bloody business quest, so they're gonna be fighting each other. That's awesome. Get out the freaking way, you stupid... freaking ugly... rabbit. Check this out. It's a battle for the ages. Oof. Check it out. All five elementals versus three dudes. Oh my word. He killed the arcane elemental. What? This guy's a beast. Oh, they, oh, the war is... I think he wins. I think he does. He's a tank. He's honestly a tank. Who wins against the fire particle and the... Dino, though. He killed another one. I gotta make... I gotta... Oh, my word. He's only half health. Dude, I'm gonna keep killing you. Oh, sit down. So, here we go. Oh, I thought I gave you three. I only got one decay particle. That's trash. Oh, because I didn't kill him. I have to kill him. I need to go stop this dude before he kills him. Are you gonna do anything? You gonna sit there? Bro. One particle again. That's odd. You only get one? I thought you got three. This is kind of trash. What the heck? What the heck, bro? One particle. I could have sworn you got three particles. It's one... Oh, no. It's one from each, and you get two from killing them. That's three. I got my hopes up, guys. Never never get your hopes up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get one particle from each of these, and you get two from killing them the first time. Okay. You need to calm down. I, I was about to be irate. You ready? He didn't even... No, I already picked his up. <laughs> Listen to me. I'm just... I'm going crazy. Alright, did I loot all but this one? So yeah, all five arcane elementals show up and they fight. It's pretty cool, honestly. It's a pretty fun little thing. Watch the battle. Should grab that drop to make alertness potion? Uh, I don't know. I don't really need alertness potions, though. I don't like them either. If I ever need them, I just buy them. Because I don't need them that much. Alertness is not always a good thing, in my opinion. But yeah. Saying a spear is a giant arrow, not a bow. Oh, I see, Liger. I see. So you're telling me I should get my bow out. And I should strap this bad boy. Can you imagine the damage from that? We need a mod. Get on it, guys. I need a mod where I can shoot whirling spears from my gold bow. I am the new outward boss. Not Calixa. Not the Beast Golem. Not the Crescent Sharks. Me. Hit me up with a whirling spear. I will freaking... Whirling spear arrows, dude. You have no idea the power... Javelins? Heck yeah. Throw throw javelins. Great bows from Dark Soul. Yeah, Elden Ring, uh Elden Ring has a it's Radon's bow. That's what it is. Radon we need outward to have Radon's bow and just shoot whirling spears. That would be so funny. That would be so funny. Imagine the damage. I mean, with this build specifically, check this out. 
So from the for the Warleg Spear at 24 damage. With Boons, it's 43. Add on a rag, it's more than that. Then you have 10 damage from the bow. And you're shooting 43 minimum damage at an enemy at a time. With just lightning. Thing leaf, you should have picked it up. It makes energizing potion. I'm not a big uh, energizing potion guy. I don't know. I should have. You're right. You're right, Liger. I'll just buy some. I'll just buy some. If I don't regularly make a potion, I generally just buy it. I'm lazy that way. I think I have sting leaves though, unless I dropped them earlier. You know, horror is big enough to be great bow. Honestly, horror well, is a pretty big bow. Iron, thank you. Oh, I need to sell my want to buy something. wolf chakram I found. 60 iron, guys. This is what I'm talking about. I did get four ice particles from that. Only one ether, fire, and light, though. I guess I have the rest of my chest, but still. But yeah, three for me. That's still good, though. That's a good elemental form. Stop taking my name. You are Sheen Shots. I am lazy, not you. <laughs> I'm lazy. I'm lazy now. I become one with my inner lazy. Uh, don't need any of this. This is where the inventory management comes into play here. Did I get blood mushrooms? Because I feel like I grabbed at least one. I have to have it in my inventory. Yes. I have a lot of potions I can make. Stamina. Only one. Okay. We don't need that, but we're going to make it because... Why not? Alright. Now we can put all that stuff back. So now is the fun part where we go and get a Chimera Pistol, and we start shooting stuff. I guarantee- this is not even- I- I made a bow build that is just a lightning build. <laughs> it's literally just a lightning build. It uses all things lightning. Wish they had a unique crossbow. Yeah, that would replace a bow in a way. That'd be cool. Uh, I don't know. What are we thinking here? I'm pretty full. On some good stuff. So, we're going to keep it that way for now. Also, going to travel. Is there anything else I need in Harman? I'm thinking no. But still need the Gold Lich stuff. Ugh. I got to enchant the Horror Bow before I can take on Gold Lich. How do I do that, by the way? How do I enchant the horror bow? Do I have the stuff for it? I probably do. I have two dreamers root. I can go by the table. Probably, probably is decay particle. What is the incense though? I have I do have all the stuff. I got four to five uh, quartz just from playing the game, which literally never happens. I wonder if I have to be in a certain area, though. Is there something you need? Like I have to be in corruption or something? He only has three pillars. What a freaking loser. What? Insets is Comet. Okay. That seems pretty easy. I know Comet's like the easiest one to make. Or one of the easier ones to make. So we'll make that. And we can actually, if we... <laughs> we're going to end up doing Caldera like so late. Because I have not killed the Liches yet. That is a good point. Luckily I only need two pillars. Otherwise I would sue... Re 
ridiculous. Only give me three pillars. Can't stand this woman. Alright, a decay particle. We have the dreamer's root, conveniently. So I haven't even been picking any up. Do I already have Comet Incense right here? Oh, it's the big boy. It is It is the big one. I need Chris... Chris Ropia. Which is... Do, 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 it's fire. I think that has to be fire, right? No, it probably is decay. Purifying Quartz, Tourmaline, Elemental Particle, Decay. Yeah, I am gonna... I am gonna do Caldera. Uh, for the first time. Alright, where's my Quartz at? And I need one Tourmaline. I think I have Tourmaline already. No, I put it away, I guess. I have to finish it, Liger, because I have to make... People want videos on it. People have asked me multiple times to make videos over in Caldera, and I'm like, I don't have it. Yeah, there we go. Uh, Quartz, Tourmaline, Chris... 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 Chris I can't. There's these words in this game, dude. And what's the last one we needed? It's... This, 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 and a particle. Yeah. Okay. Is it close? Both are close? I'll do it in here, then. Be kind of funny. I'm gonna enchant inside my house. The basement actually isn't a bad place to enchant. You have plenty of room down there. Now we get the other enchanting table. I really love enchanting in this game. I don't know if I've mentioned how much I love it. I usually gloss over it because I do my enchants before a legacy, but I really love it. Okay. Horror bow. I already have one, I think. Yeah, give me that. Why does it say obsidian bow? Now, we've got an extra 10 poison damage, or no, just 10 poison damage, and it inflicts extreme poison. This is now a very, very good bow. Arguably? No, not even arguably. This is an amazing bow. What the heck? Obsidian, you're getting, you're getting out of my inventory, dude. Oh. It's a bit complicated to start, but very rewarding. I agree, and I think that the way they designed it is actually really good. I didn't like it at first, I gotta admit. I don't think most people like it at first. Once you get used to it, it is solidly uh, just an experience. It's a good experience. Okay, I don't need any of that stuff. So now we're good to go. We have both bows. I have enough money to buy the house. Nah, not really. And we can enchant other stuff, other bows later if we want to try them out. I need a... I don't know where I'm going to head. That's why I want to make sure I have gold, by the way. Don't know where they're going to put me. Levant would be nice for the Chimera Pistol. Hollow Marsh would be nice for the Lich. Greetings, Sierra friend. would be nice for my... I, really, anywhere's fine. Other than Enmerker. If I go to Enmerker, I'm so angry. Yes. Lavant, let's go. Damn. Yes. I didn't have rations. Are you kidding Greetings, me? Greetings, friend. Greetings, friend. Yes. It's an end game bow. Yeah, I never realized how good it was. Like I knew it was one of the better bows, but man. Murmur, Enchanted Horror are the strongest bows, unless your build is more specialized. Yeah, I'd say probably strongest bow is Astral. Overall. Uh, Murmur, a solid second. Then Horror. Those are my top three, I think. 
Now, I already have the house here. Uh, so that's not a problem. Let's take one of these potions, by the way. Get rid of this stupid corruption. I don't want to eat that. That's good food. That's almost dead. I'll eat that. Okay. Uh, I have plenty of gold to buy the Chimera pistol, but it's all about... Also need to make sure I have bullets. That's a problem, too. Six gold. I need... It's a. It's 2,000, right? Nine, ten. Well, well, we're gonna buy it one way or another. So. Astro's more of a stat stick. Yeah, true. Just the damage you get with is kind of nuts. You're not gonna do anything with it, physical wise, physical damage wise. You touch it, you buy it. The Chimera. Twenty gold bars for this bad boy. Ninety impact or ninety damage, seventy impact inflicts vulnerability. Then we'd be doing more fire damage. That is a lot of money, though. Now. Uh, I don't want to waste money on bullets. Or, uh, waste materials on bullets. We gotta try this, though. Because Lightning Bullet is one of the stronger abilities in the game. You just put out a lot of damage with How Lightning can Bullet. I help you? We're gonna grab 12 bullets. And we're gonna test this out. You guys wanted to see it? We're gonna do it. Mmm, I'm thinking should be good in hot weather. I need rations. Definitely. Can I help you? Probably four rations. We'll buy all the rations because we'll be traveling here and there. Let's do this. I'm excited to try this out. I wonder how much damage it does. Yeah, Murmur is so convenient for, um, you know, the fact that it decreases your stamina cost. You know, that's kind of crazy. We're going to have to do some hot swapping here. Let's pick the pistol. Skill is going to be fire and reload. And what else do we want to... Ch I can't really change much. I can change this off if I want to use the bow. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. Here we go. Here's the new setup. So let's just check out the damage the pistol does in general. Okay? So this is the Chimera pistol at base damage. Already a solid choice, okay? That's pretty clear, I think. Elemental vulnerability. I mean, this is going to be good. It's going to be good. Simply reload. I mean, this is not bad to hot uh, to switch either. It's not bad. Enough buff, you can regen stamina while running. Really? I mean, if you use, like... Dude, can you imagine a build that uses bows and the uh, dancer set? Wow. Wow. Chimera, then Obsidian, then Meteor. Strongest Lightning. Excuse me. Oh, uh, I could see that, definitely. I could see that, definitely. Alright, we're gonna slowly buff up. So, we do want to make sure we have the boon on. I'm going to go fight somebody in here and see how much damage it does. Where am I at? Oh, the entrance is right here. I didn't kill this guy yet, I don't think. Watch me get ambushed by like seven golems. 
Yeah, look at him. Look at him right there. Can I activate this? Nah, bro. I knew, yeah, I knew it wasn't gonna happen. I was like, whatever. Excellent, excellent. More damage than I can imagine. The Chimera is just good in general. I don't even need... What's up? You want some of this? I missed. Wow. Missed again. Forget you, dude. Okay, here's where we use Lightning Bullet. Actually, I want to use Lightning Bullet against the big guy. We'll just we'll just shoot him in the face. Here we go, here we go. Oh my word, the damage is absolute. And the impact. What? You want some? Yeah, get the heck out of my face, dude. I'm not playing with you. I like this. I like this. It's a fun build. I feel like the entire time I've been playing this build, I just keep going, this is fun. <laughs> but it's true. Alright, we don't want the boon to wear off. Alright, come here, you scaly little guy. Oh no, we want to go over here. Alright, ready? Oh shoot, that's not what I wanted to do. That's nice damage against that guy. Now, I have played this very, very wrong. Should have dropped the backpack, but I wanted to switch. Yeah, there we go. Oh shoot. Why do things go wrong when I want them to go right? We need to find a Scourge. Can we one-shot a Scourge with Chimera? I bet we can. Oh, come on. I just don't want the guy to show up behind me all of a sudden. Yeah, I think we have I think we have room, but All right, so that was a terrible test. We're going to have to try that again. Have lightning boon on. Oh, look at this. Oh my word. He how much damage did he do? Probably not a lot. One sigil's almost back, and we can use it again. Is he gonna fight that bird? It's gonna be hilarious if he does. Bro. That did the rock mantis did literally no damage to him. I'm doing nice damage, though. If I can actually, you know, do stuff. Oh, look at that, though. The impact is insane. I probably already has regular impact, but... Now we drop this. Now we're doing extra damage with the bow. Come at me, bro. I'm ready. This guy is a freaking beast. He's a freaking beast. I can't lie. Unless you fight him with Ethereal, he just doesn't take damage. You know what I mean? I got this. I got something for him. Don't worry. Can I hit him from here? Can I hit his arm? Yes, I can. Uh-oh. That's a problem. I feel like locking on... This guy just is too resistant to everything. This is a bad test. Failure. Alright, we'll have better luck with a melee weapon against him. Bow is very, very difficult to fight this guy with. Okay. Now we got this. Now we got this. I'm feeling confident. This 
sit down. Ah, he told me to sit down. Okay, okay. That I did not feel confident about. Jeez. Jeez. I, dude, took on the Rust Lich. Can't beat this guy. Convenient? I think not. He just has a lot of protection. Also, he attacks immediately after... That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry. I'm not in the middle of something. I'm not in the middle of something, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come back. Come on. Come on. Luckily, I got him stuck, because otherwise I'd be dead right now. Alright, can I take him on without the sigil? I feel like I can. It's going to be challenging, but I can do it. Ooh. Oh, I thought he was attacking. He's not attacking. This guy literally... does. He does not have health regen, though, right? 2,500 HP. He has 25% physical resist, 40 decay. Yeah. He doesn't have resist to lightning. He just doesn't take damage to it for some reason. Oh, shoot. Can I do this? I think I can. One more lightning spark, and we're good. We've got enough stamina with this build, though. We're fine. Every time... I died! No! He's too fast! Now, you need an ethereal varnish. You have to have an ethereal varnish. He doesn't take damage. It's weird that he's not taking more lightning damage than he is. I'm killing this dude. That is literally the first death. Oh, a plant tent? This is the best death. This is the best. That's the best death I could have had. The best death ever. All right, I don't think I have an ethereal varnish, but I have other things. He probably health regen, right? After that amount of time. It's so easy to forget how tanky he actually is. I don't understand why he's that tanky. Forget this dude, bro. I am going to shoot him in the face. Okay, yeah, he's almost dead. Alright, now we run up here. Reload the gun. Are you kidding me? This place sucks! I hate every bit of it. Yeah, that's what I thought. Killed me. Will not take kindly to that. How did this turn into a gun thing? I question everything. What's up? You want some? It freaking missed. Ugh. I'm gonna run out of bullets before I even get to Caldera. There we go. Can I get my bow? Where's my bow at? This is supposed to be a bow build. They're just golems. Just suck. Let me, let's just say that, guys. Golems suck. Man. Okay. First death, this guy. That's an acceptable death. I will accept that with... Uh, I'm not really happy about it, but I'll accept it. We did get more... Why does he drop wolf mage boots? That's stupid. Uh, spark bomb. And the compass wood staff. So... I have been trying to save up grenades, so I'm fine with having grenades saved up. I beat half the game without dying and then died to that guy. Liger, didn't we die here too? I'm like 90% sure we died here. Shoom. Dang it. 
They have range, man. Alright. Okay. Can't attack with a bow right now. Alright, here we go. Alright, we're back at it. Back at Oh, another rock mantis? Wow. Caldera has oil to spare. Yes, they also have the mushrooms. That I can make more grenades with. Uh, da, 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 da. yeah, the, even the horror bow wouldn't have helped me against that guy. You just need ethereal. I don't know why I didn't bring a varnish. I didn't, wasn't originally going to fight him, but. Then I did for some reason. We had the best death ever, though. Literally got, just woke up in a plant tent. How does that happen? Got stuck, so I had to die. Yeah, I remember that. Uh, your character got stuck, and then I was fighting him. And just kind of. Didn't do well, if I'm being honest. I wonder if I can kill this bird. I want I wanted to get alpha meat for the trog thing, but I don't know if I can even. They always. I just don't know how to kill them without a gun, honestly. I just. They're so hard to hit with a bow. Unbelievable. That's my excuse. I'm pretty sure the real reason is I suck. I don't want, I don't want to talk about that. Though. Was Gep saving you? What's up, Lucas? Uh, yeah. Gep's a good guy. Gep's a good guy. He realized that I messed up dearly. Okay. And should not have fought that guy without an ethereal varnish. It's same with golems, though. Like, no matter what you do with your build, you should never fight a golem without an ethereal varnish. It's just not something you should do. Same for that guy, I guess. Or not a golem, a gargoyle, sorry. You can fight golems without a varnish. Gargoyle. I wonder how much damage we do to the Jade Lich. I'm honestly... That's like my thing right now. I have to know. Yeah, don't attack me. Chill. Okay. I wouldn't even be mad with doing another bow build, but doing it with, like, Slayer Armor or something? I feel like Slayer Armor would be cool. Okay, no stamina. I like that. Oh, no arrows. I feel like a full physical build would just be nuts. Did my lamp die? Probably because I have it on in the sun. Why would I do that? I don't know. Where is it at? Why did it not equip? See, this is why I hate. Look at this. Look at this. Okay. So, this gives me no option to put on the backpack. I either have to equip it, or move it to pocket, and then move it to bag. That... Like, what? <laughs> My guy reaches in the backpack, pulls out lantern, and says, I don't know what to do with this. I have zero clue. What about when you fight Gollum? Do you need Ethereal as well? Gollum? No, I mean... I did fight the MK Gollum, Lazy. He's actually going to... He's very difficult if you don't use the right Matrix. The MK would be impossible, really, with a, with a Lightning build without that Scourge Matrix. That was a good call by, I think, Hafrin, who mentioned that. I think that's who mentioned that, to be honest. Okay. And I have rations because I bought those earlier. So we're A okay. But yeah, Lucas, doing pretty good. The bow build's been a lot of fun. I'm not sure I could say it's my favorite build. I like impact builds more. I think my next thing I'm going to try is a solid gauntlet build. 
See if I like that. I've tried gauntlets multiple times and never made it to end game with them. I don't know why. Bunch of iron coming up. You ready for this? And where's my stamina? I have a. T I th oh, did all of it rot? It did. My marshmallow and tartines. No. Come, I have a present for you. It's called a one-shot kill. Thank you. Thank you. Well, he has silver. That's not a lot of silver, though. Two things of padded armor? You could have a half a set of padded armor right now. Hey, bro. This way. Come on. Alright. Right about there. Iron sword and arrows. I'll take all that. He craft the iron sword real quick. MK7 golem. Yeah. Did I call? I don't know what you mean. Did I kill it? Yeah, I killed it. Oh, you're talking to Liger about what he calls it. Okay. I was slightly confused, gotta admit. This guy could die to bleed, but I might as well just end his suffering now. Pick up a bow for no reason. Iron spikes, that can be decrafted. That can be decrafted. I miss bandits, man. I've been missing them. I dropped one of these, it's useless. They give me so much beautiful iron. Although not this many bandits, jeez. How you guys like that uh, lightning re or mana region from the wind? The purple wind gives you mana region. I don't know if you guys knew that. This guy didn't die? Wow. Wow. Need to up my damage if that guy didn't die. Um, let's see. Machete, mace, and shield. It does- yeah! The mana- uh, purple winds and Endmarker forest actually have a small amount of mana regen on your character. Very, very tiny. You can check in the- right here. 53. It'll move- it's like insanely low. 0 0.01, I think. Or was that Hex Mage? I was pretty sure that this had mana regen. It's not doing anything, though. Am I wrong? I was pretty sure I was right about that. Maybe it doesn't. Huh. I thought that gave you mana regen. Good to know. I got it back from the killing the guys. That's what I got it back from. The little practice gauntlets are arguably the most OP playstyle in game. A lot like Stealth Archer in Skyrim. Hard not to build a gauntlet fighter once you realize its potential. No, I've seen Comforts of the Burrow play gauntlet, and that's that's where I know. That's where I know gauntlets are good because he beat the entire game, all bosses in a uh, dancer set, bro. Dancer set. That's crazy. Obviously possible. I mean, it's like any Dark Souls genre game. As long as you're good enough at dodging, you're fine. But that's crazy. Come on. What's up, Ren? How's it going? Internet issues fixed? Been a while since I could stop by. Yeah, they they were fixed. The, we had an issue this morning, but it was because of a storm. Um, they came out and fixed it. So hopefully it will not have any issues ever again. But, you know, life is life. We can't expect 100% perfection. Okay, we need to... I guess I'll store those for later.
I need to make sure I buy a couple more bullets for the... That's 100% gonna rot. Hmm... couple more bullets for the liches, and if I need to inflict something on them. Okay, let's make some arrows. The only thing about the bow build that you have to, like, make sure you're constantly doing is preparing for fights more regularly. Like, on a sword character, I could definitely walk into stuff without being as prepared. Other than boons, but... I gotta constantly be checking my inventory. Which the mana grass by Complex Mountain gave mana regen. I don't know why the... I thought I read somewhere that the mana wind gave you mana regen. I don't know why. Hey there. I'm like 80% sure I read that. And I should repair... Hey oh, there. I was going to buy bullets too. Just a few, right? And that's gonna go, so. Okay, so we now have no money. Let's check our bow, make sure it's good enough. It's fine. Let's sleep an hour to repair, though. I don't want to get there and be like, hey, you're dead. All your equipment's done for. You know what's really funny, though? I've never done the annoying troglodyte after me and Liger did it that first time. Uh, Chimera's not equipped, but fine. Alright, we're good. <clears throat> I don't know what we're talking about golem-wise, but... <laughs> Matrix defense of MK, that's why I asked. Yeah, the Matrix defense... Is interesting. I like that the uh I like the way they did that when they did Wendigo, Scourge, and what's the other one? Impact? I think it's got what is the impact one? I don't remember. Um The impact one is crazy. Like you can't impact him. Hardly at all if you pick that one. Which is pretty cool. How can I help you? Uh, rations here. Where are we at? Uh, this guy doesn't have rations. Want to buy something. This guy has rations. I think I only need three, though. I don't even need rations. Saving up bombs. I should have put the bombs in my backpack, but maybe we'll use one or two bombs against the Jade Lich. That'd be kind of cool. That'd be pretty neat. I don't know if anybody's ever used a grenade against the liches. That'd be a fun video. What can grenades kill easily? Because obviously fast stuff, like the Royal Manscore, you would not be able to grenade. I'm convinced you would not be able to grenade him. He's She's too fast. Way too fast. Liches move around too much, I think, for the grenades. That's what I'm saying, Yotu. I think it's just way too fast. You wouldn't be able to hit him. They do They do move around way too much. Well, I'm thinking boss, too. Like, if you think of the two Lich bosses, you might get lucky and hit the Lich. Which is another reason I don't think that they were... They're that useful. Like, I see their purpose, but they're not that useful. I wonder how much of a difference it would be if they actually exploded on impact. I'd like to see that. Not sure we'll, if we ever will, but it'd be interesting. Get my bow back out. Where is that at? Here we go. Monsoon. I or uh, Hall Marsh. I haven't been here in a while. I will not do the gold lich first. Gold lich will be last. 
when I come back through and go back through Enmerker for us. Mm, should I go left or right? Who's the... Someone looking at me? Oh, okay. Okay. More bandits to kill. Yeah, I'm more powerful than I was last time I came here, dude. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, keep hitting me. See how, see how well it goes. Yeah, that's what I thought. Well, this is a bad idea. Don't ever put a gun on mid-battle. That's so much more damage if they're inflicted with that, though. Stamina, dude. Unbelievable. I'm making fun of him. Look at him. He's an idiot. How you feel, stupid? Now, can I buff up, please? Where's my other stamina foods? Strawberry, gin, or tartine, sorry. And I really need to get more health items. It's killing me right now. We should test out the horror bow, right? It's not going to have a ton of damage, but I could definitely increase it here. Alright, alright, alright. Oh my word. It's a bit slow, but... That literally showed up out of thin air. So that's cool. We're doing thin air shots now. These guys don't poison though, so I'm not getting the cool poison effect. Look at the impact, though. This is such a physical... ...damaging bow. I think it might take more stamina to draw back, too. Go ahead and dodge this ball right here. I don't know. I felt like it would do more damage. Maybe if you paired, like, horror armor with this or something? That's pretty good for a bow, though. Okay. Uh, now we can go inside this way. I was just trying to get rid of them. Let me think here. I didn't bring a ton of potions for the fight. And my stamina is killing me right now. Oh, you know what it is? I need my tent buff. That's what I'm missing. I've been trying to figure out what I've been missing. Poison arrows? I did find a couple. I want to save them, though. I feel like Caldera bosses might need those. Although, technically, I could buy them at that point, so I should be using them now. Maybe I will stop by town later, grab them, and then head back to the Gold Lich. They do a lot of decay damage when paired up with that bow. I think I have venom and poison. What's the difference? One just does decay, one only does poison. Hmm. Probably. Oh, you know what? We can do the rest of the ghost, uh, the apparitions quest. I'm trying to remember where they're all at, though. Most of them are that way. One of them is over here. I'll get this one. For the the backpack. You know what I'm talking about? I need to get that before I leave this region. Because I probably won't come back here. If I'm being honest. Okay. It gives me 13 arrows. Why can't I don't understand why they can't just add the arrow to the other section. Hello. 
All right, should be a drop right here. No, it's that right there. Do I have... Yeah, antidotes? Yes. Where is it safe to come down, though? I'm telling you, I'm jumping this hill. I'm gonna do it. Uh, I don't really want to, though. This is scary. Crap, I took a lot of damage. But it's fine. It's fine. This is the only part that should slow me, I think. Alright, apparitions. That's the second one I have. I don't think I have any more than that. Alright, we're just going to run through this. Just in case I get poisoned again, I don't want to waste antidotes. And I think... Where's the other ones? You guys know? Gold Lich Fight? Yeah, Evan. Uh, I haven't done the Gold Lich Fight yet. I'm going to come back with better arrows, probably. I'm going to go do Jade Lich, see how that goes. Because I know he's the easier of the two, and I want to make sure I understand... My capabilities first, you know what I mean? Got to know what I'm about. A lot of iron right here. I'm liking that. I like that. Did you unlock the bridges? One is in the middle island between those bridges. I have that one, Liger. Uh, that is the one I know for a fact. Is Oh, there's the other one. That's one of the few I absolutely know where it is. Dang it, these flies are going to get on me, aren't they? Wait a minute, that's not it. It's just a random lamppost. There's four different apparition sites, correct? One of them is on the bridge between the ziggurats. One of them is the one I just got. One has to be here. Yeah, I was going to say, there's no way this isn't one. No reason to be here. Past the Spire of Light up by the Dino Cave. Okay, there's one more. We're at Spire of Light. Like here? I bet you it's here. Yeah, it's here. Because there's one... Uh, Where's the bridge at? There's one here. On this island. There's one here. And here. That has to be the last one. Grab that when I come back around. I was going to say, I, I remember them, uh, but they're like the locations in the swamp that you never need to go to. Is there five? There might be another one. I don't know. No, the fifth one is the first one. Liger, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I may, if I'm correct, the... Fifth one is the one you start with. Or shows up at the bridge. What's up, Afrin? Trying to get my university enrollment finalized? Oh, nice. Yeah, that's important. We want to get that done. This might be uh, beneficial to get some meat here. And cook that up and not die to, you know, the lich. I like that damage. This The Hollow Marsh is where this build shines. Okay. Just... Plink. Got him such a pain to get rid of. Where is this at? What golem are you talking about? This is the one I was thinking about past the Dino Cave. Gotcha, Liger. Hey, poison arrows, guys. Check that out. Does the Hollow Marsh have the least supply caches? I feel like that's a... legitimate statement. I don't... I'm trying to think of locations for supply caches here. Also, you like those marshmallows right there? In the middle of, uh, you know, swamp water. Awesome. 
this is definitely one of the better areas that they designed because if you just take a look around there's dead bodies there's plants that you can get lightning uh you get the lightning bugs off of you there scourge are dead all over the place it's a very desolate and uh dark area i think it's pretty cool didn't bother to count them but there are a lot of supply caches in this area really I never know where they're at. Oh, let's eat a marshmallow for that extra stamina. Only after we sleep, though. I gotta sleep to get that extra stamina buff. It's annoying to travel without a stamina buff. Hey, there's another supply cache. Who is leaving these supplies for me? Is it you, Gep? There's a Blade Dancer. We don't want to get attacked by that. I think they have a supply by the mine. Oh. One and one. I do that. Walked past when you said you don't know where they are. <laughs> Did I really? That's funny. What's up, Sandu? Yesterday I started a new character and got a Pearl Bird mask from the first kill. Sandu, you're banned from the stream. <laughs> uh, that's ridiculous. I killed like 15 of them on this playthrough and never got a Pearl Bird mask. Wow. I like how you had to come and brag to us, though. That's just... It's just hurtful. Feeling your lightning damage is going to make Jade Lich fight easy. Uh, it's going to be pretty quick. It's going to be pretty quick. It's not going to be a hard fight. Let me tell you that. The problem is going to be arrows. I need to make sure I bring enough. Uh, where's the tree? I need a tree that's not in the freaking swamp. Here we go. Wait. What? There's one spot where you can gather wood. Interesting. Sheen, I thought of a build that requires only two essential items. Rainbow Saber and the Fabulous Shield. The rest of the gear is tunable on Wish. That's interesting. Cabal, Hex, Merc. Yeah, you go for Hex and Elemental Vulnerability. That's a cool build, actually. All right, how many how many things of wood did I grab? A lot. Good. Oh shoot! This bro coming after me. Look at that. I almost knew that was gonna happen. You know that? Ah oh, shoot! Ammunition. Kind of need ammunition to fire a bow. I gotta make sure I stay out of these guys' reach. I'm getting a little too close. I think I'm, I'm starting to get cocky a little bit. I'm feeling it, and I need to not do that. Definitely. Gene's thinking bad, bad thoughts. Yeah, can I uh, kill my Pearl Bird and get the... Now we're thinking. Now we're using our big brains. Hate to tell you, this whole area is a swamp. If you want a tree, not... You have to leave the marsh, yeah. I I realized that as soon as I said it. I was like, darn it. Darn it. Alright, let's be prepared to take off our backpack immediately. Music just drastically cut out. So we can, we can be afraid. We're gonna sneak up on him, you ready? Dude, that's a little far to start sneaking. Dude, 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 dude. Where's he at? Right there? Alright, we're popping this bad boy. Haha! -ha! You thought I'd die because I was crouched! Surprise! I'm not gonna die. 
I only die to one golem, and one golem in particular. Thank you, sir. Alright, do they have, um... No, they don't have anything. I could actually use the decay... I don't know, I need the lightning damage, don't I? Alright, we'll enter here first. Unless when he drags you to the other side of the area. Mm. Talk about Gip. Run out of arrows, just throw the bow at him. Yeah, like in Borderlands. Just take the bow out and just chuck it. Oh my word, you little... What?! My arrow went through him. How convenient. Yeah, you tried to dodge, but you suck at it. They're weak to lightning. Very weak, because they're armor. Very nice. I'm not going to use their armor, even though it would be a good idea for the resistance. We want to go full damage. Where's this guy at? I know he's here somewhere. I'm watching him. There he is. Darn it. Why? Aha! I make it look bad, and then I make it look I make it look really good right after that. So that's kind of my goal here. I want to make it look like I'm gonna die, and then just pull something off that looks amazing. Solid strap. Yeah, Gap has one ring. It's why we never see him. I wonder what Geb looks like in the game. Hey, there's another Decay uh, Elemental. Uh, there we go. Okay. Du, 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 du. I wish I knew what these crystals were. I'm guessing they're the Phylactery, but... Like, that's the Jade Lich's Phylactery, but that's so cool. So cool. Ugh. All right. I'm actually pretty excited for this fight. This is kind of the uh, the anti J Lich build. So too much fun with the lightning build in corrupt land. <laughs> it's the truth, though. When you create a build that does so much of one damage, you you just really fun to like fight the other. You know, like if you create a fire build, the most fun thing to fight is a Wendigo. It honestly is. That's the best thing to fight. Because you two shot a Wendigo. <laughs> that is hilarious. Okay. Also, I want to know how a Tonosaur got inside a Ziggurat. That doesn't make a lot of sense to me. What up, dude? Someone this? Yeah, I'm not wasting my arrows on you. I have better targets to shoot. Well, he did nothing. This guy's gonna do nothing too. Not even gonna reach me. Eh, he reached me a little bit. I like how you can pull the bow back and then just release whenever they get around the corner. That's something I didn't realize you could do initially. Ran out of arrows. Need to put these in my pocket. 
That's embarrassing. I'm an archer and I ran out of arrows. Uh, let's take some more water. I already took out half of the guys that would be down there. If this was a normal, like, fight I would be complaining about. But... Of course, of course. Because I dodged too early. That's on me. Okay, okay. Dang it, they just dropped so much palladium. I... Really easy to get palladium. I have no idea. I really thought it was really hard when I was first started. Head home. Don't end the stream before I come back, Sheen. Okay, I catch you later, Rodolfo. Okay, I missed that because I chickened out. Oof, that was a little close. He's being very aggressive against me. I do not like it. Yeah, okay. Thank you. And hence why I brought these potions, because I knew I would get tainted sometime today. During this area. Alrighty. That literally has one thing in it. That's the worst loot I've ever seen. All right, let's just drop the spikes. I don't even know why I grabbed those. And we can decraft this and this. That as well. So. If he's not seen Jurassic Park, raptors can open doors. I think it's the same thing here. What are we talking about? <laughs> Crystal you mentioned is a mana stone. Yeah, but it's been corrupted with corruption, obviously. So, like, is it his phylactery? I don't know. The archer build I procure to have at least 30 arrows in the pocket always. That is a genuinely intelligent idea, Yotu. Did not take them out as cool and as fast as I did that one time with the thrice rot halberd. Ha! Ah. Hey, thrice rot's cool, though. Restaurant's such a cool weapon. What bow are you using? Uh, this is the gold bow still. From the very, very beginning of my bow stream. I'm using a gold bow and I enchanted it with twang. Gives it 10 lightning damage and it inflicts sapped on the enemy. Which is cool. Um, but it's very, very strong when paired with this much lightning damage. Just found the Sar Stone in there yesterday. Yeah, a lot of people don't know it's there. It's easy to miss. Where's it at? This side? It's uh, one of those fun secrets that my brother actually found for the first time when watching YouTube. And he's like, hey, we need to do this. Get a Sar Stone. I was like, okay. My brother loves the Sar Armor. I am not the biggest fan of the Sar Armor. I'm not a big heavy armor fan. So that could be why. He is a if you ever if you ever wanted somebody who likes the Sar armor, he's got you. What the heck? The Pearl Bird? How much time I got left on this buff? Uh two thousand seconds nearly. Yeah, that's plenty of time. Okay, let me think here. We need stamina. We're going to take a marshmallow. Literally, this fight right here is all stamina. So, that is the entire point of this fight. Physical damage? I'll take it. I already have discipline. I need to cast in rage. Make uh, more resistant here. I don't think I need either of the other boons. I have these in my pocket if I need them. And we're going to switch to the bow. Instead of lightning sigil because it's not going to be as useful. Alright. And honestly I'm going to craft more arrows. I don't know if that's enough arrows. They might be but...
Alright. This set needs to go to bag. Now I have enough arrows and backup. So. Alright. I can switch to the bow immediately. Yeah, we should be okay here. Mmm. Yes. Bring it on. I'll take your test. Let's do this. Okay, need to wait to do the bow attack until after, I guess. Oof, the damage, though. Gotta watch for that attack. Does three of them? Oh, I hit him. I thought I was going to miss. Come on. Yes. That sniper shot, insane damage. It's absolutely nuts. Dang it. He stays on you the whole fight. Two, three, four... I'm, it's very easy to miss, like, because I have to move to dodge all this stuff. That's the only thing I'm noticing. Okay. I can almost knock him down with the bow. Taking a little bit. If I had uh, health regen, I'd be fine here. Okay, need more arrows. And sniper shots up next. You know, I really... It's an easy kind of combo setup here. I just wait till he gets done with those attacks. And then I come in with sniper shot. I mean, I'm getting hit by the twirls, but that's about it. Tendrils, I guess you call it. Blade puppy! We got the blade puppy, guys. How come every time I fight a boss, we get a bot in the chat? Can we talk about that? Alright. Where's my backpack at? Bruh. Ugh. Ugh. Give me my backpack. Woo. Came here with 100% decay resist and just stood and blasted his face. Took zero damage. Yeah, you can do that. It's kind of funny. It's really, really weird, honestly, but it's pretty funny. Well, there we go. The Plague Doctor. Looks pretty cool. The tendrils reminds me of Mirak from Skyrim. And Solsheim. Every time I think, uh, look at the Jay Lich, that's what I think of. Boss battle in game and in comments? That's funny. Someone in the stream is the spammer. Wait until you're not looking and then wall. <laughs> Keep getting instantly removed. Yeah. It's the struggle is real, right? I wish I could jump off of this and make it to there. That would be cool. Sure, you could have some weird shenanigans like that. Interesting. So, I mean, that I expected that fight to go easy. The one I'm worried about is the Gold Lich. Because this fight is a stamina fight, but the Gold Lich is a dodging fight. Unless, unless I can get around his lightning balls correctly. Without dodging. Sometimes I can, sometimes I can't. Alright, we'll go back in here. We'll grab the Star Stone, just cause. Might as well. The Gold Lich is not poisonable and is not bleedable, if I remember correctly. 
Just hate the shotgun lightning. <laughs> uh, fair enough. Is it this direction or is it the other one? Yeah, it was the other one. Should be able to get through now, right? Yeah, there's a bridge. It's here. That is the worst. Although, mist potion. I don't have the mist skill yet for some reason. I have been to Berg like four times and still haven't bought it. All right. Pop this for backup. And we pop this, of course. Where is he at? Let's look at the pipe really quick. You guys want to see that? Look at him. Look at him come after me like that. Oh, shoot. I don't even have a... That's not good. Stop it! Equip the stupid bow! All right, it's a it's a whittle down fight. We got no uh, sigil to back up. Okay, insanely fast attack that I wasn't ready for. Yep, we're backing out. Cannot engage that. Okay, if he comes through the door, we got him. Nope. Should have equipped. The lightning or the spark again. There we go. Yeah, this guy should be bleeding to this. Now we're good to fight this guy. And I have some range on him this time. Okay, he's hiding between the pole. Not cool, bro. Gotta dodge early with these guys, which is really what throws me off every single time. Aha! Did it. Alright. Got a little hairy there for a second. Once again, the decay elementals are not dropping particles. You guys cheering for the golem? How dare you? <laughs> Sarstone. Mm, the golem elixir. The connection between um golems and Harmatin and the Jade Lich is insane. Like, that whole sort of mini lore in the game, it's like a really side lore, you know? But also not, because it's a huge reason why the Scourge are here. It's, it's just amazing to me. One of the best parts of the story. It gets me every single time I read anything about it. Okay, we can walk back to... Probably going to go to... Monsoon, and then we'll go to Light uh, Spire. Jade Lich seems like not a bad guy. Yeah, the Jade Lich actually is a good Lich. He just gets rid of the corruption. And if you've never read the story, he basically just has too much corruption now. He can't handle it because of the Scourge. So it's pretty neat. The Gold Lich is evil. Not really, though. He has malicious intent against humans. He's not really evil. The only evil lich, per se, is the Scarlet Lady. Because she definitely does things in the game that are very, very wrong. <laughs> I mean, the Jade Lich, or the Gold Lich, doesn't even really harm anybody. Regularly. This shield did not help with the weight. Thought it would, it did not. Move the pocket. There we go. Now we can run fine. 
Go back to town. We actually have some stuff to sell, too. It's the ecological lich. <laughs> Rust lich isn't a good guy. Uh, that is true, too. I guess Rutchless is a bad guy. But if you think about it, from his point of view, he isn't. It's very weird. Like, like the, the Red Lady is the only lich that needs to be 100% defeated. The Rust lich just is causing vengeance. So, yeah, I guess he is bad, too. But he wasn't originally bad, is what I was going with that point. He was originally just trying to save the world from the Scourge. And then, you know, at this point, he's just angry at the people of Hermatton. Doesn't excuse his actions, though, you're right. Don't know the Red Lady lore? That's because all of the Red Lady lore is wrapped up in Caldera. And so a lot of people miss it because there's, you know... Uh, a lot of times people don't even get to that part of the quest and stuff. They're liches, they're all evil. <laughs> I mean, Roland became a lich. He became the blue lich. He's a good lich. And there's the garden lich, which isn't in the game, but he's dead. Over by the golem I killed earlier. In the desert. He is... He was a genuinely good lich. Most of the time, liches are... What's... They're they're not evil or good. They're kind of in between. They just kind of do what they want. Most of the time. At least in outward wise. But then, obviously, the red lady and... Rust lich are kind of on the eviler side. After completing the faction quest in Harmattan and paying attention to the dialogues, I know that the Harmattan inhabitants seem to be quite the self-serving jerks. Yeah, that is true, Half. Like, the Harmattan people generally are stuck up. They think they're better than everybody. But also, the Rust Lich was also experimenting on his own people to stop the Scourge. It's one of these instances in Outward where they love to do this thing where they make this person seem bad. They make them do a bad thing, but for a good reason. Which is all of Outward. That's why the Scourge happened. The Cabal of Wind was worried about losing their power, so they tried to get rid of Elat. They caused that. Um, Elat sometimes gives power to people, and then they do bad things with it, so he has to... You know, O'Leal ends up killing a man because of that. Doing a bad... You know, it's, it's all kinds of stuff like that, really. They play the they play the gray area big time in this game. Like everything is there is right and wrong, but which is which? You have to tell for yourself. Yeah, Harmattan is a gray area of our of morality. Re they really are. They're like for science and advancement, but at the same time they don't care how they get there. Cuz if I remember correctly, part of Someone in Harmattan was actually experimenting with people from the Holy Mission and having the Immaculate kill them. Trying, he, What he was trying to do was get the Immaculates to stop killing them. That was the idea. But he was using the people of the Holy Mission as test subjects to see if he would stop killing him, you know? It's, uh, it's pretty crazy. That's really why the story is so good. Because we have no definitive answer. <gasps> definitive edition? What? Like, who's right and who's wrong? Which is what's brilliant about the faction quests. It's like... Which faction is truly the best faction? Story-wise. We just don't know. I guess I should sell the Jay Lich stuff. I don't know if I need it. I'll sell... I'll sell the staff. I don't need the staff. I will keep everything else, though. Yeah, okay. They have people hanging in the streets of Hermann, such as charming, such a charming city. Is there something you need? You're hang they're hanging out in the streets? I thought you meant, like, they're hanging. I was like, ah! That's no good. Yeah. Uh, oh, I was going to sell the, yeah, this guy. I think I have eight. 
All right, we're going to need to buff up big time for this boss battle. The big time boss battle. This game has more lore than any other game I've ever seen and more of an overarching, arching, however you say that word. It's like arcing or arching. I think it's arcing. Uh, story, history as well. Yeah, it's, they did a really good job with the writing. They did a fantastic job with the writing, that is for sure. Let's get a red... We don't really need rags. I don't know why I still have them in my inventory. There's our fourth star stone? Yeah, four. We only have one left, and I probably won't get it because it's the treasure hunt quest. I don't usually do that one. I should just do it while I'm doing other stuff. I just never do. Alright. Hmm. We're gonna need a stability potion. I guarantee you that. Do I have one of these? Do I need to be stealthy in this battle? Do you guys think? I'm guessing no. That's what I initially think. But who? you never know when you need to be stealthy. You know what I'm saying? A blessed potion. Here's some of the arrows. So I have venom arrows and poison arrows. Builds up the poison status, deals decay damage, and the poison status after a few hits. So the venom is better. Venom is just a better version of that, I guess. What we're going to do is we're going to just take all the arrows. Other than the lighting, because those are useless. And I think we're going to get him that way. Okay, we need enough money to repair, and that's about it. Is there any outward lore channels similar to Vady or like Souls game genre? No, unfortunately not. I have some lore vids. Um... But not very many. There's only like three or four. I have been asked many a time to make more, and I would love to make more. It's just compiling it all together, you know. A lot of time, lore channels are strictly lore because it takes a lot of work. So I haven't done very many of them. I will do more in the future, though. I'd like to do all of the story. A compiling of everything. Faction quest-wise, like the order and everything. That would be really cool. To see how all the events transpire on paper. Uh, I need to cook meat so I have some health regen during this fight. I have a feeling that's going to be an issue. Why is that in my pocket? I enjoyed Pentagram translating runes. Yeah, Pentagram has had some cool stuff. He hasn't done lore, per se, but he's done, like... He just talks about the geology of the areas, which is cool. Always like that. You know what, guys? I should have bought the tartines while I was up there. Silly me. Love to see that video. I would, too. You know, I would watch that video on my own video if I made it. It would be epic. It would probably require two weeks of full work, Can I help but it you? would be awesome. I think it would be well worth it if I can get, uh, if I can find the time to do it. It'd be really, really fun. Uh, corruption. We don't want that. And we'll sell these and replace for the cartoons. Yeah, yeah. Death by fall. Literally hanging dead in the street. Oh, you're right. You're right. No, 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 no. You're right. I forgot they have that. They have the whole trial thing going on. I forgot about that. They have, you know, or you can go live in Montcalm, where they just hang people outside for the ghosts to eat. What a terrible, what an awful idea. 
I like how you have to go there for a quest. And you have to be like, hey. Why are you hanging dead bodies out in the for the ghost to eat? And you also have to like just have a casual conversation with them, even though they're doing this crazy stuff. Kind of nutty when you really think about it. So I do, what do you do besides YouTube? Uh, I have a part-time job. It's not a full-time job. That's how I don't have enough time to make videos. Otherwise, I would not have enough time. Criminal deterrent, yeah. So I have a part-time job, and then... That's about it. My social life is pretty much uh, gaming, so... There you go. You know, I can't complain about that. I'm just going to avoid all enemies. I don't know if anyone wants me to actually fight these guys, but there's no point, so. It's just a waste of time. I need to run past you. But yeah. Don't knew. It seems very odd that you would hang people outside your town, but I don't know. Nobody ever asks me, so. Um, where are we at? Do I need to stop by the giants? I feel like no. I don't think they have anything I need. Plus, I want the Kitsunugi. How do we feel about the Kitsunugi armor, guys? I kind of like it. I'm a big fan, actually, of the Kitsunugi armor. I hate how slow it is. Uh, I think with Speedster, you could fix it, though. My honest opinion is that I think Speedster could fix it. Really? Why you gotta be a jerk like that, bro? Just trying to get iron. Thanks for the answer. Was just curious. Been watching more and more of your videos lately. Really enjoy them. Well, thank you. I appreciate you watching them. Uh, they're, not all of them are perfect. Especially my few uh, beginning ones, but... I've enjoyed making videos for Outward. Obviously, since I'm still doing it. <laughs> it's a fun game. There's a lot here to make content on, you know? I mean, if anything, you could just hop on and make build videos. Or you could just hop on and make... I like this weapon. Let's talk about this weapon for an hour. You know? It's pretty easy. He obviously wants to donate his weapon to the scrap metal stash you carry. <laughs> yeah, he wants to donate his life, too. To my life. I'm gonna swap my health pool with his real quick. Wouldn't it be crazy if Bloodlust added the additional health you got after being full health to your max health? Like, so, when you kill somebody, the Bloodlust passive skill gives you health regen. It gives you five health back, and it cures your burnt health a little bit. What if... Your full health, you kill somebody, and you get 5 health added to it. You could get up to like 600 health from a Hex Mage. Just walk around killing stuff. That'd be crazy. That's how to truly make Bloodlust overpowered. Isn't there an island I need to go to here? Where is it at? Is it that one? Yes. There should be an island to my right here. It's past that island. Huh? I think I'm going the right way. Excuse me? Every build would use it? Yeah, that would make Bloodlust way overpowered. These stupid bandits are all over the swamp. I actually think the swamp has the most... enemies. And I think the desert has the least. Open world-wise. What do you guys think? Yeah, I need to grab the last ghost quest part. Uh, this should give me the backpack right here. The light mender backpack. Oh, this guy died. He didn't make it. Okay, so if you've never seen this backpack, it's pretty cool. 
It used to be the single most overpowered backpack in the game when Outward first came out. Because it offered you negative mana cost. So you could wear this. And have 100% negative mana with one mana point And break the game. They changed that because obviously it was a bit overpowered. But 10% uh, lightning damage. Bag containing the arcane talismans long ago by an undead wizard. Oh, collected by an undead wizard. A very, very cool backpack. Once again, all of the light... Which is probably, in my opinion, I think the Lightmender's backpack was his backpack before he came the Lightmender. Which, again, seems self-explanatory. But... So who was he before? We don't know, but he definitely had a backpack. And a lexicon. You can make the Lightmender build. Become him from the past. Kitsunugi has highest impact resistance. And so the white one has extra fire damage. But overall, it's not worth the use. Yeah, it's kind of just too heavy in my opinion. You can make a very, very tanky build with it though. Especially now with Primal Ritualist. Grab a... Uh... You can grab a Vigilante weapon. You can take Soul Lantern, Kitsunugi Armor, Primal Ritualist, and you're you're very, very resistant to nearly everything in the game. I think the backpack is just another one of his experiments. It could be that too. Yo too. You never know. Just messing around. Making all kinds of cool weapons and utility and stuff. What's the next top five vid? The next top five vid, I believe, was axes. I don't have it in the making yet. I have to work on it. Pro maybe tomorrow morning. I don't know. Um, someone asked for great axes and one-handed axes. I don't know which one I'm doing first. Probably one-handed because I don't know a lot about two-handed. I need to play more with them before I just make a decision on the top five. But we'll definitely have the some sort of axe for the next top five. Probably one-handed because I know a lot about one-handed axes. The chances of Sunfall not being the best on that list is very slim. <laughs> Sunfall is uh, hard to beat. Do I need to sleep? Ooh, yeah, I do. That's a low amount. World of Ara has probably the best example of what technology and magic mixed could be. I agree. By the way, it says 100% chance of being ambushed, but there's nothing up here to ambush you, so. Yeah. Can't wait for the top five comments. The dude complaining about the pizza chakra I'm asked to make. Should I put that in the chakra video? It's gonna be like number five. Pizza chakra. How difficult is it to get Sunfall Axe? Well, if you ask someone like Liger, uh, he says you can do it without fighting anything. I would slightly disagree, as I think that cave is a little bit harder than that. But it's still pretty easy to get. But, I mean, if you're experienced enough like him, you could definitely go get it without fighting anything. It is a... There's some decent enemies in there, mostly humans. But they're like desert bandits who don't mess around and stuff. You know, so. Okay. I gotta figure out this whole... Situation. Did they increase stamina needed to swing great axes? Yes, they did. They actually did with Grilled Ribeye. That is 100% a real thing. Okay. I gotta get as buffed as possible for this fight. I, it's gonna be a hard one. It's gonna be a hard one. Okay, I need to equip... Arrows here. And probably... Arrows here. Let's de-equip... The... Oh, this is a mess. Okay, 
We're gonna de-equip this. Let's see how well this goes. I don't, I don't know about this decision, but all right, we gotta we gotta do something here. All right, get the lightning boon on. Oh, horrible! We need to switch horrible. Put this in our pocket. Food the bag. Should have done this before I buffed, but it's fine. Okay. Already did that one. I need fire damage, poison damage, and rage. Alright. Okay. We're gonna run in. Bro, I already did all this. Why is it making me do this again? I'm gonna do that again. Oh, I need a hot bar the wrong bow. I almost did that. Okay. Alright, let's do this. Alright, let's get fire going. Already doing a lot of damage. Okay, wait for the next attack. What in the world? Are you kidding me? It does that much damage to him? Is he burning it? What the heck? I take it back. This fight might be easier than I thought. I don't want to get hit by lightning balls, though. Pretty sure he's immune to poison, but he's going to take a lot of damage. Man. Okay, no ammunition equipped. All right. Wow, dude. This is nuts. I have missed that shot like three times now. What the heck? That was easier than the Jade Lich. Guys, I've been sleeping on the horror bow. What the heck is that? Wow. This makes me mad because I feel like I could be doing way more... <laughs> Way more damage with this bow. Uh, it's fine. It's fine, though. Alright, now we we tell him that we're gonna beat the crap out of him every time he, you know, does anything bad. Which one should I get? Palladium, Blue Sand, Hackmanite. Hackmanite sells the best. I know where to get it all. We'll grab Hackmanite. Ta-da! Alright, see you later, dude. I'll come back and kill you later if I need to. What the heck? Guys. Oh, I can't even do it again. That was creepy. Okay, so did anyone expect that? I... That was crazy. Yeah, switch to decay build now, honestly. I really could. That's the thing about bow builds, too. Is they're all armor dependent. So, since I took Cabal Wind... Which is the pad and hex and hunter. There's nothing in my build that says I can't go switch to a poison build. There's nothing in my build that says that. Which I find interesting. Now I still like the lightning build, but again, I could literally just go to Harmatin, farm horror chitin, and just boom, make a new uh, set of armor. I could also go full physical build whenever I feel like. It's kind of crazy. How am I not full of armor? Did I get his stuff? Yeah, I got his stuff. Jeez. Can we talk about how stupid this guy's AI is? Like, it's possibly the the second worst AI in the game compared to the Hive Lord over in Levant. Oh, uh, that was it. That's all we needed. That's the Hollow Marsh, ladies and gentlemen. Cabal Hermit is absurdly flexible. Yes, it is. Yeah. 
Next time, Spirit of Armatin for the win. What's Spirit of Armatin? Is that decay damage, Yo2? What's that in- that's- what does that enchant go on? I'd like to try that. I'd like horror armor, but horror armor hurts your stamina too much. Those are my favorite armor. What's what's my favorite armor? <laughs> I know what my favorite armor is, but how do you know what my favorite armor is? No way. It goes on antique plate. No way. You're lying to me right now, Yo2. You're getting my hopes up. Copal goes on the Berg one, right? Antique. That's crazy. That is actually my favorite armor set. I have, I have, uh, how many builds do I have? I have three builds on my YouTube channel that are probably my strongest builds. All three of them use antique plate, at least in some fashion. Pearlbird running and climbing on climbable steep hills. That's the worst AI. I have to admit, dude, though, that's true. Yeah, that is horrible AI. It's annoying as crap. Oh my word, it is so much damage. That was a poison arrow. I don't want to waste that. Okay, I found a new favorite bow. Like, I'm not even joking. This is now my favorite bow. <laughs> antique. Yeah, Antique's awesome. I don't know how you can go through Outward without ever playing with the Antique playset one time. Like, I have zero clue how you could do it. Economy and boots and hat plus spirit of our mat on chest makes a crazy build. <sighs> we gotta try this now. We gotta try it. We have to try that. Decay is actually really good in Caldera. I don't know about lightning. I also need to try the Meteoric bow. There's so many bows! Wait, 10% cooldown? Hmm. I didn't know about that. Well, I think, guys, that it is time to go back to Harmattan. <laughs> uh, I hate to have equipment under 50% durability. Yo, too, the thing about bow builds, though, is, you know, you try not to get hit that often. So I wouldn't mind it. It does have very, very low durability, though. Very low durability. Okay. Well, we have the armor. I can always store it and just go check some other stuff out. Let's grab... Da, da, da. I'm trying to think of... What maxes out your poison damage? I don't know. Well, I was going to try the Lightner, Light Mender's backpack, too. So let's check out that... Put on the gold bow. With Lightning Boon. We have a total of 18 damage. We should get one more damage out of this. Yep. One more. One more full damage. 19 damage. Now, if we're tired, that's an extra 30%. That could be a lot. Still not crazy though the thing that makes the horror so much better is the fact that it has way more physical damage than the gold bow did you die yeah Ivan, i died to the stupid compass guardian i got cocky you know how it is you know how it is when you just get just mess around and you just die yeah that's my only death though i'm pretty okay with that Okay. Honestly, though, I'm thinking about really just going back there. Checking that out. 
Uh, what do I need for... That would make such a good bow build, too. Fire damage. Negative mana cost. I could use Jinx better. We gotta try it. I will... Here's what I'll do. I'm gonna make a build video on this build that I created. Because I think this was fun. I think it was good. And it was unique. However, it's not an S-tier bow build. The reason for that is there's stuff that's better. There is. So, I cannot say it's an S-tier bow build. However, it's a good one. So, I'll make a build video out of it. But let's, let's tr try some stuff out. I don't have a problem with that. You know? Try a few different... We Let's go physical build and... But first, we're going to try this out. This decay build thing. Because I'm... This I don't know. Worries me. Yes. And I haven't gone to the inn yet, which is what I want. I don't want to go to the inn yet. It's the times where bleed and poison were OP. Right, Yo2? Private chests are the same in all cities. Uh... Private chests are the same in all cities, yes. In Definitive Edition, they are. How they work is... It's basically just a stash chest. And... That's it. You'll get that same chest in every single house. Once you buy your houses. It didn't used to be that way. They used to be separate, but yeah. Same stuff that I just had in my other chest, I have in this chest. So. Yep. I have shield golem scraps already. Wonder what damage with Spirit of Our Madden Horbo Poison Arrow plus Assassin Luxor looks like. I'm telling you right now, it'd be crazy. I'm telling we'll you right now, something. it would be crazy. What was that? I don't have the money, do I? Oh yeah? How about Go this, bud? How about this, something. bud? Now do I have the money? Rude. Want to buy something? Well, buy. All right. I do need to make money though, before I go to Caldera. Yeah, it is great, uh, Sylvia. It is fantastic. The new change to the stash is awesome. A lot of people complained initially that it was going to make the game less immersive, and it was. That's not how Outward is. I disagree. I think the stats just change was excellent. I think that's how it should have been. It was fine in the original game. Because the original game was so small. But now that the game's big, yeah, the stats just fixes that a lot. A build like this is more to my liking. Because I like to change damage types on need. Yeah, Rodolfo, I think you'd like this. So with this specific skill trees. Um, which again are Hex. Cabal Hermit and uh, Hunter. You do not need... It doesn't force you to go anything. So I created a decent lightning build. The problem with the lightning build is it all comes from enchantments. Everything has to be enchanted. Again, the horror bow is going to be the same thing. though. So. But, uh... Yeah, if you really wanted to, you could play the Lich build. You could play Jade Lich when you need to, and you could play Gold Lich when you need to as a bow character. Kind of fun. Kind of interesting. All right. I myself am a big fan of switching things up here and then. So. Want to buy something? Craft me something, mate. Uh, I want the... I'm just going to craft the full set. Well, and we'll uh... see what happens. Now, I need economy. Does anyone remember what the economy enchant is? It is... Ice particle. Yeah, two ice particles. I'm pretty confident saying that that's true. I don't need the economy, though. I need the other one. Someone mentioned it in chat earlier. Never got far enough in the original game to find out that the chests were not the same in each house. Dodge that bullet. Yeah. Alright, does someone know the recipe for the Spirit of Harmattan? 15% fire damage and 10% ethereal. The only thing I'm going to lose is a lot of the elemental defense on my helmet. But 
might make up for it. You never know. Um, we need one Tormalime. Probably, I'm assuming. Ice particles for those. I don't. It's probably decay, right? I'm assuming. It can't be anything but decay, really. We're doing decay damage. Recipe incense is Comet. Oh, that's beautiful. That's not beautiful, actually. North close, east, south. South close is only three. I have three. No, I have three of those. But that means I don't need to make it because I can just craft it with these. Okay. It is the Comet incense, though. Yeah. Thank you, Rodolfo, for the info there. We'll make one more Comet Incense. Must be an Antique Plateau outdoors. I need another pillar. That stupid lady didn't sell me a pillar. What's wrong with her? Okay. North close, east close, south close. Oh, this is only three. Never mind. Let's go craft us a decent chest plate here. I like that idea. Spirit of whatever town. I think that's really cool. Do they have a spirit of New Sirocco? I wonder what that would be. If they even have it. It's already have fire damage from somewhere else. I don't know. Physical if you keep the patron. Gotcha. Mm, okay. Alrighty, my favorite place to enchant. Let's see, he said it was north close, east close, south close. Try saying that ten times. Wow. Wow. Comet. Can we just talk about the fact that the, the music in Armadan makes you want to go adventuring. Like, this is the best adventure music in the game. There, there's better music, but this is the best adventurer music. I just did west, didn't I? I don't need west. I need east. Darn it. All right, rocking some comet incense here. Okay. All right, Let's see what we get here. Yeah, negative 5 cooldown. We will be missing out on 5 cooldown percent. Because my helmet does have 5 cooldown. We may want to not make the helmet and continue on with what we have for the helmet. He's my The arcane white helmet is insane. There we go, though. 25 decay damage and uh, let's toggle. Negative 5 cooldown. We're going to miss out on hot weather defense, though. That's a big deal. In Caldera, at least. Currently have five Spirit of Enchantment, and each is one of the five elemental damages. Gotcha, yo, too. Which one is uh, Ethereal? Because we have Lightning, Fire, is it... Is it Levant? No, Levant will be fire, right? Yeah, plant tent does kind of solve that, Rodolfo. I already have decent weather tolerance. This has... The thing is, though, look. The boots have 8. And the chest plate has 14. So, I'm going to be missing a lot of uh, weather defense. But right now, it's not a problem at all. Like, I don't need it. I don't need anything for it. And the white arcane hood doesn't look bad with this build. Okay. Okay. 
Is there any helmet we can enchant to do decay damage, though? That would be the only thing I would question. Hopal with Spirit of Berg. Oh, that's Ethereal. Duh, I already knew Ethereal. Ha! I don't know what I'm talking about, Yotu. Sometimes I forget <laughs> easy stuff. Economy on Helmet would give you 10% stamina reduction and also 15% mana reduction. I mean, I'm already getting 15% from this helmet. So it's like, do I want the extra stamina? The cooldown is so nice. And if I get the Antique Plate Boots, that's negative 3 stamina cost versus negative 10. I don't know. I probably have to craft it to be sure. I don't want to use a full set of Antique Plate again. <laughs> I'm constantly doing this. I could switch it up and go Horror Spear, too. Use Tenebris or the one you make with Half Plate Helmet and Chitin. Mm. Want to buy something? Tenebris has a... Oh, it does have a bonus, doesn't it? What's the enchantment on Tenebris Helmet? That's good. I don't think there is a decent one. Oh, Nothing crazy, right. at least. I already made the helmet. Okay. Okay. Uh, da, da, da. I need to sell something. Want to buy something. I'll just sell one of these. Boom. Done. Want Already did it. Can't something. complain about it. Well, bye. Always down for Scholar Circlet? Hey, that's never a bad option either. Tenebris Helm and Boots to min-max decay. Yeah, Tenebris Boots are a solid option, always. Tenebris gets movement and lightning damage boost. Ah, yeah, I don't... They, that doesn't sound applicable to the build I have. Okay, economy is a base enchant, right? I just need to craft this with Dreamer's Root. Because I'm going to enchant this with economy. Or do I need two? Hmm. Let's switch bows to. Cooldown is more important for a bow build, and most of your damage comes from the skills. I would agree. Um. Which is why I'm thinking the boots with the. I, my problem is the white arcane hood offers more than most hoods in the game. Protection, cooldown, it offers mana, uh, negative mana cost, and all while having resistances to various elements and one protection. So, it's kind of like a beast. It's, it really is my favorite helm in the game, mage-wise. If I'm going to go more of a mage character, or mage melee mix-ish. Need Morpho? Okay, Morpho's made from Ice Particle. Seamless right. Elm has enchant of plus 10 lightning and 10% speed. That's interesting. Watch this. Hee 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 hee. I'm gonna shoot me a doggo. And he's dead. Oh. Thought that would kill him. You know be really good with this too? Is Brigands. Brigands backpack. I will be missing a lot of lightning damage from my sigil though. Which was kind of the backup of this build. Probably would have been a better idea to go... Blood Sigil to kind of keep it the consistency here. But what I'm thinking is now that I don't have 
the lightning bonus. I could just use hexes. What's a good weapon to use with mana wall armor? I was thinking dreamer. Yeah, dreamer would be good. Yeah, dreamer would be really good. Another good option is the... What's it called? There's a weapon, a unique weapon in Caldera that's actually very difficult to get. And that would be the best, but it inflicts Aether Bomb, but it's a freaking pain in the butt to get. I keep doing that. I just stand there and take it. In case you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm grabbing uh, Dreamer's Root. There's always some over here. Blood turret plus blow, uh, bow. Yeah, how awesome would that be, Samurai Jack? How awesome would that be? Hmm. Well, here's what happens, guys. When I say things, and I'm like, hey, there's going to be dreamers right here, the game decides we're not going to put any there. Because that'd be too convenient. If you can find more than one, that'd be great. Look at all these golems. What are they doing? And dead. Mm. Thank you. We need a dedicated spear build on the channel. We need a dedicated spear build. At least a video on it. Spears are OP as crap in terms of attacks. Arcane Hood too, but don't like how it looks. You don't like the look of the Arcane Hood? Yeah, it's kind of a acquired taste, I feel. Looks kind of odd. Backup weapon of my Ethereal Knight. Ghost Parallel. Yes, thank you. Thank you, guys. Ghost Parallel. Hey, Dreamer's Root. Yeah, I have yet to use Ghost Parallel myself, but I know for a fact it's fantastic. Okay. I need one more Dreamer's Root if I want to enchant the full thing. I'm going to use a lot of materials right now, though. That's fine. We'll go through the back of town uh, after I enchant this headpiece. Arcane looks great from the back. Yeah, it looks fantastic from right here. To the front, it looks goofy. Those are facts right there. Collecting a lot of iron right now. No dreamers, rude. Yay. Reminds me of Howard the Duck. <laughs> it kind of does. It kind of does. We're not attacking them. That's a big no from me. Big old no. Mana wall, infused mana, mist, and two handed rune blade. You can bonk foes with around 100 ethereal damage per hit. Wow. Why is Ghost Parallel hard to get compared to the other things you make from the drops from the hidden areas? Well, it has to do with the ship, Hafrin. Uh, if you know anything about the ship, I can't remember what it's called. Ark of the Exiled is what it's called. And it has to be in the underside loading docks for you to pull a lever inside the Ark. And then once you pull that lever, you can then go to a different spot where the Ark shows up and have to wait for it to go there. And enter the top of the ship. And then you have to kill multiple gargoyles and a unique gargoyle to get it. It is probably the hardest weapon in game to get. Probably. And running from uh, gargoyles is not that easy. So if you're like, oh, I could just run through. Yeah. It is crafted. That's how you get the base version version of it. Then you have to go and upgrade it. Or just me out here debug. Yeah, yeah, you can just debug it. All right, what is the... Uh, 
uh, enchantment for this. We gotta try it with both helms to see if the hex actually works better. That's something we gotta do. Um, da, 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 da. Okay, we got chrysalis, right? Uh, how do I make the economy enchant, guys? Someone remind me. Chrysalis enchant. I want to say this is true. Yeah. Then we have chrysalis. Oh, I need tourmaline and stuff, don't I? How are hail, hail frost weapons? Uh, meh. Very good for cold damage, but it's like... I don't know. I've never been a fan. Also, I've used a bunch, again, so... Take that with a grain of salt. They don't seem that crazy to me, though. Unless you go full in on cold. Which, obviously, it would be, then. Tourmaline, Quartz... Uh, the incense, probably an ice particle. Okay. Never used hail frost. The fact that they get broken over time pushed me away. Yeah, I don't like it. Quartz, tourmaline, ice. Okay. Chrysalis. Alrighty. We do actually need one more pillar for this one. Um, let's just sleep. And go grab my armor piece, and we can... I think it has to be nighttime for the economy enchant anyway. North far, east far, west far. Oh, it's only three, okay. They appear too late to be useful, Yotu says. Yeah, if, uh, if they were not that late, they would be fine. You're, you're correct. They are way too late in the game to be useful. Unless, again, you go for a specific ice build. But in my mind, Brand is still better because Brand infects, uh, inflicts chill and pain. I don't... I don't know. It doesn't seem better to me. Doesn't have to be night? Okay. Want to buy some? All right. We'll do the boots first. The boots are the ones I need the most. The boots would not be bad for this build. Although you lose 5%. Lightning damage. Messed up on a lot of gated gear. Uh, Caldera is all jacked up. Caldera male is useless. It would be fine in the beginning game, but it is completely useless at the end game. Uh, Cryptea armor is good, but it's boss armor. That's from that DLC. So it's like... Who's using that? Alright, let's see if it's still here. Morpho is north far, east far, west far. Okay. North. And let's see. I did not tell it to do that, so I'm very confused. Mm, pillar. And crystal or morpho. I've got so many incenses in my thing right now. Jeez. Okay. Morpho. And we will dodge one more time. More. I think I might have put these a little too far. We're, we should be fine. Was involved in those ice weapons. Interested? Uh, they're interesting. And they're worth a try. I wouldn't say they're terrible. If you're still wanting to look into them, still look into them. But The boots have more... Oh, the mana cost on the helmet, though. Yeah, we have to use the helmet. I forgot that it already has 10... You get such... It's, it's just such a good set. It's a, such a good medium set to use with a lot of things. Stamina cost, mana cost. I mean, you're getting a lot out of it. Okay. That's the one I need next. But I need... 
I need Dreamer's Root. Because I need uh, two more Morphos. Right? Yeah. Now look at our mana, negative mana cost. Negative 25, negative 30 stamina. This is nuts. This is nuts. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I have to use another restroom break real quick. So give me one second, I'll be back, and we will enchant our helmet next. After I find some Dreamer's Root. So, I'll be right, uh, right back. Catch you in a bit. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, I am back. I know you missed me. Let's do this. Let's get some Dreamers root. Okay. By the way, I haven't talked about this yet. Can we talk about the fact that the picture I got for my Be Right Back screen is amazing? I got so lucky when I found that clip. It looks cool. Don't need Dreamers root? I'm pretty sure I do. Because I have the, uh... Oh, you're right, Haffern. I'm an idiot. Thank you, Haffern. Yeah, because the chrysalis is the base. I just need an ice particle. That's a good catch. I was about to waste my time. About to waste my time. Okay. Um, we have Morpho. That is all we have. Luckily, I have enough of these quartz, because otherwise this would be a very annoying process. Want to grab Caldera bow skill? I got some medals. Could hop in Caldera Town character quick for you. Honestly, Rodolfo? It might be fun to just play around with. I mean, I'm going to build Caldera eventually. What do we think in chat? Should I go grab it real quick, just for the fun? Just for giggles? I mean, he's offering. I didn't ask. He's offering. Do it? Alright, alright. I think that'd be fun. It's gonna use a lot of arrows fast. But... Why not? Yeah, I agree. I agree. Alright, hit me up with the... Let me enchant this first, Rodolfo. And I can hop in. Alright, Grilled rib 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 Ribeye, I got you, man. I will I will head over there and do that. That sounds fun to me. I've actually never fully used the skill other than just playing around with it, so. You know, scratch that's all on them all. 
Start the game? Okay. Yeah, just give me a heads up with the password and everything when you're ready. Hate that I missed the first two streams for this, but I'm here now. How are we doing? What's up, DJ Amaro? Uh, we're doing good. So, this is a lightning bow build that I created, and now we're completely switching to decay. <laughs> What's up, Say? Uh, yeah, we're completely just switching her up. I don't, I don't know. Trying some stuff out, you know? Because the lightning bow build worked. It did. And I think with Holy Blaze, it would be amazing. I'm going to have to test it more on my own later, probably, but... Yeah. It's, it's a solid option. Negative 20 mana cost. This is not a bad set for a Firebow build either. I'm going to be honest. So here's what I'm thinking. You ready? This setup right here with the Astral Bow. Look how many damage bonuses you're getting. Ethereal, fire. Ethereal, decay, fire. Ethereal, fire. You're going to be doing fire and uh, decay with the hex, you know. Wouldn't be bad. Okay, let me move around some skills here. So we have the Chimera Pistol set up. I want to change the shot, though. Here I want to put probably a hex skill. I feel like, I don't know. Because I, I can't really use Rupture well, you know what I mean? I don't know when I'm afflicting hexes, though. Not very often. Okay, we'll put Torment just to have it for later. We'll put the Rupture here if it ever uh, just happens to get a hex on it. Where is the Decay Hex? I might be able to use that. I need to go check that out. Who has the One-Handed Decay Hex? Oh, you know what? You get that from Bloody Business. I think, right? Blood Quest? That's what I thought. That sounds correct, so I was like, eh, that sounds about right. I have it halfway done. Could be useful. Now let's uh, see my mana cost. Way better, I have to say. Still don't have mana regen, though. That's the thing. Um, so this is fully enchanted. We need to try out the bow. Where's the bow at? Okay. The stamina reduction already is insane. Let's go do bloody business and test out this uh, stamina reduction. Region US pass. Okay. Thank you, sir. All right. Um. Let's see. Find game. And you said it was Panini? A N I N E. Rodolfo, if you want to fight some of them, I can. That'd be kind of fun. Carry an enchanted scholar circlet for mana region when I'm walking around. Oh, that's a brilliant idea. That's a brilliant idea, Hafrin. <laughs> it's the hot dog. Yeah, I usually do hot dogs. You're good? Okay. Ah, right, just give me an option here. Look at this guy. The Master Trader armor. Amazing. Oh, you got him in here? Thank you, sir. Alright, let's do this. Uh, strafing run. Boom. Awesome. Alrighty. Thank you, sir. I'll, I'll get out of your hair. I ran out of water, I think. I, I like to try and make the streams to support, and I hate missing supporting Sheen. I appreciate that, Morrow. It's okay, though. No worries if you miss. Weighs nothing, too. I think I could buy a Scholar Circlet here. Yeah, I appreciate that, Rodolfo. Let's, let's test this out. It's gonna be fun. This is the bet. This is one of the coolest skills in the game. 
Like, let's be honest. It's one of the more fun ones to watch. Uh, there probably isn't a scholar circle sold here, though. You need a light particle, correct? I can probably go back to Sierzo sometime. The people that appear in your world take your medals and run away. <laughs> That's what I do. Uh, just beware that if you ever make a mistake, Sheen will take all your medals. Oh, you know what? I don't have my bloodshot on anymore. This is a problem. We have to get rid of this. Arrows, get rid of this. Add strafing run and add bloodshot here. There we go. See that? The strafing run is why you don't need the bleed. Could have gotten some spark water too. Yeah. Yeah, that I like that water. I've actually, in my um, my downtime of making videos, I've realized that I have been drinking regular water and should be drinking sparkling water the whole time. So. Okay, we do sniper shot. Okay, okay. I missed a little bit there. That's on me. And got nailed. Also, better protection, though. If anyone noticed. I am noticing immediately. Why are they alive? I thought I just fought them. Like, 90% sure I just fought them? Okay, bloody business is left to right. Double golem slash... Stop cheering for the golem. <laughs> Luna incense. Must be raining. Oh, it has to be raining for the scholar cichlid enchant? That's crazy. Luna incense. I'm pretty sure it was a light particle for Luna. Light particle in Dreamers, right? It's a small one. You don't need the big one. Golems are slowly turning into the new sneak dinos. <laughs> Honestly. Honestly. The running is going to be better in this this armor. It's look without even water. I'm it's already twice as good. I never thought to walk around with the Scholar Circlet. That is a brilliant idea. How did I not think of that? It's 0.1 mana regen per second. Told you countless times. I think you have. It just never hit me. Like, it never registered, you know? I don't know why. It never it never really registered in my head, so. Woohoo! That is a fun it is a fun skill. Now look at this, I'm doing bleed. Hey look the fire elemental's back. Oh my word, the decay damage. It's the Trog build all over again! <laughs> it's the Trog build all over again. It's doing about the same amount of damage as the lightning arrows were. And we have much less uh, stuff counting on that, so that's nice. Plus we have that decay. I mean, this is just better. It's just better. Three? Whoa. Wow. Okay. Rain is 0.2 mana regen? Oh, it's even more than I thought. I thought it was only 0.1. It does so much damage to humans. Let's see the difference against Scourge, though, because Scourge was where that lightning build, sh like, it really shined. That was kind of where it was just like, this is hilarious. But again, you could always just go switch if you're going to fight a bunch of Scourge. Switch up your build. Go back to lightning. 
build is sick, dude. Yeah, thanks, Grilled Ribeye. It's pretty fun. I mean, I didn't really come up with it. So, but yeah, yeah, you're right. It is good. This is this will be our community build. How about that? The we have we have the lightning build. I'll make I make one for that. But then we have what do you call this build? The uh, I don't even know. It basically inflicts whatever you have on your bow instantly if you use that ability. So much damage. I don't know. Do we have a good name? I don't have a good name right now because when I'm when I'm talking, I can't think. That makes no sense to say out loud, but that's the truth. Scourge mostly have decay resist, which which is funny. Mostly don't have it. Yeah, I know. It is really weird. One gives point one and cooldown. The other gives point two. Oh well, I could just do the point two one then. Brilliant idea. Look at this damage. It's it's nuts. And now he's bleeding, I think. Poison and bleed. No, not yet. I need one more hit for the, the poison. Yeah, bandit cage key. Okay, yeah, see, that's the problem with the lightning build, is it doesn't have anything extra, you know? Like, when you get done with your shots, you're done. You don't have the extra poison damage that's helping you out a little bit. Which you don't really need because you're doing a lot of damage, but it's nice to have that. Okay, uh, we were gonna do bloody business, which is... Where's the other one? There's one up by the windmill, and there's one down here. I went the wrong way. That's fine, we can free the trog now, too. Hey, does anyone want to check out my stamina bar? <laughs> does anybody want to check out my stamina bar? Uh... I don't know. <laughs> the Immaculate Archer build. Ooh. Interesting. Sheen, new bow build? Pepsi Man, what's up? This is the same bow build, but it's with different stuff. We just kind of use different equipment. Skill trees are all the same, but the equipment's completely new. I, I don't know how this happened, but it's cool. It's pretty cool. Look at this. I still have full stamp. I'm not even drinking water. I feel bad liking um, the antique plate set with economy so much. I, I do. I feel bad. Because there's so many other armors in the game. But how do you not just love running around the game? And, and you have to add Hex in too. Because Hex with the economy enchants is a completely different game than anything else you've ever played. Honestly. Full mana, full stam, full health constantly. This is nuts. Stamina reduction is the best stat. Change my mind. I agree. I think stamina... Because the thing with um, extra health is it doesn't matter if you don't get hit. The thing with mana is there's ways to regen it. Stamina, you have to have stamina to do stuff. Um, for anyone who's wanting to do the armor, it's literally the antique plate set. The head in the boots, or helmet in the boots, are... Enchanted with economy, and then the chest plate is enchanted with. Let me get the name Spirit of Harmattan. Also, the cooldown reduction has been nice, too. I think if we get Brigand's backpack for actual boss fights, that'll up our damage a little bit more, too. Obviously, because it has that damage bonus. Uh, but Heroic Kingdoms were. I mean, it really makes this build pop because of that 15% extra damage. Look, no water. Absolutely no water. My stamina is 100. I, just, I gotta stop doing this. Why do you guys encourage me? Stop encouraging me to pick this armor set. I think there's a light elemental and a bandit hideout to the east. Um, I may have already killed him. If he respawned, I can go kill him again, though. That's where the Trog Merchant is, too. I can I can free her just in case we want to ever buy anything from her again. The one behind the house? Yeah. yeah. Infinite Stamina. Yeah. Again, look at all of the builds that I've loved in the past. You take the 
Ghost of Endmarker build. What did that have? Two parts of it had economy. The chest plate had negative stamina cost. So, again, that's extremely important. Then you have my Disc of Death build, which is built around having economy. You know? I try. I try to I try to branch out. I try to do new things. The game won't let me. It draws me back in. I genuinely think it's probably the best armor set when you want to talk about quality of life. When you talk about quality of life, I think it's the best. The problem with it is, again, I didn't want to get up the arcane hood because it has no resistances. It has protection, but I mean, if you take... I mean... Any damage from elements, it sucks. It hurts a lot. Oh, shoot. I don't have any arrows. Thank you, Rodolfo, for getting me that skill, by the way. This skill is hilarious. I love it. That was... It's been a lot of fun already. I barely even used it. Solution, don't take damage. Pretty easy. That, and there you go, Yo2. There you go. Fair enough. I'll give you I'll give you credit for that one. Got to figure out a way to get hexes on these enemies. I think it's going to be essential for boss fights, maybe? Even then... Now, Jinx... I, 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 gotta, I gotta try this. So, we debuff with Chimera. That's what we do. We debuff with Chimera. Then we have... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why we don't need Chimera. We need Jinx. And we can put Jinx on farther away because of how they work. Once again, I am Jinxing, and this is hilarious. Okay, I can't do it from that far away. Interesting, interesting. Woohoo! He's dead. Oh, my freaking word, guys. We get a Scholar Circlet. I'm telling you right now, we get a Scholar Circlet to ride around or run around. Words, right? Run around with, and we're done. This, that's, we're done. Caldera is done, ladies and gentlemen. Except for Gargoyles. We gotta watch out for them. Those arena fights are absurdly easy with the ghost drums. That is true. I don't want quality of life. I want to rumble and stumble my way through the game like a brick house. <laughs> How about this, Evan? How challenging can I make the game for myself? Uh, I mean, you got a lot of stuff you could do. Watch this. Don't want some? And you're dead. Boom! Hex is the most accessible magic. Change my mind. Brick houses are weird from where you are. Okay. I I think that uh, all the bosses over here were pretty easy. I mean, I beat all of them with the other build. So, this build is already better than that one. So, I have to say, I think this one would fare very well. I made that character just to grab the skills. Still got to make another character for the Caldera passives. I mean, yeah, you can grab the Master Trader set and just kind of run straight to Caldera, get everything done. You know, I don't, I've never made the passes yet, Rodolfo, because I don't think I want them. They don't seem that good, other than one or two of them. Ooh, what are you doing up there, huh? Can I even hit him from here? I don't think I can hit him from here. There's so much damage to freaking humans, though. And then one hex, and... See, this... I feel like this is more versatile than the last one. Who knows if it's better, but it's definitely more versatile. Also be able to do that 
dodge roll with your backpack on is freaking cool. Come down here, stupid. <laughs> Come on, bro. Stop trying to bow me and get down here. Oh my, this guy. Alright, you're gonna have to die now. I don't know if you can shoot. I think, like, this game made it to where it's so perfect, you have to shoot the... Look! You have to shoot through the... The fence there. It's funny. Got a challenge run where the heaviest armor you can have the bag and pockets full. Use two-handed weapons and do the desert faction. Oh my word. You're talking about days worth of work there. That sounds like a nightmare. And the cool thing about this though, did I get a light particle from that? I feel like the answer is no. Yeah. Go figure it. Go figure it. I'll mine this again. Bandicamp made me so much money. I always end up farming here. This one and the other one. I like the other one better, actually, because a lot of times you can get other enemies to fight the Kazites. And then you just get free loot. Like, if you happen to have a big Scourge guy that's there, it's hilarious. Felicia is free. I don't know if that's her name. But... <laughs> Seeing you scrap those. They're pretty good weapons here, too. And again, they sell well, but... Look at this guy. He's got no idea. Look at him. He's just... He, he's over there. He's being a bandit. Hang it! So stupid. <laughs> I just like inflicting hexes from far away. It's funny. Oh no, you tried to kill me. Bye. I don't know if this build is better, but it's definitely more amusing than the last build. Cracking me up. Alright. What were we doing? Bloody business? Okay, let's get back on track here, ladies and gentlemen. Getting sidetracked over here. The Hex Sniper build? Yeah. The Hex Sniper build. I like that. That sounds like a good name, too. Manual aim machine. Oh, you're right, Rodolfo. I should do that. I always forget I have that option. I get so used to using my skills that I forget I could just do that. Okay, Bloody Business is the top... Windmill, and then I have to head down to the central uh, Cabal Wind Temple. Okay. Let's get the water that I don't, you know, really need. Look at that stamina. It's amazing. It, it warms my heart. Try to get corrupted for the extra damage. Oh, you know what? I could, too. It gives even more damage. Oh, my word. That gives uh, a lot of damage, actually. Imagine if I had Blood Sigil instead of Rupture, too. Bro. Hmm. Interested. Yeah, the very tired thing has not been... Like on the other build, you can't use very tired. Because you don't have enough stamina. This build, you might be able to. Where's my uh, health regen stuff at? Right here. Almost dead. Okay. The filed gives 50% decay damage. Jeez, this is gonna be so good. Oh, shoot. My lantern ran out. Alright. Are you kidding me right now? I will shoot you, whether you like it or not.
Oh, I missed one, but I still killed him with it. That's hilarious. Okay, that hit. <laughs> you know what I'm gonna do, guys? I'm gonna end up making a build with every single weapon type, and it all every web every build I make is gonna use uh, the antique plate set. It's just gonna be different variants of that. All right, dude, you can just die for the poison, bro. I don't even care. You're being a jerk, and I don't like it. Oh, you're healing yourself. I see. Dude. Stop. Thank you. I feel like Blood Sigil might be better. I don't know. Because Rupture may come in handy. You never know. Defiled gave too much negatives. Corrupted for the 15 is enough. Okay. Still, Defiled might not be too bad, though. If we can get it... If we can manage it. Okay. These guys drop so much weird stuff. Alright, I got health regen. No mana regen. Uh, we need to carry... I do have the potions, though. I've been carrying a ton of astral potions, and I haven't been using them. Should be iron over here. Or just mushrooms, I guess. Wonder how vampiric bows fare. Oh, we should get a vampiric bow, too. What weapon do you have to enchant? Is it a coral horn bow? I feel like it is. Va the vampiric bows are really good. It's probably one of the top five bow... Uh, Top five vampiric weapons. Recurve bow? That's what I thought. It doesn't have the same damage, but it has... I mean, it heals you. If you get your physical damage up there, it's pretty strong. It's pretty strong. I don't need water anymore. I legitimately don't need to carry water. The other version of this, the lightning build, would benefit extremely high from Caldera. You get the water that's over there, and you get the... Um, the arrows. And then that build becomes good. This build starts out good. Plus, I, I just love hexes. I don't know how... I don't know why, but I they're my favorite. They're definitely my favorite. <laughs> they're extremely fun. Alrighty. Where do I need to head next? I need to head down... Yeah. Mana Lake. Okay. Why is my bag overweight? I have all these, don't I? There we go. Firebow build is good too, but it falls in damage in Caldera. The thing about that though is it doesn't really fall in damage against everything. It's against like the bosses and stuff. Holy Blaze is lightning damage, right? Holy Blaze is lightning damage, actually. Uh, Blaze, so there's Burning, which is the staple, right? You need Burning to apply Blaze and Holy Blaze. Holy Blaze, hence the Holy, is the lightning damage. Four lightning damage per second. Blaze is, it's a weird mix. It's basically extra fire damage. They take more fire damage than Burning, and they, like, burn the ground around them. You gotta be careful with Blaze because you can inflict yourself with Burning. Meteoric Bow do Holy Blaze. Yes. That's why I was saying earlier that it might be a good idea for the Lightning Build to have had the Meteoric Bow. Because as long as you could get Burning on the enemy, you'd be good.
They're very odd, though. Like, golems can't be burnt, so then you can't holy blaze or blaze golems. So you have this entire group of enemies that are immune to your kind of what you're going for. Hey, I didn't have iron? That's a broken one. They usually have iron. I just realized that like most of today we've been running around the antique plateau. You can enchant it with Kindle to make extra damage and burn. Yeah. I'll grab both of these just in case I need them. Is there a scholar circlet sold in Armaten, or do I have to travel to Sierzo? There might be one in Berg, I don't know. I cannot remember where it's at. So far, I could inflict burn in almost every enemy in Caldera. Yeah, I mean... Gargoyles, weirdly enough, can burn, which is funny. Madis can burn. They take more lightning damage, but still. Tor crabs are the only thing you don't really want to put fire on. I think they can burn, but it's like, what's the point? <laughs> Alright, we need to make more arrows real quick. You avoid gargoyles like the plague? Yeah, no, I don't blame you. Gargoyles suck. Got a backpack. Look how cool that is. Look at the damage, too. Alright. Uses a lot of arrows, I have to say. That one skill used a lot of arrows. A legacy chested my obsidian bow with Kindle for my next run. Curious to see how it goes. It should go pretty well. That should be a really fun for you. I hope. Sounds cool. Any alchemy shop? Okay, so they should have one then. She never stops playing outward. Playing it myself at the moment. <laughs> nice. Alright, ready for the attack. Yeah, that's what I thought. He was gonna dodge. I have a bow too, bro. You can't dodge this, can you? You friggin' tarred. Or bow, man. Jeez. See, I was doing a lot more damage with the lightning bow with these guys, just because this, you know, they're more resistant against it. Dude, attack me. Thank you. Meteoric bow within Kindle is very OP in Caldera. Things die before you burn them. That's a big problem with a lot of the setups that you, we've created now uh, as a community. Is that because Caldera is so much more challenging, the base games become extremely, extremely easy if you set it up correctly. I don't know where they got trogs. I guess all the way up there at the cave, but they're pretty far away. Anybody used war fists before? I haven't used them. They look cool, but... Never used them. Are you using the in Irrepressible Anger enchantment for the bow? Probably. Yeah. Extreme Poison 10 uh, Decay Damage. It's really the only enchantment to put on the horror bow if you're going to enchant the horror bow. Dur Again, durability on this bow is so much lower than this one. 400 versus 200. That's a big deal. South there, you have the truck cave. I yeah, it's, it seems kind of kind of far away though, right? I said it's not that far. You 
gonna snow with any bow? Uh, I've heard that the wolf bow has... Snow is really good on the wolf bow. Or if this are meh, but the poison is good. I think they're too slow. When running... Again, when running fists, I think speed is your best deal. Also, a lot of stamina. Kind of essential. I've been getting a lot of fire lately, and I like it. Oh, I had an extra shot. I like it. <laughs> That's a fun skill to use. That's a fun skill to use. Snow plus a cripple bow is solid. Is that what the wolf does? I'm guessing. Yeah, well, all wolf stuff does cripple. Far away, don't think it sounds the same for you in a blood fanatic. Huh. Snow with the astral I hear is good. I didn't know. Yeah, I could see that being pretty good. I could see that being pretty good. Can't see reason to use any other fists besides gold with unsuspected strength or meteoric with fire fists. Yeah, well, the problem is the gold gets that unsuspected strength. Why would they leave that in, by the way? Was that supposed to be left in? I don't know. It seems like... Because not all the weapons do that, right? You can't just enchant something and then the gold version will have it. Isn't that the only one that that happens to? Evasion shot already inflicts cripple in one hit. True. I guess if you go with a bow build that doesn't use evasion. Which is very hard to do. Bro, you came at the wrong person. I got a sniper shot ready for you. Okay, let's check these, see if we get any arrows. That's iron. Okay, I'll take it. I thought all legacy items kept and chance they had prior. Do they? I don't know. The only one that happens, that's why the gold fists are so good in comparison with other gold weapons. Okay. I was going to say, I... But why? Did they ever say Why? Only the iron weapons have that enchant, but only the fists get upgraded to gold. So, yeah. You mean only the fists keep it when they get upgraded to gold? I need to try that. that that'll that probably be the next run is gold knuckles enchanted with unsuspected strength. Probably. We'll probably go wind infused with that. Um, so, Cabal, Hermit. What else would be good? We'll not do Hex. We will not do Hex. Because Hex does not pair well with two-handed weapons. You could use it, but that's not good for Knuckles. Not Warrior Monk either. Uh, I don't know. That's weird. See, that's my thing about Fists. They're two-handed weapons. So I never know what skill trees to pair them with. Probably, honestly... Maybe Philosopher? No, we don't really need Mana Regen, though. I don't know. Where's this building at, by the way? Isn't it down here? Yeah, here it is. Guys, I ran out of stamina for the first time. Almost. I have no buffs on. Speedster. That's what we would go. We would go speedster. We might actually go rogue engineer with that, too. Because dodging it decreases your dodge. Cabal, Hermit, Monk, and Hex is my fist weapon build. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know what I want to do with that yet. I could do some interesting things. Let's do this. Bloody business all over again. I hate when they dodge my best shot. And I hate when they just walk right up to me and stab me in the face. There. Alright, uh, give me my arrows back. No, he didn't take them. Okay. Can I hit him from here? I feel like I can. 
What just happened? Someone please explain. I love this skill. Infinite stamina to use this with. It's kind I mean, it really is unbelievable compared to what I was dealing with earlier. Also, this guy's giant spear is a pain in the butt to deal with. I don't know if you know that. Dang it! Come here so I can stab you. Yeah. Ha! <laughs> Points at me. What the heck? This guy had a lot of loot. Wolf mage armor. Recurve bow. We'll grab the recurve bow. I may need to enchant it with thirst. And I get the cursed hex, the th thirst enchantment, all kinds of stuff. Very good, very good. Another wolf chakram. That is the exact same thing I got last time I went here. I don't need that. Interesting. Okay, so now we have two enchantments we can make. One with the Scholar Circlet and one with the... Uh, we can enchant a Recurbo. For Gold Fists, I went with Zagus in Legacy. Oh, that's a good point. Brigand's Bag, Cabal, Monk, Speedster. Aiming to Blood Infuse and Prismatic Flurry to Nuke. Interesting. I could see how Blood Infuse would be really good. Now I'm trying to get a vampire bow. Ha! Huh. We may end up- I may end up tr enchanting it just to do that. We're gonna have like every good bow on this one build. And we're just gonna be like, what do we need for this particular situation? Get the ethereal boon? Is that the one you were missing? Ah, I'm still missing it. I don't know what I'm doing, Hafrin. I still didn't grab it. Too distracted. Not that long for the vampiric bow, really. Just go around shooting stuff. Yeah, it's much better than some of the other weapons. I have to say that. That and the dagger, I feel like, are the best, too. Just because you get more damage out of those, I think. Recurve bow becomes your mate forever. Hmm. Somebody's a fan of the recurve bow, I see. Watch me snipe this guy's back. And yes, got him. Okay. All right, too far. I got. I keep forgetting that torment is not that far. One more hex. One more hex. Look at the damage. Beautiful. We also, I have to do less damage. Uh, I mean, I would be doing less damage because it's a vampiric bow. Yeah. I've been very lucky with the Torm line, by the way. I don't know if you guys noticed that. Quartz, on the other hand, I don't have a ton of. Theory will buy from Bird Guy in the center. Yeah, I know. I just don't know why I haven't grabbed it. I don't know what I'm doing. Let's craft more arrows. Is there a tree back here? I don't want to fight that guy until I have arrows. Grab your fancy tent, park it outside Sierra and sleep farm with Thirsty Bow. Hey, that's a good idea, actually. Farm pearl birds, since I need the pearl bird mask anyway. This isn't even a tree! What? Are we for real right now? Is this a prank? What? This is not a tree. It is, it is just not even there. That's crazy. 
Your vampiric weapons, the bow and dagger is easier. Less damage. I, oh, I see. They uh, they need less anyway. I got you. Watch this, guys. This is pro moves. Ready? Is this tree real? Is this one real? Can I... Took all its wood to make arrows already? <laughs> I guess. I need a grab 42 wood button. Okay, I need like a ton of these. There we go. Okay. It's giving me the fire hex every single time. That is some nice damage. Excellent. An excellent bow build. Once again, I am hyping up my bow build before I get to Keldinger. I do it every time. Yeah, I do need to switch soon, don't I? It's probably doing a lot less damage. 5 and 20. Yeah. Well, we'll be back soon, so... Excellent. Ah! The Hexalent build. Ah, that's funny. I like that. That's a good... That's a good creative name. She now here killing the ecosystem to fuel his arrow addiction? True. I'm sorry. Yeah. If you're a tree hugger, it's... It's my bad. It's my bad. I'm making all the trees disappear just because I have a... A need. A problem, really. I've got to rehab for my... Arrow... Thievery. Wow. Did we just do all the rest of the stuff that there was to do here? Remember earlier when I was like, we did everything here, and I just completed the rest of it? Priorities, mate. <laughs> Why save the trees when you can knock them down and use them as arrows? Think about that from, like, an outward world's perspective, though. Imagine you're a mayor, or you're in charge of one of the outward towns. And there's just this legend of a guy who runs around chopping all the trees down for arrows. <laughs> there's just a dude walking around, annihilating liches, monsters, the scourge, and he's just destroying the ecosystem. Absolutely demolishing it. Like, it's not even funny. All your crops are burned. The town's going... They're, they're not dead from the Lich, but they're going to die from... Lack of food. Starvation. He also kills bandits, scraps good weapons to make arrowheads. Yeah. I Hey, yo, yo two, you're really salty about that, aren't you? Really salty about that. Sheen is the, the arrow Lich. Yeah, yeah, I'm the new bow Lich. The, um... What would you call it? We need a name. We got the Plague Doctor, the Light Mender, the Scarlet Lady. Um, what is Rust Lich? Hmm, what do I want to be? I want to be. It'd be like a like a like a plinker or something. Like you plink away at the enemy. It needs it needs some rounding out. That's not the, that's not the full thing. For sure need some rounding out. Because light weapons are my early money source. I do the same thing, honestly. I don't even do gold lich weapons anymore. I just go kill Kazite. I think uh, gold lich is harder to get, so. Look at that. You know, I almost knew he was going to hit me. 
<laughs> the perfect hex? Are you kidding me? There's no chance. Dang it, I hate their stupid attack. It's so annoying. They have no animation, and then all of a sudden, they have 100%. Yeah, how do you feel now, idiot? You're dumb. Watch me just absolutely destroy you in three seconds. Well, you can't do nothing? What's the problem? What's the problem? Come on! What are, you, what are you doing? Stupid. I literally hate golems so much. <laughs> I hate golems so much. Tree lich. Ah, I'm the tree lich. Okay, I like that. Brilliant, brilliant. How'd you get strafing run? Have you done this um, new Sirocco? Someone else joined. Um, I joined Rodolfo because he wanted this. Everybody was like, just go ahead and go grab it. Rodolfo invited me to grab it, so. I went ahead and got it. I'm gonna go do Caldera, but... What's the harm? I mean, it's just extra arrows, so... Oh, well. Sheen still gotta do Sirocco for the first time. Yeah. I always do it in other people's worlds, or I don't do it at all. So, it will be the first time I do it. Name this build the Archery Nemesis. Arch. Ah, oh, I see. I see what you're doing there, Halfer, and I like that. I like it. Interesting. All right. Um, let me think here. Alchemy. She has the enchantment I need. Circle was pain. I hated grinding. The thing is, you gotta grind for the money. Then you gotta grind for the samples. Then you have to grind for the time. It's like. Pick one of those and make us do that. Like, I would have been fine if they made it cost hundreds of gold bars. Hundreds. But then no samples. Or you need a bunch of samples, but no money. And it's easier to find samples. I don't know. Something, something. You know what I mean? Something different. Because it doesn't feel right. Alrighty. Alrighty. Well, I will have to remember to get the enchant for that. Living that pain now. It's insane. Sample thing is honestly the worst part. Yeah, what I may do, probably next time I'll grab a meteoric bow for the stream and I'll test that out. And I'll, I don't know what I'll do sample wise yet. If I happen to come close to messing up the town, I will either accept it or spawn in some samples using debug mode just so people can see... Where you get the pets and all that stuff. I don't know. I may not do that just because it's streaming, but we'll see. I don't want to, you know, quote-unquote cheat, but I... It's... People want to see the town, and I destroy it. It's not really convenient. So, fun build. Uh, I'm not going to be able to do the enchantments today, because I have to hop off. I have a meeting I forgot I have to go to tonight, so... Completely forgot about that. Um, ultimately, your guys' advice for the horror bow is a fantastic idea. Need to be in Conflux Mountain for the region. Okay, I have to go back to Sierzo anyway. For, uh, Conjure. So, no biggie on that. I can do Vampiric whenever. Not worried about that either. I am holding bullets still. Uh, I feel like I should keep the chimera pistol but i'm gonna inventory it right now because that's like boss time stuff and i'm gonna keep the enchanting table for later how many mana potions did i end up with guys 16 in here that's a lot that is a lot okay so now we're set to go do all that jazz next time there we go. The secondary bow build off of this bow build. I like it. That's a lot of fun. Very cool. Very cool. Every 10 samples, Evangeline can get a sample of your choosing and you can accumulate it. Yeah, I like that, but it's like... Mm, I don't know. 
Kind of goofy, still. Boss hunting is fun. Money happens by killing things, but samples, evil. <laughs> yeah, all the RNG stuff is like, dude, come on. Uh, beast, uh, golem scraps are played. Yeah, I, I stormed them away just so I have them. Yeah. Well, guys, uh, that's going to have to be it for me today. Uh, it's only seven hours. I wanted to stream for another hour, but I forgot I have a meeting to go to. So I will have to hop off here. Thank you uh, for hanging out and the suggestions on the build and the enchantments and stuff. That's always very helpful. And I think we've created something interesting. It could probably be more powerful, but with hexes, I think we're going to get a lot of damage out of this in Caldera. Ethereal, fire, decay. I mean, this is going to be pretty good. You know? So, I have no complaints against this. I will definitely post a Twing Lightning build soon. Probably after I test Meteoric on Thursday, to be honest. And we may be in co-op on Thursday, too. So, we'll be able to see how this fares. We'll get all our enchantments done then. Um, all that jazz. So Today was a good stream, though. Today was a very good stream. We got a lot done. We beat Rust and Vengeance easily. And, uh, yeah. I had fun. Hopefully you guys had fun too. Thank you for supporting the channel. Watching the videos as usual. Uh, catch you later. Yo2, Bayou, Hytro, Jonas, uh, Agnes. Hope you guys have a good day slash night. Whatever it is for you. Uh, again, I always appreciate the views. And you guys chatting in the channel. It's really fun. It has been really fun streaming. I was really sad when I wasn't able to do it for like a week. So. Glad to be back into it. So. Thanks for hanging out. And I will catch you next time.